Okay. It dropped my mic for some reason. I had to point it back at my mic. <sighs> Thank you. Anyway, we're checking out the randomizer. On. Global. Fuse everything. On. Use starters. On. Static encounters. Sure. Gift mons. Sure. Sure. Fusions can be part of the... That seems fine. No, they can have 
anything, anything. They can have any mon. Shuffle gym types. Oh my god, gym trainers and leaders have a new team each time, instead of keeping the same one. Sure. 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 No, not things that affect quests. That sounds crazy. Sure. No, I want shops to have normal items. Sure. Randomize that as well. Why not? Go. Now. Hmm... Custom? Okay, so like... 70? Double what... Double what they give there, so 60 should sound as nice. An insane level of randomness. Sure. that to be hard, but whatever, we're just checking it out. So you know what, whatever. I don't want to go through all that again. Said I could change it at any time. Let's uh, see how much that's true. These do not feel like those options. No. So you got to get it right at the start. We could start with Metacuna. That's pretty good. Biberel Egg Exeguida. Or... Well, we know which one Kaladin and Maud Cowboys pick. I'm going to go with Metacuna. It's hard to turn past Metagross. And this can be... Pizza Nought. So they're presumably normal water, so nothing is going to be ultra good. I'm s what typing am I even? Steel poison. So metal claw at least gets stab. 
No, nah, that's garbage. Take down. Take down is slightly better, but hurts ourselves. Confusion. Yeah, that seems our best go then. Pizza Nort grows two levels. You have defeated Jerkface. Smell you later. Could you do me a favor? Go pick up something at Viridian. Give me a free potion. Ariadost crossed with... Baneary? We don't have any... any, um, Pokeballs yet, so it's no use getting caught up on what we can possibly see. Bonsley crossed with Riolu. Okay, so that's a Metal Claw. Deoxys crossed with Waylord. Oh, and we should update our thing. Uh, so we are... Where are we? Graphics... Battlers... Indexed. And then what number would Metagross be? No, it doesn't look like it's in the list. That's annoying. Hmm. Because it means I can't do my little overlay thing. Oh well, sucks to be us. How will we do it? Maybe I can do it this way. Get our thing. And some splices. We're not allowed Pokeballs still. Okay, so they've changed the way they do this. Well, that's something for me to take note of for next time I run it. Oh, 
Oh my god. Holy! Okay, so 60 was maybe a little much. Pizza Nord is evolving! He has become Metadrill! He wants to learn Twin Needle. It's better than Magnet Rise. And Hammer Arm. Mm. Yeah, it's better than Takedown. Oh. Thank you for some Pokeballs. Here's a Pokedex. Actually talk to the people in case they do anything. He gives you some bonus Pokeballs. God, the encounter rate is high. Pizza wants to learn Fury Attack. No. Maybe not quite so fast animations. Uh, apparently there's no way to make them a bit quicker. Or a bit slower, I should have said. Well, maybe I'll just get used to it. So bug fire? Mm, metal should be fine. Okay, and what's our first catchable? Growfly! No. Now, how do I manage to not kill it? Yeah. 
you got Growlfly. The wool puppy Pokemon. That can be Mori. Oh, if you press spacebar, it cycles through the game speed, which is why everything was going at absurd speed. Change back to pizza. Mm. Fire... Earth? So hammer arm should be fine. No, it's a ghost. Well, metal should be okay. Morrigan faints. Jerk faces here. Mm, confusion. Still confusion. Leveling up has served Pizza North well. We out-level opponent. Hail Cal. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's go heal. So for those of you just joining, I'm checking out the changes that have occurred since the last time we played Pokemon Infinite Fusion. There have been some pretty significant changes, and I am kind of looking at them and deciding whether it's enough to justify me playing through again. And the answer looks like, especially with some of the randomizer options that they've added, yes. I maybe turned the randomizer up a little too high and should have kept it more at like 30 base stat level randomizing and maybe slightly more sane wild Pokemon randomizing. I could use a Magmortar or a Mammomortar. Both of those have really good stats. Decent move pulls. Both have decent physical, so they're gonna merge well. It's not like one's gonna be dragging the other down. Come on, get caught. I know the catch rate is low, because you're both highly evolved, but still. I suppose we could weaken it a little more. So go, Mori. If you had Thunder Wave, that would be fantastic. And a little bite. There. Come on. Only one more. Woo! All right. 
Mamator. And Mori levels up. Wants to learn Ember. Ember is more useful than Raw. The Blast Tuskmon. Its impressive tusks are made of ice. It lives in volcanic craters. This can be... Kaladin. No, we've already got one. But what I should do is grab some more... Pokeballs. Your Mamo Tusk. Mamorta. What you would have really wanted to be Kaladin is Jerk Faces, our rival's Pokemon. He has an Empoleon crossed with a Miltank. Let's get at least 10. And we get our Premier Ball. That'll do for the moment, we're too poor for anything else. Actually, we could sell off our Calciums. Sell. Because these things are worth absurd money. And that will let us buy a huge amount of Pokeballs. Which you always buy in groups of 10 for the free Premier Ball. There. Your tusks need to grow. They're made of ice, though. Wouldn't want to salt your tusks. Then they'd fall off. Yeah, I'm willing to push Kaladin to the front to do trade-out tactics to force him to level up. Togafi! Well, until we have a full party, the first thing in each group should be caught. Why? Oh, because you're like weak, not weak to our electric. Fair enough. That should be neutral. One more. Don't smack yourself, Mori. Come on. There we go. Togafi was caught. Mori levels up. It is said to be a Pokemon that brings good fortune. The bare slick parts of its hide are shielded against electricity. What are Premier Ball advantages? Nothing. They just look different. Thief Stay. They're... Cosmetic. This can be Thief Steep. Welcome to the party. And their advantage is that you get one free when you buy ten Pokeballs. Ratata Darkrai. It's very quick. But it burnt itself on Kaladin's flaming body. Kaladin wants to learn Ember. It's more useful than Mudsport. And then he wants to learn Mudsport. No thank you. Give up on learning Mudsport. Kaladin grows to level 6. A Tentacruel crossed with a Tentacool? Uh, 
Well, this feels like a Mori job. An electric attack. What are the odds? Uh, give me a sec. One in 420. Please love me this time. We did love you last time, Vama. You were central. It's everything in the first two gens, Cal, and then a certain selection of mons from the other gens, is my understanding. Hell, you even have a permanent... A permanent place in our emotes, Vama. But, uh, yeah, we're just looking at this to decide whether we want to do a full replay. The most interesting thing, I think, will be when we get up to the gym. Nina Nat. And there will be some changes in how I have downloaded this, because the way it auto-downloads now, you have to put manual effort into forcing it to have all the custom sprites. And I do want all the custom sprites installed rather than downloaded on the fly, because then I can't- then I can use them in my overlay. Like at the moment, I can't give you the overlay combo for Mama Swine and this. Because it hasn't downloaded all the sprites by default anymore. They've changed the way that the installer works. No, Kaladin is too damaged. Go Pizza Knot. Twin Needle seems fine. Kaladin wants to learn Smoke Screen. It's more useful than Odor Sleuth. It takes things first type out of the two when they merge, Cal. And there are some Pokemon where they've swapped their normal order because they want them to have a certain order in here. So, like, I'm I'm not 100% sure, but there are, like, some things like Ghastly where normally it would be Poison Ghost rather than Ghost Poison. But for the sake of this, they force the ghost type to be the primary type so that when you merge it, it merges as a ghost. Uh, Pokemon comp It's not like you could search the same patch of Grass Thief Stay and eventually get every single Mon. It's rather that... At the very start, it's randomised what mons are in what zones to within a certain tolerance. So, like, we shouldn't get, um... We shouldn't get, like, an Articuno mixed with a Mewtwo here, because that stat difference is too different to the range that is allowed in this area. Whereas a Slowpoke crossed with a Slynub here is pretty acceptable. Hell, I'd even want to catch that. The range gets higher. Well, that's one of the settings you can control in the randomizer thief state. If you want to go full insane, you could end up in the situation where you're, you are literally facing Mewtwo, Articuno, Dragonite, base stat enemies in the first area. They'll still be the same level, They'll still have the right level, but they could have the absurd stats. Back to Pizza Knot. Confusion is fine. 
I think we should go heal. Do, do, do. Yeah, I made one of the randomizer levels too high, Cal. I made one of them too high. You can control the randomizer settings for... Trainers, the wild, and gyms. I want to get to the gym so that we can show off that randomizing. Drift Tata! Aren't you a cute little... Balloon animal. Okay. Sure, we'll fight you. Failed to get the sprite. Bidoof crossed with Shroomish. Well, let's uh, turn that off so it doesn't fail to get them all. Wild Kaladin. Actually, Ember should be neutral. Kaladin wants to learn Mud Slap. It's better than Smoke Screen. Um, if you press space, or at least for me, if I press space bar, it changes the uh the game speed through a it like cycles through alternate game speeds. Right, so that's normal. And I press spacebar again, it gets quicker. And quicker, slow, normal, quicker, slow, normal, quicker. <sighs> I'm not used to Mamo Swine being able to be attacked with electric attacks. That feels weird. Yes, I'm playing with, um, up, down, left, right, enter, shift, space bar. That's the primary buttons. I haven't had need to press any of the weird, weird and wonderful other buttons yet. I don't know if it has controller. Well, actually, I do know it has controller support, because I had my controller plugged in when I started, and it was making everything go crazy. <laughs> so I unplugged my controller. Kaladin, don't don't lose to a a children's balloon. There we go. Oh, it doesn't know the sprite. I think it's because I changed, I changed between download custom sprites or not in the middle of the thing. In the middle of the area. We'll see. Heal, and then I want to go to the gym. Because that's what I actually want to... One of the things that I want to check out and show off. So supposedly, this gym will be randomised. Brock uses Electric-type Pokémon. It'll be tough to gain an advantage on him.
Zorak combined with a Voltorb. Well, Mud Slap. Kaladin levels up, wants to learn Faint Attack. It is somewhat better than Peck. Mm, sure, we'll get rid of Peck. You're light years away from Block. Hmm. Okay, maybe you need to leave it on for this to be happy. Yeah, it seems like you do need to leave it on. Fine, we'll turn it back on. And again, this is because I didn't download the whole sprite set because they've changed the default installer to not do that and you have to do it manually now which I'll fix in the future but for now not not something I can fix mid mid run pick two mons well obviously Kaladin and Pizza Knot No, 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 it's just so that you can't, like, use a team of six versus him, Cal. It's... it's not a double battle. Uh... Hoot Hoot crossed with... Chinchow? So it's got a nice... immunity to ground types, making up for its electricness because it flies. Oh, in the options. Uh, that would help spread spread experience more evenly. Confusion seems fine. So we have one of Vama's cousins here. Hopip crossed with... Rotom? We get a boulder badge and rock tomb. Thank you. Blobber obtained premium wonder trade ticket. Congratulations. Well done. Okay, go heal. And to say we lost to Brock, he will not have the same Pokemon next time, is one of the other settings that we had. So you can't just like learn their mons and their moves if you have that setting turned on to, um, to beat them, to beat them that way. No, thank you. Advanced options? Yeah, here we go. So, it was... This? No. I thought that would be changing the settings, not... reshuffling with current settings. Yeah, that was set too high. That needs to be more like 60. To be a sensible number. Yeah, 60 for both. Then please reshuffle. I would say the... 
that it's actually too OP that we shouldn't really have you at the moment, Kaladin. You are too strong. You are unreasonably strong. And so... You are going to get put in the box. I don't mind the Growlithe cross with a Flaffy. That doesn't come across as too strong. Neither does a Togepi crossed with a Mareep. Wow. Middle Mareep. You are weak enough to avoid the box. You are. You don't seem too OP. Magmorta crossed with Mamoswine is sadly too strong. That's on me for setting the settings at the very start wrong. And you know, that's part of why we're doing this test out. Working out what settings I want to do this with if I am going to redo this. Show you a fully evolved bug type. Well, you know what? Pizza Naught is a fully evolved... What? Oh, he's poison type first. Yeah, Pizza Nort is poison type before his bug type. <sighs> Very electric and electric fire. Sure. Do I have three tiny mushrooms? Welcome. A bomb mushroom. Please go find my lost revive. Sure. And what did the first person want, actually? And he gives us flash. No. Okay. Gives us the black flute because we've already beat Brock. Hmm. There we go. There's the guy's lost revive. Go give it to him. See what he gives us. Frustration. Well, they're a family cow. Please move faster, lady. She teaches us that hidden ability Pokemons do a little sparkle sparkle. I would assume that it is... It resembles, but is legally distinct from the... Leaf Green Fire Red Map Cow. So, based on, but... Do I want a... Magic Carp crossed with a... Pig of some kind? How does evolving- ah, Fanfy. Yeah, that would make sense. I was thinking Tepig. Yeah, I was thinking Tepig of Iceland, but... It's immune to Thunder Wave, which suggests that it's ground type. Which 
supports Kaladin's fanfy theory. But in answer to your how does evolving work, so for example, we started with Kakuna crossed with middle middle Metang. Um, and when it reached the appropriate level for... I don't want Leah. Leah is bad. When it reached the appropriate level to become a Beedrill, it then evolved into Beedrill crossed with Metang. Who wants to be the horrible magic carp crossed with a fish? Any takers? Yes, both sides evolve this day. Does anyone want to be Scrappy Dappy Do? We'll probably just have to make you Scrappy Do because I don't think Dappy. Actually, Scrappy Dappy Do does fit. It must have a larger character limit than the base game. Now, although Magic Cup is kind of garbage, Gyarados is fantastic. So we will also work on evolving Scrappy Dappy Doo. Nidoran crossed with Ladybug and Tyrogue crossed with Clefairy? Mori needs to be sent out. Or maybe Cleffa? Yeah, maybe Cleffa. Mm, you. I'm okay with continuing to use... Oh, Ember on you, because you're probably bug type. Finish off Clef Rogue. Ember is good. And Confusion. Well done, Scrappy-Doo. You want to learn Flail? It's better than... Splash. And Rage is not better than those moves, so no. No Rage for Pizza Nor. No, I said no. Give up. Miss Mori levels up. And we need to go heal. At least he's not a Sunkern, Vama. At least they're not a Sunkern. Heal, and we go back. Now I'm going to say, just based on this so far, I'm going to say yes, that... I think it is worth replaying. There's enough there's enough new stuff and the randomizer settings to justify playing this through again. So sometime in the future. Oh. We should be expecting to see this again. Fight no no no, come on, fight. I mean, Twin Needle's not going to be great. But it's still enough. Scrappy-Doo doesn't quite level up. Shelda crossed with Litwick. Twin Needle won't be great here, but if we poison, then we're happy. Go back. Scrappy. Ooh. 
Although it looks like we should be playing with the modern experience settings. Because otherwise this is a bit tedious. Oh, bubble beam. Sorry, Mori. Heal. Now, one of the other things that this does is it levels up the grindable opponents. Um, if you grind them. Which I think is a bit of an interesting change. Hammer arm should be fine. Go Scrappy Do again. We want you to become a Gyarados as soon as possible. Abra crossed with Jigglypuff? Or Iggly, it probably Iggly buff based on the squiggly thing. We're steel type, so we don't care about twin needle. Yeah, so this girl down and to the right there, who's a refightable girl. The more you refight her, the stronger she will get. Oh, hoot hoot not doesn't work. And we can't swap, because it's high naught. Well, tackle. Tackle. Come on, Scrappy. Almost. Triple X defense? Should Ninja cross with Ledian? Yeah, alright. Mori? Surely we can... This won't work, will it? Oh, it will work. Okay, and then... The weakest attack I can manage is still too much. Shed Ninja's 1 HP ruins everything. Fair enough. Isn't Brock supposed to be here? Yeah. Rock is here, there we go. Blah 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 blah. Please give me rock smash. I thought he gives us rock smash.
We can buy the buyable Magikarp. And we owe a... who was it? A Gib Iceland? Yes. Well, welcome to the team, Gib Iceland. I think we should swap out as we've had two defense downs. Mori. Well done, Scrappy. Well done, Mori. She wants to learn Otis Sleuth. Absolutely not. Do not learn Otis Sleuth. And our catchable mon for the area, number one, Nidabar. Damn, Pizza Nord is too strong. Wants to learn Rollout. It's certainly better than Growl. Scrappy Dappy Doo has learnt Rollout. <laughs> Chonka Zubat! Chonka Zubat! They see you rolling. They do. Need to heal. The trouble with the rollout is I can't really use it to catch mons. Can't disable throw Pokeball. You can kill Scrappy Doo though. There we go. Okay, who else did we owe a name to? The Hypnosis Bat Pokemon. If your nose becomes itchy while you're sleeping, it's a sign that Zuzi is standing above your pillow and trying to eat your dream through your nostrils. Well, we owe to Vama. Welcome to the party, Vama. You are Chonk Bat. Charmeleon crossed with Lavatar, you say? First we want to paralyze that. And then we definitely want to catch that. Yeah, and then I roll this. You could have been so cool, Vama. Uh, 
Instead, you're a fat bat. You can even have a special Pokeball. Aww. I just want you to be proud of me. Wait, that must actually be Tyranitar, because it- well, must it? No, it could still be Lavatar Charmeleon. Yeah, it's Lavatar, because it's got a la. I was looking at the body and thinking it has too much in the way of arms and legs to not be, um... No, no, Gibiceland is already existent, Cal. Gibiceland is the magic carp. Lavamelian. A Lavamelian is born deep under the ground. If it encounters a strong enemy, it becomes agitated and the flame on its tail flares with a bluish white colour. Vama had redeemed again, so this can be Vama without the Earl. So that they're different. And we definitely want that rather than Chonkbat. The only reason I can think of for wanting Chonk Chonkbat is preparing for the day we have Fly. Morning, Mori. Surely Tyrannizard can fly? Oh, uh, maybe. Would be a fair way away. Hammer arm, one hit KO. And then we find out if this is all we need to get. No, I don't need more of you. Well, actually, you can beat up your cousin. Beat up your cousin, Scrappy. Roll out mist, boo hiss, try again. As long as we don't miss the next one, that's probably a KO. Didn't quite increase in power as much as I was hoping. Done. Cousin defeated. Haha! -ha, beating all these trainers was almost too easy! We're almost invincible! That's nothing, just wait until the boss's new project is operational. Then we will be invincible. Anyway, we should probably go now. We've had our fun with these wimps, but apparently it's still pretty deep into the cave. We'll miss it if we're wasting any more time here. And good thinking, putting the rock in the way, there's less chance of having some random brat wandering in. We get the mushroom. Sure, Vama. <laughs> I'm afraid you're not going to live for very long. Oh, no, you managed to beat. Beat your improved self through some lucky confusions. Okay, and now if we talk to Brock, he gives us Rock Smash, please. Go, Mori. Amber. 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 
Doesn't appear to have any offensive moves. You are a Flaffy crossed with a Growlithe! You're an absolute cutie! No Cotton Spore. Cotton Spore bad. Heal everyone. Let's get rid of... Oh, Gibiceland wasn't actually a magic carp. He is a ditto crossed with a radata. Well, goodbye. And hello, the better vomer. Oh, I forgot to talk to Brock. Oops! Hmm? There's some thugs dressed in black. Rocks are in the way, here's Rock Smash. It should help you. I'm inclined to save Vama. Get rid of Screech. Because I can see us keeping Vama around for a long time. Yes, it's not the best move, but it's an okay move. Destroy fat Vama. Well done, Scrappy. You will be a Gyarados in no time. Mm, give it one more go. Morning, Zav. Well done, Scrappy, but you're kind of low enough on health now that we'll trade into someone else to... Start harvesting levels. The good Vama. Already teaching you rock smash is proving to be a good thing. You think you're not going to make it? Look, you're... You're here to sacrifice on a trade-in, and then probably be dead. Thief stay. Oh, this one hasn't succeeded. Two levels! In one fight. Enemy's fat vama does not confuse us. There is an enemy here, and I can't be asked walking all the way to heal, so we will burn one of our potions. There you go, Vama.
Oh, come on. That shouldn't be one that you can't fetch. I want to see what Mimer Pip looks like. Chip away? That's better than smoke screen. Riolu crossed with Weepin Bell. Well, Ember. Hoot Tata is a monstrosity. Probably time to trade Vummer away from being at the front. Mori, assume the lead position. Oh, you're a rematch person? Still hasn't loaded. Ember. Ember. And Ember. Helping hand? Absolutely not. Now see, she's just leveled up, before she was level 14. I'm pretty sure. And before it was a two-hit KO. So yeah, the people like this that you can grind, slowly get stronger as you grind them. 16. It can evolve Thief's Day. So if she had one that... Charge is not better than the stuff we have. Um, say it was a Kakuna and it achieved the level that it could become a Beedrill, then it will evolve. But for now, this is a very good place to... Well, it was a good place to grind Mori. Uh, pizza. You know what, we'll actually... Oh, wrong thing. We'll change this. Mm, this. And... The hell? That. That instead. There, that'll do.
Is it only two? I think it has the same number as the area normally has and randomizes on them. So what? In this area, we currently have the Ladybar thing, the Zubat thing, the Charmeleon thing. Or do you mean self-imposed rules? I tend to go by two per area so that you get one fusion mon for myself. But again, we're not really doing this today as a full playthrough. We're just testing out the changes to work out if I wanna. And the answer is basically yes. <laughs> so here's another one that we hadn't seen. All the accuracy downs have actually... Go bad, Vama. Good Vama. And we could actually put Scrappy Doo back in the front. Back in the front. You second. Good Vama third. Fight through confusion. Go good, Vama. I don't want to fight through confusion again, so go back to Scrappy. Good. Bugs in this cave, bring them on. No, it didn't work. Truant slacking crossed with tentacle, presumably. Ow. Although, no, you should be fine here, actually. Go pizza, get rid of the infestation problem. is bigger than I thought. Come on. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Vama smacks herself to death. Pizza wants Pursuit. Pursuit's actually a pretty good move, but 
I haven't seen these AIs want to switch yet, so we'll say no. We kind of need to go heal. Yeah, we need to go heal. Working Scrappy's way towards Gyarados. Crush your cousin. That seems to only know Splash. Oh no, Defense Curl. really help if you actually hit. Come on, Scrappy. There we go. Long now. Okay, Scrappy, back to the back. Go, good vomit. Vomit is confused by being kissed. Go, Mori. Please, please stop it with the confusing my people. Go pizza. I'm sorry. Thank you. The bugs you find in caves are different from the ones you find in forests. Smeagol crossed with Soliosis? Good work, Farmer. Ooh, that'd be a good one to have. A Salamance Venusaur. You fail. Why does it hurt, trainer? Poor oh, Smeagol Trap Inch. Excellent. 
scissor. It's actually a really good attack for where we are. Now, it's probably better for us to change over to X thing than Twin Needle. Pizza Knot, welcome to X Scissor instead of Twin Needle. It means we don't have a poison, but its base damage is so much higher. None of the other TMs we have are particularly useful. Mori, get to the front. We'll see if we can't get one more trainer done before we go heal again. Avatar crossed with... I can't tell, because there's no picture. Sure. Well, finish this person, get the item. Exit out. Heal. And then we can swap over. So probably like two mins. Use Ember. Ember. This Morrigan is confused about having been kissed, but manages to Ember the enemy to death nevertheless. She wants to learn Flame Wheel. It's significantly better than Ember, so okay. has hurt herself in her confusion. Come on, let's get out of here. Please stay faster than them. Thank you. Um, there are also um, uh, day-night cycle stuff, I think, for the, um, for the outside ones. I forget about the inside ones. I don't think caves have date-night cycle. I, I forget. I'm not sure. But for outside, there is also day-night cycle um, stuff. Anyway. That was enough for me to say, yes, I'm happy to play this through again in the near future with appropriate randomizing settings and the full sprite packs. I think it's in-game time, Vama. I don't think it matches your your clock, like your PC clock. But I'm not sure. Anyway. Boop. Let's lose the today. And this. And said stay. That give me a minute or two to use the restroom, grab my drink, put on a put on my vest because it's actually getting a bit cool. But it is time for myself and Miss Morgan Nightshade to play Disc World Noir. See you shortly. I'll need to put my controller back in so that we can play PlayStation 1. Anyway, shortly, shortly, shortly. Yeah.
best. Best good. Uh, let me kill that. Let me kill that. Let me open thing of me. This instead becomes up, 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 up. This, this. Yeah, 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 you failed to find some language thing. No, 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 not power shovel. There we go. And then we want... This. Hello, Mori! Oh, have I muted? Hello. Oh, God, no. Ah! Give me a sec. Things are going horribly wrong. This settings. It's trying to use my screen speakers. Uh. Output device. Please use. That thing. Okay, try again, Maury. Hello? Yes, that looks much better. Okay. <laughs> good, good. Okay. And lastly, we need the right scene. Which is... That one. Except that we don't need our No Dino Crisis sign at the moment. All right. Ready, steady. Oh no, game category. Uh... Come on. There we go. Game category, and we do our rampant shilling, and change title and stuff. So. <clears throat> Senior Detectives Disc World Noir And Rampant Shilling This 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 And This No, hi. Get back one. Hmm? I'm navigating to the correct folder with the shill stuff. Uh, and it's that. Done. Okay, we're all good. Maximum shill achieved. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to. Senior Detectives, myself and Ms. Mori. Hello, hello. Playing through Disc World Noir. I don't know tons about this. This isn't a game I have any exposure to, aside from in the sense of the series, the Disc World games, I know the previous ones. But this is seemingly fairly disconnected. And it was also suggested by channel, channel friend Ninjin. So yeah, we'll be, we'll be playing this out. Ready, steady, new game. It controls using the D-pad as if this is a mouse, which is a bit weird. Hmm. 
not based on one of Pratchett's books. Which is probably for worse. Does good work, the man. Or did. Rest in peace. Not for better than the fact that we don't know the story. Okay. And th this actually looks pretty sweet for the PlayStation 1. This is... It is pre-render, I suppose. Got stabbed. Okay. Looks like intro. I've had Ooh. some bad days since I started work as a private investigator, but I'd never woken up dead before. It all started the week before on a cold and wet September day in Ankh-Morpork, the oldest and most depraved of all the cities on the Discworld. But hey, no, oh, he didn't say the last of the the line. I'd been working as a PI for little Bella didn't want to say the last bit of the line. Was slow. Hiring an investigator to look into your business requires trust. And the amount of trust in Ankh Morpork wouldn't fill a cup. And it's a small cup I'm talking about. Sure, people trust that you don't get on the wrong side of the patrician. People trust that you don't walk into the shades alone. People trust that the Assassin's Guild will fulfill their contracts or <laughs> double your money back. back. Yeah, people even trust death. Just don't ask them to trust their mothers. Mr. Luton? If I'm not, I should fire the guy who painted the door. So this is what a private investigator looks like. I expected someone more heroic. Heroism costs extra. What can I do for you, miss? Mrs. Actually. And the name is Carlotta. Okay, Mrs. Actually. Carlotta it is. What's a girl like you doing out on a night like this? I want to hire you, Mr. Luton. Please call me Luton. Mr. sounds so formal. How much do you charge for a simple investigation? I don't know. I've never had a simple investigation. A tricky one is 20 a day. I'll give you 200 in advance, plus expenses. For 200, I guess I should treat you with some respect. Oh, I wouldn't ask a guy like you to attempt the impossible. <laughs> What's the case? Uh. I want you to find a man named Mundy. Why do you want to find Mundy? Do you know him? No. And this case will go a lot faster if you let me ask the questions. You like to be in control, don't you, Luton? If you don't pull the strings, then you're the puppet. Tell me about you and Mundy. I've been a lonely woman, Luton. You amaze me. You'd be surprised. Shocked, maybe, but not surprised. Mundy is my lover, Luton. Or used to be. He's been away for a while, over in Sort. He came back to Ankh Morpork a couple of days ago on the Milka, but he didn't on come the to Milka. see me. I think he may be having an affair. You're wondering whether my husband knows about it. Actually, I was wondering when you were going to give me the money. My husband passed away several years ago. I hope the poor guy was smiling at the time. Is there anything you can tell me about Monday that might help me find him? He's got blue eyes, brown hair, 
and a black heart. You'd like him. Has he got any friends in Angmorborg? Does anyone? How tall is he? I don't know. I don't picture him standing up. What was Mundy's oh my sort? I don't know. I never asked about his work, and he never told me. Must be a very straightforward relationship. As simple as they come. Where can I find the ship he came in on? Down at the wharf. Have you been there yourself? I avoid places like that. Women and seamen. Uh, forget I asked. This is a bad neighborhood for you to come into alone, Carlotta. I can take care of myself. I believe you. Good. Trust is important. I said I believed you. I never <laughs> said I trusted you. Don't you like me, Luton? I like a lot of things. I like dogs, but I wouldn't trust one not to bite me. I won't bite. Shame. I haven't been bitten in a long while. I'd better get started on your case. Where can I contact you? I'll be in touch. Be seeing you, Luton. I hoped I would see her again, because she still hadn't paid me. Because <laughs> she hadn't paid me. It wasn't every day that a beautiful woman offered me a case. Frankly, it wasn't often that anybody offered me a case. And 200 yeah. would certainly help pay the rent, if I had anything left over from my barb. Oh, do we have control? No. Now we have control. Okay. Door. Desk. I could hardly carry the desk around, even if I wanted to. Luton, so ourself. Sapient pearwood comes from a plant so magical that it is totally impervious to all forms of magic, and so valuable that thieves have cut each other's throats to own it. Unfortunately, I couldn't afford a desk made out of it, so I made do with pine. It's a nice desk, though. Oh, it's... it's quippy so far, filing cabinet. All I had to do was track down Mundy and tell Carlotta where he was. Okay, maybe we should leave then. Door? Can I have the door indicator again, please? You missed your chance at the door. Luggage is sapient pear wood. A lot of strange things had happened to me since becoming a private investigator. But the weirdest was the irrepressible sensation that the most important thing for me to own as a PI was a door with my name painted on the glass. Some mysteries are best left unsolved, I guess. Can I not use the door? I think we could safely say that the door to my office was just for getting in and out of my office. A lot of... How do we, how do we use door? It's not, it's not square, it's not triangle, it's not circle, and it's not cross. Ooh. Contents, cases, contacts. Trying to check out if the corners act as if they are, um... Yes? Where page turns. But it doesn't look like they are. And how do we get out of the first room? Okay. You use the thing to the left of the door that has the finger outwards button. We've got our office. The wharf, which is where we were told to go, and so seems the most sensible place to go, and some fairly cursory, not quite pixel scrubbing, but sort of vague pixel wiggling around suggests that there isn't anything else. So I guess we'll go to the wharf, eh? Seems like the plan to go. The wharf. 
The wharf was on the upmarket side of the river in the city of Ankh. Mm. The Morpork docks on the other side of the river were not a place wise travelers disembarked at. But then again, wise travelers tried to avoid Ankh Morpork altogether. But if you traveled a lot, it was hard to miss, like malaria. So what we got, we got a person who we seemingly can't do anything with a ship. The first mates didn't look particularly willing to let people aboard. The Milka was a tramp schooner, one of the many ramshackle ships that plied their trade around the Circle Sea. From the looks of it, it should have sunk years ago. Even the rats thought twice before boarding it. Oh, and there's also a guy up here. Mr. Scoplet. The first mate. Can I talk to him? Are you the first mate? Ah! Shiver me timbers! Hoist the main brace! Let's start again. Are you the first mate? Hoi! That I be! Could he be more stereotyped of Pilch Seaman? You're money off me so you can drop the fake accent. Oh, sorry. You know how it is. <laughs> Some people are stupid enough to fall for that sort of thing. What can I do for you? Well, it didn't last long, his stereotypicalness. What can we do? Can we talk to you? When do you sail? As soon as we've got her loaded. How much is passage? Where are you looking to go? I don't know. Sort, perhaps. We've just come from there. It'll be a long time before we get back there again. Did you bring any passengers? Sure. We always try to take a couple of passengers. They pay their way, and if there's a big storm, they are very useful as to sacrifice to the angry oh sea gods. Of course, we tell people they were washed over the side. We can ask about passengers or sacrifices. I guess passengers more. What were the passengers? Passengers on the last seems more like? appropriate. There were three of them. One of them seemed all right, but the other two, I don't know about them. There was something strange about them. <laughs> Now we can ask about Do the sacrifices. Sacrifice passengers often. No. The captain doesn't like it. He says it's bad for business. I said that we were advertising ourselves as offering an exciting tour of the Circle Sea. But he pointed out that most people would expect the tour to be above the water. If I'd had my way, we'd have thrown some people off the last voyage. Bad omens? The old crew had a bad feeling of dread from the moment we set off. Looking at the state of the ship, that doesn't come as a surprise. Okay, and it looks like there's nothing else unless we're going to use hand, which I guess we should learn what hand does. Well, safe voyage. Okay, hand is goodbye. Possible. The sailor was busy loading the ship, and I decided not to disturb him. Hmm. Really? Something told me I wasn't going to learn anything useful from the sailor. Okay. What else is around here? Crates? I couldn't carry the crates even if I wanted to. I couldn't tell what the crates contained, and frankly I didn't much care. Outgoing cargo wasn't going to tell me much. I needed to know whether Mundy had brought something with him. Well, if we can't talk to the sailor, and we can't talk to the crates, or do anything to the crates... Is crate different than crates it is? Yeah, Rumor, it would the make sense if we could ask about thing in the notebook. Large frame, sturdy and thick. Oi! Get away from that! A lot like the sailor. Sturdy and thick like the sailor. A crate. What more could I say? Now, can I talk to you? Something? No, okay, so we'll come back. And see if we can actually talk to you about our notebook things, eh? Okay. Does he do the whole... Still here? Not for much longer, I hope. No. Notebook. 
Okay. Mysterious passenger. Carlotta. Contacts. Cases. Suspects. The Mundy case. We can ask about Mundy. Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. No. Carlotta had hired me to... At the beginning, that was pretty much all I knew about him. Was there a man named... Ah, uh, okay, you've got to use X. It's funny you should ask that. You're the second person today to have an interest in Mundy. Who was the first? A dwarf. He didn't give his name. Oh, I don't think he was from round here, though. What about Mundy? What was he like? I don't pry into the passenger's business. But for a man who came on board pretty happy, he seemed pretty unsettled when he left. Not that I blame him. Something was definitely amiss on this last voyage. Do you know where he is now? Mundy? No. Like I said, I don't pry in the passenger's business. Unless you actually look through their luggage after they've been washed over the side. Hey, what are you inferring? I'm not inferring anything. I'm implying that you might have had a look at their luggage at one point. If I had, I certainly wouldn't admit it to you. Which either means you didn't look, or you didn't find anything of interest. <laughs> you better watch your step, son. It's not good to make accusations like that. Don't worry. Anything we discuss is strictly between you, me, and, and anyone you. else I tell. Okay, so nothing useful about the guy. What do you know about a woman named Carlotta? Doesn't ring any bells, I'm afraid. What was strange about these passengers? I don't know. One of them seemed kind of foreign. I mean, more foreign than most. Since that was who I'd learnt about that from in the first place, I didn't feel like... Okay, we can't ask more about the foreigner. Ground. Can we ask him about his boat? This is the Milka, isn't it? That's what it says on the prow. It's impossible to read anything written on that hull. Just because you can't read it doesn't mean it isn't there. Reality is subjective, after all. Don't get all existential with me. It was more ontological than existential. That's a really bad habit you've got there. What? Oh, sorry. I picked up a bad case of philosophy in Ephibi a couple of years ago, and I haven't been able to get rid of it since. Just can't seem to shake it off. Normal as anything one minute. Next moment, I'm wondering if anything can truly be said to exist. A bit of a drawback when you're supposed to be navigating. Okay, assuming the existence of an objective shared universe, is this the Milka? Yes. Can I have a look on board? No. That Damn. better not be some kind of philosophical objection. No one gets on board without Captain Jenkins' permission. All right. Where is the captain? Oh, I don't know. But you could try the cafe. <laughs> Ankh. He usually goes there when he's in Ankhmore Pork. If it exists, of course. If it exists, of course. Sure. Might not exist. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I think we've exhaustively now asked him about everything. So unless there's something to ask him about in our inventory, which it doesn't look like there is, I think we say goodbye. So, presumably we can go to the cafe now and ask about the... Well, find the captain there. Let's mm -hmm. have another search. What do we got? No Nimi Blob, I'm not sick, just a bit of a sore throat in the morning. Hmm. And yet I'm not seeing a cafe. I'm not actually seeing anything. There we go. Got Wolf to... Oh, it only shows up names when you are sitting still over them. Like, you can't do this and expect the... Mm. That's, um... <laughs> a 
little awkward. It means we really do have to actually kind of pixel scrub. Okay, there's our office, sure. Is it going to be the big white thing, you think? That's only like slightly more up. I would assume it's the one with the lights on. Yes. I mean, is Fan even alive, Vama? Oh, I thought this was a cutscene. It's not. Allegedly. So this page exists only for moving further into the cafe, as far as I can tell. Sure. Ooh! A vampire! You can't recall If the whiskey knocked you flat Or if everything was a blur That you remember are the tunes of a vampire, <coughs> a melancholy tune about impending doom. I'll fetch your tankard, fill it to the brim. A cask of stale, broken drum ale. Wondering how long till you meet it again on the bank of the Ang. Too much to drink. I thought I told you never to play that song again. Oh, sorry, Mr. Luton. It's just I wasn't expecting you to call by tonight, and... You weren't expecting me? It's only been eight years, Samael. I guess my memory ain't what it used to be. I don't know why Samael put up with my temper. He could have broken every bone in my body if he'd wanted to. But that's what made him special, I guess. That he'd take almost any kind of abuse from the clientele, and he'd still be there at the piano, playing better than anyone else in Ankh Morpork. And singing! So we've got the pianist, and it looks like the captain's over in the corner. Boop. I don't know, I, I have seen Casablanca. It was a different one that I hadn't seen that you wanted me to see. Maltese Falcon, Mama? I think? No, 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 I have seen Casablanca. I know my... I'm shocked! Shocked! Excuse me, sir. Your winnings from tonight. That there's gambling going on here. So are we going to talk to the vampire or the captain first? Say the vampire. Wasn't even a question for Maury. I decided no. to disturb some ale while he was- Ah, oh, we're not allowed. I tried. Ooh. I tried. Are you Captain Jenkins? That depends on who's asking. Don't play games. I'm just after a few answers. That song really put you in a bad mood, didn't it? If you're trying to get me angry, it's working. No need to get upset. You need to drink more and think less. If I drank any more than I do now, I'd never think again. That's the ticket. Introduction. 
So, you're the captain of the Milka. Unfortunately. Unfortunately? Ordinarily, I'd be happy being a captain of a fine ship like the Milka. But after this last voyage, I'm thinking of taking up farming. Oh no. Tough journey. I don't want to talk about it. Not farming. What's wrong with the previous voyage? What was so bad about the last voyage? I told you I don't want to talk about it. Sometimes it helps to talk about these things. Why would I want to talk about it? All right, let's put that another way. I want to talk about it, and the sooner I finish talking to you, the sooner you can get <laughs> back to drinking. By that logic, my best bet would be to just ignore you and carry on drinking. I was never much good at logic. I did home economics at school. Sounds like we need the help of a philosopher first mate to teach us some logic. I was hoping you'd oh, no. look around on the Milka. I was hoping that I was going to make enough money to be able to buy myself a harem of exotic dancers called Chantel. <laughs> but it looks like we're both <laughs> disappointed. Okay. Is there any way I can persuade you to let me on your ship? Is there any way I can persuade you to go away? To give me orders to your first mate to let me on the ship? I think that would work. Okay. What do you know about the guy we're after? Oh. What do you know about the guy we're after? Carlotta had hired me to at the beginning that was pretty I understand you are carrying a man named Mundy on your ship. What's it to you? I was hoping to find him. Owes your money, does he? No. He's an old friend. Him? You must think I'm as drunk as I look. <coughs> Aren't you? Well, okay, so maybe I am. What did you want to know? Where is he now? I've no idea. We picked him up in Sort a couple of weeks ago and we brought him here. Consistent. That's about all I want to know about him. Did he say what he was coming to Ank Morpork for? I think he said he was meeting someone. Who? Oh, I can barely remember my own name, let alone something I overheard through a doorway last week. Damn. The Milka looks like a good ship. You know nothing about ships, do you? She looks like exactly what she is. A run-down tramp schooner with no future. Any chance I could look around her anyway? All I want to do is get the cargo loaded and get out of this God's forsaken city. I don't need people snooping around on board. Oh. We can ask him about Carlotta. What do you know about a woman named Carlotta? There's no one I know. And the mysterious passenger? On your last voyage, mm -hmm. there were three passengers, right? Mundy and two others. You tell me. You seem to know more about my ship than I do. I just want to know what you can remember about them. Well, you remember that we picked them up in Echo Pond. And I know they had a lot of cargo. Oh, and one was a woman, and one was a man. I think. You think he was a man? There was something particularly foreign about him. I'm not sure what. Where's Ecclepon? Up near the hub. God's forsaken place. All there is to do there is drink and eat fish sandwiches with no tops on. Sounds like a long way from the Circle C. We got lost, all right. It's easy to mix up port and starboard when you've drunk too much port. Are they still on board? Nope. We dropped them in on more pork. And before you ask, I have no idea what they were doing here. That's not my business. 
I was beginning to realize that Captain Jenkins only had two questions to ask his passengers. Where are you going? And how much money have you got? You can also ask about the inquisitive stranger. Has there been a dwarf around asking questions? I wouldn't know anything about that. And I think that's it. Which isn't really a lot to go on. When we asked about the ship, we asked about the guy. We asked about all the other people. And yet I don't feel like he really gave us anything other than that there are maybe two more people to ask questions of? No. What I will say is it is very interesting that compared to like most other point and clicks that it's had the it's had very sort of interesting scene camera angles and like this the scene compositions aren't just like you're walking through a big open town and there are people standing there they're like much more personal about the the one person that that room is sort of centered around True, and one of the things that I'm reacting a bit to is that we've been through several scenes now and we haven't picked up a lot of stuff. We don't have lots of items, no. Which is good, because it means we don't have to start combinatorixing everything. Hmm. Do we have a new location that we can- or will the vampire let us talk now that we've talked to the guy? Well, it looks like maybe. I decided not to no. disturb Samael while he was working. The pianist, Samael, was one of Café Ankh's greatest assets. Not only was he a first-rate musician, but there was something about him that made you think it'd be a bad idea to start any trouble. Do we have a new location? Because he didn't really tell us where they went. So how are we meant to, like, no. track these new people down? So there's still the cafe. There's still the wharf. And there's our office. We don't really have any resources at our office that we can use either. There's someone else at the cafe? Ooh. Nothing like a cup of imp-made coffee to make me jittery and paranoid. Says Vama, we... It's very dark. I might have missed someone. Maybe there's someone outside here that I missed? That's- that's a slightly different hand to that one, so maybe there's a, like, side alley to go down? Could be. Oh ho, a crowbar! Excellent. And the passageway underneath. I figured the golem wouldn't notice that the crowbar had gone missing. Not that I'm saying it didn't need it. Just that I'd figured I'd get away with stealing it. <laughs> and you get your wish, Mori. We have our first... I decided not to try stealing the wine barrels. Our first item. The cart was being loaded with barrels of wine. Apart from the wine, I can't say I was interested. Can we open that trap door? Well, that I wouldn't be able to get down there without permission and the right key. No. So it looks like that scene exists only to, well, 
It exists to give us the trap- the- not the trap door. Idiot blubber. It exists to give us the crowbar. Now there's- Oh, there's a little old lady. At least I assume this is a little old lady. It doesn't have a little old lady name. It looks like a little old lady. Hello, Nobby. Eh. Uh, oh, it's meant to be a, like, English adventurer type. How you been keeping? I've been worse. Mm. Of course, I've been better, too. And I've been a hell of a lot better and not much worse. That's good, isn't it? Don't worry. If Commander Vimes sees us together, I'll tell him I made you talk to me. <sighs> it's not that I don't like you, Luton. I mean, we was friends and all. But it's just... well... It's just he'd bite your head off if he saw you talking to me. He'd go spare. Well, welcome. How you been keeping, Nobby? How's the rest of the watch? Not so bad, Luton. Been keeping myself busy. Been working with Sergeant Colon. How is old fatty Colon? Still fat. I'll tell him I saw you. No, you won't. Okay, so maybe I won't. I was just being trite. Polite. Uh, yeah, that's the one. What about the good old days? I guess I never really understood why it was that you didn't get kicked out as well, Nobby. Me? I ain't never done nothing wrong. Don't give me that, Nobby. When you were serving as quartermaster under the Duke of Pseudopolis, Pseudopolis. it was widely known that several items from the stores were found in your kit. That was all above board. I had all the paperwork for him. Your kit at the time consisted of two warehouses. I just think Vimes had a grudge against me. Luton, I know you're my friend and all, but uh, you took a bribe. Are you trying to tell me you never took a bribe? Never. The ham from Harga's House of Ribs? Evidence. The pocket clock from the suicide in the shades? I wanted something to remember him by. The money in the petty cash box? Mislaid by someone. Misappropriated by you. I never misanthropated anything. I just want to understand why it was that you could get away with all your petty theft and I couldn't get away with one act of weakness. Well, um, you see, um, just say it, Nobby. I'm not going to... I always cut the you. boss in. Well, I reckon Mr. Vimes thinks that a bit of petty theft ain't something to get excited about. I ain't admitting anything, Mark, you. Nothing's ever been proved. I got compared to some of the stuff that... But someone who's taken a what? bribe... Well, that's like allowing the rich to avoid justice. That wasn't why I did it. I know. But you know Vimes. Yeah. I know Vimes, all right. What about him? What Vimes up to these days? He got married. Married? He was only ever married to his job. Nah, straight up. He married into the nobility. Old stone face in the nobility. <sighs> That'd drive him crazy. Well, he's sought nobility himself now. What? They made him commander of the watch. And we got a great new premises down on Pseudopolis Yard. They're full of patents and vases and all sorts. Full? Well, maybe not as full as when we moved in, but pretty full. I'll have to call around sometime. Yeah, that'd be good. We got a lot more members in the watch these days. And we got a new dartboard. Life in the fast lane, huh? Do you seriously think it's a good idea for me to call around? I mean, Vimes isn't gonna like it. Whatever you may think about him, he's loyal to his job. I can't say he'll welcome you with open arms, but he won't stop you. Okay, so that's background. This yellow thing I thought was maybe something that's an item, but it's not. It's just a particularly yellow part of the background. What, friend, do you know about Carlotta? What do you know about a woman named Carlotta? I'm not getting drawn into anything while I'm off duty. Wait till I'm back at the yard. Really? Anything? Do you know anything about some passengers that came into town by ship a few days ago? That's not much to go on. 
You're a corporal in the watch. You're supposed to have a keen, insightful mind. They brought that regulation in after I joined. Okay, so no, he will tell us some Has things. Has there been a dwarf around asking questions? Can't this wait till I get back to the yard? I'm off duty. What do you know about the ship? Do you know anything about a man named Mundy? I'm not getting drawn into anything while I'm off duty. Wait till I'm back at the yard. And the ship? Do you know anything about a man named... No, 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 no. Come on, I wanted the ship. Have you heard of the... It arrived in town a short... How long ago? Three days. That's strange. Why? Well, there's been a string of odd murders in the last three days. Uh-oh. What do you mean, odd? I mean, this is Ankh-Morpork we're talking about. I'm not sure I should discuss the details with a pavilion. A civilian, Nobby. <laughs> How much have you had to drink? I'm as sober as the day I was born. Ah, that's a frightening thought. A location has been added to our map, I think? Since that was who I'd learnt about Probably that... Probably the yard. And we've got a new conversation topic. Mysterious murders. But it doesn't want us to ask him more about it. What if we present you with this... Crowbar? Tempting as it was, I decided not to start attacking people with the crowbar. Tempting as... Fine. Tempting as it... You reckon we Did check out- Do know anything about the murders? Ah, yes, we could- we could definitely go- go do that. Hello again. Hello yourself. So, about these murders... Do you know anything about the recent murders in Ankh-Morpork? I know that there are always murders in Ankh-Morpork. See Ankh-Morpork and die, they say. Often in the same day. That's not a very helpful answer. It wasn't a very sensible question. No. Do you know any- No, 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 let us out. I in a sensible question. There needs to be a smoke a cigar button. Can we talk to you now? Or are you still not talkable? Also, the other guy has left. I decided not to disturb so Nobby has work. left. So He's probably back on uh, work. We we can hope. Let's go. And see if there's a new lit up place on the minimap. Ah, uh, that looks... Yes. Pseudopolis Yard. I headed over to Pseudopolis Yard, but Nobby wasn't there yet. I decided to come back later. Crushed. Mm. So there's still our office. We can ask the, uh... Eh. The first mate about the murders. True. Sure. And I think then we're out? Unless the sailor will now talk to us. Or we can use the... Not for much longer, I hope. Crowbar on the crate. Do you know anything no, about I'm just going to quickly go and give Costa his breakfast. Sorry, I wouldn't know anything about that. Sure thing. Doggo food. No, nothing about the mysterious murders. Hmm. And you? Ooh, the sailor is gone. So yes, uh, how do we, how do we use? The crates on the wharf were built. Yeah, I know. Crate. I know. I want to use my inventory on crate. The cr How do we... 
Hmm. Hmm. That's not quite what I'm after. The crate. But it doesn't hurt to have. Oh. Ah, here we go. There was an ins Use crowbar on crate. I think that the hold was dark and dank, and I couldn't shake the feeling that I wasn't alone. How did I do this? It's unclear. But it looks like maybe using crowbar on crate got us inside the ship. The hold was full of crates for the outgoing voyage. They were of little interest to me. The bilge water was littered with flotsam that looked like the remains of a smashed crate. So there's out this way, and there's out this way. Do they lead to the same place? Lair. There was nothing of value in the debris. It looked the question. There was nothing of Okay, we can't use the lair. <clears throat> so it's unclear, at least to me, what this direction is for at the moment. Let's go out the other way then. We can jump in the okay, river. So have you solved the case? We used crowbar on crate outside the boat, and it got us inside the boat. If I'd known what I had to do, I would have <clears> gone on board in the first place. And then you get out of the boat by jumping into the river. But we didn't find anything in the boat, on an ordinary so I don't know how it helped us. But this night, business was coming to me, and bringing trouble with it. Business, I didn't mind. But trouble was an unwelcome guest. And like all unwelcome guests, it was hard to ask it to leave. And by the third day, it was generally wearing your shirts and leaving its stuff in your bathroom. Hello, Mr. Luton. I've been expecting you. I should hope so. This is my office. How'd you get in? Through the door. It was only locked. I know all about doors. Good. Use this one to get out. I have a message for you, Mr. Luton. I don't take messages from strangers. Then let me introduce myself. My name is Mr. Al Kali. I don't take messages Mr. from Alkali? after cities. My name isn't important. You seem to think it was. I've come to warn you to stay clean. Ooh, we're being threatened. I'll bear that in mind. Now get out. If you don't stay clear of the Mandy case, something untoward may happen to you. This is Ankh Morpork. Something untoward may happen to me whether I investigate this case or not. Now either you get out or I'll throw you out. 
Don't say I didn't warn you, Mr. Luton. Don't say I didn't ignore you, Mr. Alkali. And we literally throw him out. A dwarf named after the Kletchian city Come of Alkali. There we go. And a threat. This case was getting more interesting by the minute. All we needed was a troll and a member of the undead, and we could open an ethnic comedy on Broadway. We gained something to investigate, question mark? There was a brief period of time where in the top corner of the screen there was a, like, magnifying glass transparency thing. I could hardly... Bottom of the desk, is that left something, or is it just a light source? Like there? Or yeah, it was just a that yeah. shiny thing? It was just a shiny thing. It was just the lights. Hmm. So we got threatened by... Well, let's see if we can... And let's also see if I can work out how I did... Yeah. There was so it was shoulder button opens inventory to start rubbing inventory items on other things. But there doesn't look like there's anything else that's going to be useful here. My purse might not have been my most valued possession, but I sure felt happier when it was full than when it was empty. We can potentially use purse on people. I think we could see. I don't think we have that much funds. Hmm. You don't think we can afford to bribe people? I've got wharf. Nope. Maybe now that the dwarf has threatened us, we can go to the yard. Yes. Ooh, and cutscene. Hello again, Nobby. Hello, Luton. Did I disturb you? No, no. What made you think that? Well, there appears to be smoke coming from your ear. Oh, oh that, um... Well, I, I, I've been working hard, you see. Working so hard that your ears have caught fire. Eh... Uh... Don't worry about it, Nobby. It's not like I'm going to report to you. I have been working, see? Oh, sure. I never doubted it for a second. Okay. Can we talk to him now? About the things he wouldn't let us talk to him about before. What do you know about a woman named Carlotta? Never heard of him. Well, at least that was quick. I don't suppose you've investigated the passengers on the Milka, have you? Of course I have. Sorry, but you're not the most... er... Uh, diligent of investigators. I work as hard as any man of my rank. <laughs> you're the only man of your rank. There's three dwarfs, two troll, a woman and a zombie with the same rank as you, but you're the only human male. I know you're human, because you carry a bit of paper to prove it, signed by the midwife. The maleness? I'll take that on trust. Do you want me to help you or not? What have you got? Well, I interviewed one of the passengers. What did you learn? Uh, that's official watch business. You didn't learn anything, did you? Not as such, no. Any chance I could interview this passenger? I don't see why not. She's down in the Cafe Ank now. Well, that's something, I guess. 
Okay, what about the inquisitive stranger? Has there been a dwarf around asking questions? I don't know. And what about the one that was threatening us? Do you know a dwarf by the name of Alkali? Not Alkali. Never heard of him. How did you know he was male then? You can't trick me. Everyone knows dwarves don't use the female pronoun. Okay, okay. Mind you, I've always wondered what a female pronoun was. One of nature's wonderful mysteries, Nobby. Is it normally kept covered or what? I'm going to leave it to your rather uninventive imagination, Nobby. Anything about the mysterious murders? Any word on these murders? Nothing yet. But our top investigators are working on the case 24 hours a day. Uh... Nobby? Yeah? Are you one of those crack investigators? Yeah. Why? Never mind. Just a thought. We've been told that he'll say hello to Fred for us, Salty, but then he admitted that he actually wouldn't. Do you know anything about a man named Mundy? Never heard of him. And what about the ship? Have you learned anything about the Milka? Yeah, not as such, no. You go to great lengths to conceal how little work you do, don't you? Hey. Okay. I don't know why we've still got the introduce ourselves thing, though. How's work treating you, then? Not so bad, Luton. Might as well. I've been busy, though. Rushed off my feet. I mean, the dialogue's a treat, so it'd be a shame to miss some. What do you think of this crowbar? Tempting as it was. No. Bribery? I suppressed the urge to ask for money. I was broke, sure, but I wasn't that desperate. Not yet. Fair enough. I su See, we're broke. We can't. Uh, we can't bribe people. Yeah, uh. I was assuming we'd be bribing people. I think we've asked about everything then. Mm -hmm. So back to the cafe, like he said, and find whoever is there. Ooh. The troll stepped out of the shadows like light was too intimidated to illuminate him. He seemed like the quiet sort, but you got the feeling that if you stepped out of line, you'd get your teeth kicked down your throat. For that matter, he could kick your throat down your chest and your <laughs> chest through your legs. But I was hoping it wouldn't come to that, because none of my clothes would fit. Find them Sorry, friend, I don't understand. Find Therma. Find Therma. You want me to find Therma? Is that it? <laughs> well, what is it? A person? A thing? Look, if we're going to carry out a conversation, it'd help for you to talk. Find Therma. Okay, okay, find Therma. What's your name, friend? There was something about a troll that big that made you want to call him <laughs> friend. Malachite. Malachite. Find Therma. You've got to find her. I wasn't about to argue with a troll that could twist my head off and use it as a cocktail onion. Okay, friend. What can you tell me about her? Any suggestions of where I should start looking? Used to sing at the Octarine Ballad. Find Therma. 
Got to find Therma. How can I contact you? Find Therma. <laughs> that was all he said. I guess he wasn't very bright. But then there's things under damp logs that are brighter than most trolls. But we also seem to have a new location. And potentially a new thing to ask about. So we've got the Octarine Parrot, but first... Well, do we go to the new place or do we go to the cafe and ask about the other thing? No, the cafe. You, you just want the vampire to be allowed to be talked to, don't you? Of course. Wait, are we getting the whole please don't play that song again thing? You can't recall if there is I thought I told you never We are Ilsa. I thought I would never see her again. I prayed that I'd never see her again. But either the gods didn't listen, or they were having a laugh at my expense. Knowing the gods of the Discworld, I had a pretty good idea which. Play it again, Sam. You know what? No one's ever going to believe you said that. Hello, Ilsa. How long's it been? Too long. That's funny. I was thinking that it wasn't long enough. Aren't you pleased to see me? Sure. Like a jellyfish praying for the tide to come in. What's that supposed <laughs> to mean? If I always knew what I meant, I'd be a genius. Back then, you always knew what to say. I still know what to say. I just choose not to. You're getting a big kick out of making me feel cheap, aren't you? Well, maybe I had it coming. Hey, don't take my side. You'll take all the fun out of it. Well... Greetings. I spent years rehearsing what I'd say if I saw you again. What I'd ask you. I tried to imagine what you'd say. But now I'm here, you can't think of anything to say? Now you're here, and I just want to slap you. Just once, across the cheek. What will that prove? <laughs> that I still haven't forgiven you. You're not making this easy, Welcome, Tarpa. Did you think I would? Did you think I'd just come bouncing up to you like a trained puppy? Maybe I'd wag my tail and wait for you to throw me a stick. Well, I'm never going to be another woman's dog for as long as I live. That's cruel. Not as cruel as the day you left me. The song? What made you ask <clears throat> that song? I was feeling sentimental. Uh, it's good to know that you still remember me. How could I forget? I don't know. But you managed to leave. I figured you'd probably manage to forget as well. Never. I tried to forget you. I tried to forget the day you left. I tried to forget the good times. I tried to drown your memory in cheap whiskey. And did you forget? I don't remember. I still remember you. That's what the song means to me. It's everything that's good about our time together. You got lucky, Elsa. You got all the good memories, and I got all the bad. It didn't have to be like that. It's always like that. I suppose you have some explanation for what you did. Some pat excuse that'll make everything all right. There's no excuse for what I did. At least we agree on one thing. Why do you hate me so much? Because I had everything when I had you. And when you left, you took everything with you. It's easy to hate someone who took it all away from you. It hurts to hear you talk like this. Good. Well, what does she know about the stuff? I'll just start at the top of the list and work our way down. Do you know anyone? He says as he starts clicking from the I bottom of the list up. Sorry. 
No, nah, doesn't know Therma. Do you know a troll by the name of Malachite? I've not met them. Sorry. Nope. What about our what dwarfish friend? A dwarf named Al Kali. I've not met them. It is Sorry. the PS1 version, Arthur. Tarther? I don't know what differences there are, aside from that this is very easy to get running. And I don't know that the computer version would be as easy to get running in this day and age. So, you came in on the Milka, did you? Yes. Alone? No. I came with a companion. Uh, it figures. What? Women like you are never alone. I've been alone. You know nothing about loneliness. You know nothing about what it's like to not know why you've been abandoned. You don't know what it's like to watch your career slip away because the one thing you care about has been taken from you. You don't know what it's like to spend years going into restaurants and asking for a table for one. You don't eat in restaurants. Okay, but if I did, that's what I'd ask for. Why did you ask about the Milka? You came aboard in Ecclepon, right? With a man. Yes. His name's Two Conkers. How did you know? It's my job to know. You're being paid to find out where people board ships? No. I'm a private investigator. Yeah, this, this needed like zero work to get working, Tarth. Ooh. So we know the mysterious passengers were our seemingly ex-girlfriend and her new paramour? Has there been a dwarf around? I mean, we don't know if it's a paramour. I'm sorry, Luton. I don't know anything about that. What do you know about a dwarf? I'm not sorry. No, and then everything was... Well, we can ask more about... Lisa had told me she was traveling with a man named Two Conkers. For now... Okay, no. Can't ask her more about the self thing. What do you know about a woman... I've not met... So... Okay. Up. Murders... Murders what? Tell me one thing, Ilsa. Are you involved in these murders? What? The murders. They started when you arrived in town. I can't believe that you would think such a thing. That's terrible. I mean, I know I've done some bad things, but I've never killed anyone in all my life. Just checking. Mm, she's not guilty, seemingly, or at least claims that she isn't. We already asked about those. Ah, and there's now two cases. Have you met a man named Mundy? Yes, there was a man named Mundy on the ship we came in on. He kept himself to himself, mostly. What can you tell me about him? He seemed nervous. Anything else? I remember him going down to the cargo hold at one point. He looked really shifty, as if he was hiding something. Is that it? That's all I can think of. Ilsa had told me she was traveling with a man named Two Conkers. For now... Okay, we can't ask her about the Milka any more than that. And for the Therma case, she already said she doesn't know these people in the... So, it looks like talk options can appear in multiple menus. Like, Therma is both in the Therma case sub-menu and in the Contacts and Suspects sub-menu. Mm -hmm. And you get the same response from asking about them in either. Well, that's nice. Is there anything else to... Unless we want to crowbar her. No. Now is the vampire talkable. And is there anything else in this scene for us to get our greasy mitts on? Mm, there's bar. I suppressed the urge to get myself a drink. You can Although drink I away your sorrows. My old friend, the bar. I was tempted to order a drink, but I was working. No. Hmm. Hello again. Hello yourself. 
we can do our hello. So, you're the on on. That's the same. That's the same. Do you know anything? I know that there are always C. No, that's the same. <laughs> but he might know Therma. Do you know anyone named Therma? There's no one I know. And what about Malachite? Do you know a troll by the name of Malachite? There's no one I know. He's not a very useful guy, is he? Well, that's all the other, that's all the new things other than potentially the, uh, mysterious murders to ask about, I think. Um, you also do now have the, um, the names of the passengers. I don't know if that changed anything. Ah, yes. Um. Contacts? Yeah, like, her name hasn't actually appeared here, has she? Uh, Ilda, whatever she is. Mm -hmm. No, it was just we were asking about passengers in general. Oh, he wouldn't. No. Well, we can ask him. There we go. Do the names Ilsa and Two Conkers mean anything to you? How many names is that? Two. Apparently not. They were on your ship. Ah, I see. Ask me that question again. Do the names Ilsa and Two Conkers mean anything to you? Yes. They were on my ship. You're not going to tell me anything useful, are you? It's not looking likely, is it? It is not looking likely. Oh, dear. Okay. I got aboard your ship? I was hoping you'd let me have a... Sure. I was hoping that I was going to... No. Is it, it isn't actually talking about what I thought it was. What was so I told you something. And he still doesn't want to talk about it. I did. That's the same. Goodbye then. Does Mori get her wish? I decided. No. One day. Eventually he'll be talkable. Okay, so I guess to the other new place. Mm -hmm. The Octarine Parrot. I'd heard of the Octarine Parrot. It made other dives sound appealing. What a place. I could feel the rats in the walls. Oh my god, they have no Hell, irises. I could see the rats in the walls. In fact, some of them had come out of the walls and were sitting at the tables. Okay, that wasn't a huge cutscene, but it existed. So there's Mankin. Stage. And notice board. Come and see the greatest historical tragedy ever told. Antilogy and Clefatara. Quell's masterpiece as was meant to be performed by actors. <laughs> was meant to be performed by actors. <laughs> what do we think of the stage? The stage where performers go up in front of a drunken crowd and sell their dignity to earn enough money to barely live on. It made me think that all the discs are stage and all the people players. 
Unfortunately, I felt like I'd been cast as an extra in my own life story. Alright, I guess we're having a look at and then a talk to Mankin. Mr. No No Pupils. The bartender was a half elf called Mankin, and I knew he wouldn't appreciate someone coming into his place and asking questions. Fortunately, I didn't care what he appreciated. Can I help you? You could sell me a drink. What's your poison? I'd prefer whiskey straight with a whiskey chaser. You didn't come here to drink, did you? Well, I didn't come here for the sparkling conversation. Most of the customers go squeak, squeak, squeak. squeak. Welcome. This seems like a nice place. Oh, cheers. Thank you kindly. It seems like what it is. A wretched hive of scum and villainy. It's tough to get to the top in that field. You could have that on a sign outside. Come to the Octorin Parrot, the most wretched hive of scum and villainy this side of the Ark. Are you being funny? Apparently not. You look a little nervous. I can't shake the feeling that sooner or later someone is going to get their arm cut off. What about your... Have you always... Establishment? Owned? No. It used to be a troll bar. I took over the place after the riots. Did you keep any of the staff? Sure, I kept anyone who wanted to stay and wasn't too badly injured by the riots. But there's something about a group of rioting trolls that makes people reluctant to walk back into a place. <laughs> or indeed, unable. Did you keep any singers on the staff? Only Sapphire. What about you? When I see a half-elf bartender. Be honest. It's not often you see a half-elf. Okay, you got me. What's the deal? I don't like to talk about it. I thought elves were supposed to be irrepressibly likable, so that they can get away with whatever acts of cruelty they want. Like cats. Well, I'm not an elf, all right? That's the problem, isn't it? Everyone can see that you've got elf blood in you, but you've got none of the advantages. All you get is people's prejudice. I don't like your mana. I'm not selling it. Tell me about Sapphire. So tell me about the singer? Why don't you just talk to her yourself? Just don't bother her while she's working, alright? Okay, and... Presumably it makes sense to ask him about Thurma! Mm -hmm. If it was a troll bar and we're finding someone for a troll... Do you know a woman named Ilsa or a man named Two Conquers? I know a lot of people. That doesn't mean I want to talk about them with you. Do you know someone named Therma? She used to sing here. That'd be before my time. Sapphire might know. She knew all the Charles singers from back before I took over the parrot. Okay, talk to... Sapphire about it. ...of a troll who goes by the name of Malachite. Tall, terse, and dense in both senses of the word. Might have been one of the customers from when this used to be a troll bar. But I wouldn't know him if he was. And Dwarf? What do you know about a dwarf named Al Kali? I know a lot of people. That does Same thing. Not willing to talk to us about it. Has there been a dwarf around asking questions? Nope. What about Carlotta? What do you know about a woman named Carlotta? I know a lot of- Ugh. Not very helpful. Uh, what do you know about the Moiders? Do you know anything about the recent murders? Only what you're about to tell me. You're not very helpful, are you? Just because I don't want to help you doesn't mean I'm not helpful genetically. <laughs> Say, I do like your hard-boiled dialogue. How long do you boil it? About 12 minutes from when the water begins to bubble. <laughs> he only hates us specifically. Can't say I blame him. Do you know anything about the Milka? 
If you asked fewer questions, maybe you'd get more answers. I gave Mengen Mundy's description and asked if he'd seen him. He told me that he hadn't. Maybe I could trust him. A half-elf doesn't need to make any more enemies. Okay, I think we've asked him everything. So, goodbye, friend. How do we go talk to Sapphire? Oh, I thought this was like a dummy, but because it doesn't really seem to have a head. Mm-hmm. Can we talk? Certainly look that way. Move mouth, waggle tongue. Yeah, it all working. My name's Luton. Sapphire. I could already tell that Sapphire was a troll who could look at Seems smarter than the guy that was talking I to us earlier. I have to watch my step around her. It was quite a long way around her too, and not the pretty way. Well, welcome, welcome. You've been a singer here long. Long enough. Long enough for what? Long enough to want to be singing somewhere else. Tell me about yourself, love. Tell me about yourself. I tell you about myself in four words. Big ideas, small results. Why did you become a singer? Aren't many jobs for a troll like me. And at least this one honest. Is honesty important to you? As much as anything else. I'm guessing nothing much matters to you right now, Sapphire. You catch on quick, Luton. What about the bartender? What do you know about the barman? Mankin? Not much. Know that him a bigger loser than me. How come? He owns this place. At least Sapphire leave if Sapphire wanted to. <laughs> He's stuck here? Leave? Where would I go? No place on disc for a troll like me. Spend our whole lives waiting for break. Just one chance to come our way that can seize in both hands tightly. But it never come. Or if it do, we don't recognize it. So we go back to grind of job we hate. And just keep on ticking each day, one step closer to end. Do you do children's parties? Alright, real questions. What do you know about the Moiters? Word is there's been a lot of strange murders recently. Wouldn't surprise me. Why not? There are a lot of strange people eh. in this city. Do you know Do you our know ex? A woman named Ilsa or a man named Two Conquers? Sapphire know a lot of people, but don't know everyone, mister. What about Therma? Have you heard of a troll singer named Therma? She used to work here. Huh. A troll singer named Therma. What's so funny? Huh, nothing. Sure, Sapphire know her. Know where I could find her? Try more. Oof. She dead. Her house on Tallow Street collapsed a while back now. We trolls may be tough, but we're not indestructible. Rumors say she was practicing her moves and knocked out load-bearing beam. Brought whole place down on top of her. That's why Sapphire never practiced. That's the only reason? That, and I don't wanna. Know where she's buried? Sapphire don't know, but think they buried her under stage name Madame Lodestone. Madame Lodestone? Sure, on account of how attractive she was. Okay, we got a new note. Can you tell me any more about her? Therma performed here under the name Madame Lodestone. Who are you? The narrator? I told you that already. Okay, and what about Malachite? 
What about the troll that sent us looking for you? Know a big troll called Malachite. Sure. He trolled a few words because he don't know that many. Do you know where I could find him? Sapphire not seen him in years. But you try Rodan's workshop. He used to hang out there. A new, new, new place. Do you know anything about the Milka? Ask too many questions and a girl loses interest. That would actually be... kind of an interesting thing to do in one of these games, wouldn't it? Where, like, it, it somewhat punishes you for just exhaustively asking every single person about every single thing, where you are expected to, like, only ask about the leads that seem relevant to that person. So, like, at the moment we're looking for a troll and we've come to speak to the troll lady and that makes sense. It True, would... but at the same time you would probably hate it if the game did that to you. <laughs> in the hope that she'd seen him well, only in senior detective mode. But that don't mean much. We get lots of humans through here, and they all look the same to me. Okay, so nothing about that. I mean, there are a few like that. There are a few who are time-based so that you can't ask for everything. Uh, I think we've already done this. Word is that... Wouldn't... No. So we probably got the bit of information we needed from her that there is another location. Unless there's anything you specifically want to ask for? Nah. I'll be back. You remember it becoming too many dialogue options part way through? So what's our new place? Looks like this thing. The workshop. Is this Rodan? It is. There's a statue. What does it look like? All I knew about the statue was that it was a work in progress. Fair enough. At first glance, Rodan looked like a typical sculptor. On closer examination, I decided he was much less. Really? You wouldn't happen to be Rodan, would you? Ah. I know that one. Um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Take your time. Um, oh, uh, yes. Yes, I, 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 I think. Okay, so I, he's maybe a bit slow. How can I be sure? Oh, no, he's also caught a case of the philosophy. From my mother the day they did philosophy at school. You must conceive form in depth. Why? Do you know, I don't remember. It figures. What do you make of this? I stared at the statue he was working on. Face to face with art, we shuffle our feet and apologize. We say, I don't know much about art, but I know what <laughs> I like. Well, most people do. I can't even say I know what I like. Aww. But that's not the point. The point is that if knowing what you like is good enough for shoes and drinks and women, what's wrong with <laughs> applying the same rule to art? I guess people don't like to look stupid. Personally, I think art's for guys who couldn't do basic maths. Do you like it? Um... Well, I don't know much about art. Sometimes I could be such a coward. Introduction. So you're a sculptor then? Um, yes. Oh god, they make this guy a bit yes. painful to talk to, don't they? I'm reasonably sure I am. Hmm. 
something like that anyway. Why do I get the feeling that you aren't going to be much So you definitely just don't want to ask him about uh, your musts. Okay, let the slow responses begin. Do you know a woman named Ilsa or a man named Two Conquers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah not corrupt. Where do I know that name from? It wasn't hard to lose patience with Rodan. It wasn't. Every day probably took him by complete surprise. Therma? Do you know anyone named Therma? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah not corrupt. Where do I know that name from? <sighs> okay. Malachite. Do you know what? Malachite. Hmm. Malachite. Slightly different response. It sounds uh, familiar. In your own time. Uh, I think he works for me. Oh, sweet Jesus. Or he did work for me. Um, no, I think he must still work for me. Look, there he is over there. Oh, come on. We really gonna ask him about happen to know everything. About murders, would you? You don't oh. have to ask him about everything. Murders. Yes. Um. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Uh, um. Uh, 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 murders. When people are killed. Morning, Salar. Um, no. Don't know Morning, Salar. anything about that. Sorry. Okay. Is there anything you... Oh, beg pardon. Is there anything that you do want to ask him about? I mean, we got confirmation that the troll works for him. I don't think he's going to give us anything right now. So, no. Okay. Is troll here? Potentially. Because there's a, another way out over there. You did say he was here, so... You're a tough troll to find, Malachite. You could say something. Welcome. So how you been keeping, Malachite? Okay, I guess you don't want to talk about that. He this way you stay seems to have been... Turned into a statue? You're not going to talk about that either. Heard any good jokes recently? How many trolls does it take to change a lamp wick? Want me to give you a clue? It'd be really useful if you could tell me something about Therma that I could use to find her. Therma. Oh, we actually got him to speak. Yes, I know that part. But I need some leads if I'm going to find her. Find Therma. Malachite wasn't being very helpful. But he was tall and threatening, so I guess everyone has something going for them. I don't think this guy's going to be useful either, do you? I mean, I was kind of hoping that we could uh, tell him that Therma was dead, but mm. it doesn't seem like it. Ah, we can tell him about Madame Lodestone, though. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I think Therma might be dead. Her house collapsed. Here we go. A while. Are you going to say something? Need to see the body. The body? Find Therma. Need 
need to see body. Okay, the body. No problem. Sheesh. Hmm. Okay. I think that's the only other reasonable thing we could expect to get from them. Mm hmm. So now we have to go grave digging. There is seemingly no other thing here. So talk to Troll or leave, I guess, leave. Mm -hmm. Leave, leave, and hope we have another place to go. So workshop, our office still, the cafe, the watch place. The bar, the wharf, it doesn't look like anything else has opened up. We could ask Watchman about Dead Lady. Yeah. That seems to me like a somewhat reasonable course of action. Hello. What do you know? About... Madame Lodestone. Have you ever heard of a troll by the name of Madame Lodestone? Madame Lodestone? Oh, there's a name I've not heard in quite a while. You know her, then? Well, no. But I've heard of her. She died in some sort of construction mishap. So he does know something. A mishap, Nobby. Whatever. Anyway, if memory serves, they put her body in the Salash... There we go! Don't know how she ended up in such an exclusive establishment, but that's how I heard it. That doesn't sound very likely. You did ask. And we've got the location. Yes! Let's go! Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. No! Why did you go back here, game? Out. I want the new thing. The Salachi family mausoleum was one of the most beautiful buildings I'd ever seen, nestled in an upmarket part of the city of Ankh. It was unguarded because, quite frankly, no one in their right mind would do anything to offend the Salachi family, given their ties to it wasn't just something that wasn't done. It was also something <laughs> that wasn't survived. <laughs> hmm. Tombs, 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 tombs. The Salachi family mausoleum was full of tombs. More chambers, annexes, vaults, sepulchres, and catacombs than a thesaurus. I tried to find Therma's grave, but it was a waste of time. Mm. You'd need to be an expert in heraldry or genealogy to even begin to navigate around it. I'll say this for the nobility. They keep their dead well indexed. So we need someone to help us navigate the mausoleum? Or maybe a map? A map, I could believe. And then we could rub map on tombs. Ooh, and the sky is something. I like the sky as much as the next man. But it wasn't exactly something I could pick up and put in my pocket. We pick it up and put it in our purse. 
The central atrium of the mausoleum opened up so that you could see the sky. I guess on some nights it must have been quite a beautiful sight. But this wasn't one of those nights. Hmm. Well, this is sort of the end. It looks nice. It does look really nice, yeah. No, 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 I'm not going to rub notebook on. On graves. The archway led out onto the streets of Ankh. <sighs> hey, Miriact. We've made some progress, but we're facing a dead end for the troll case. And the other case, as far as I can tell. Unless there's someone new at the cafe. I think we're at a bit of a dead end. We could also try going back in the ship again. We were told that um, s the mysterious person hid something in the hole. So we could have another look there now that we know that there was supposedly something hidden there. I decided. No, we're still not allowed to talk to your your vampire. I'm sorry. Ooh. I'm sure he would know his graves. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's have another go and see if we can get inside the ship then. So, oh, there was no one new in the cafe. Hopefully that was close enough to the... No, I think so. I was still selecting the cafe. No. Exit. I want... The wolf. Oh, and this guy's back now. Or am I just allowed on the ship these days? Still here. That might be a Not bit too optimistic. Might be too optimistic. I can hope. When do you sail? As soon as we've got her loaded. How much is passage? Where you? I don't know. No, we've had that. 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 Well, safe boy. If that. No, I wanted to ask you about other things, maybe. The. And the box is gone. At least it looks like it, unless the box starts to exist again when we come over into this side scene. Okay, it does. So what happens if I try once again to use? Crowbar. There on. Come on. Use crowbar on crate. Oi! Get away from that. Not allowed. I wasn't about Oh my purse might not. How do I drop this though? There we go. Something told me. Nope. Can we talk to him at this point. We cannot. Something told me I wasn't going to learn anything useful from the sailor. So we can't get back on the ship. A lot. And we can't talk to him. I could hmm. Hmm. Would Nobby be able to tell us anything about uh, someone that might know the graveyard? As in, like, I don't think we get talking points about places. And we already asked him about the, uh... Uh, oh, but no. we didn't have the... Uh, it has. We... You're, you're actually very right. The mausoleum is now a talking point. You wouldn't happen to know your way around the Salachi mm -hmm. family mausoleum by any chance. Sorry, I wouldn't know anything about that. Okay. I, I... 
Uh, I assume that if we actually ask Nobby, though, let's go, that he's going to be like, I'm the one that told you about it. I'm not going to tell you any more. As it usually seems to do if you ask someone about the thing that they gave you. But I suppose mm -hmm. technically we got this by going there and then finding that it was hard to navigate. <sighs> You could have a map. You wouldn't happen to know your way around the Salachi family mausoleum by any chance. Give me a break, Luton. I don't know everything. <laughs> Alas, no. Hmm. Well, who I'm else? hoping he would give us at least another person. But who I'm else not. have we got to ask? We've got. We can ask the troll. We can ask the artist. We can ask the singing troll. We can ask. We can ask our ex-girlfriend. Where? I've already forgotten, but when we went to our office and looked at the filing cabinets, was there actually anything in there? Like, could we use that at a later point? Back. I'm not staying. No. The only thing we could interact with was the coffee thing. And, it, well, mm -hmm. it was look at. We can look at things. And he makes some, some, some comments. Uh, but we can return to our... No, wrong button. We can return to our... Office again after we've tried talking to these yeah. people. Came back. I'm not. Okay, so this and then notebook and then therma case and then do you know your way around the museum or mausoleum? Sorry. You wouldn't happen to know your way around the Salachi family mausoleum by any chance. I'm sorry, Luton. I don't know anything. Less no. So you're not useful to us. There's no one else in this scene. I don't think that the captain is going to know, but... Hello again. Hello. My money is still on the vampire knowing this, but we can't talk to him, so... <laughs> I'll try again. I decided not to disturb Samael while he was working. Nope. Still not allowed. Okay, so you wanted our office. And look at filing cabinet. I had purchased a large indexed scroll rack to keep track of all the cases I was going to handle. The Monday case made it two. <gasps> Get out the way so that we can then interact with the filing cabinet. All I had to do was track down Monday oh and tell Carlotta where he was. So it kind of sounds like it tells you the next thing you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. I think we could see. It's my office door. It's a desk, but it's not made of sentient whatever it was wood. The imp coffee machine. And nothing else that I can see. Okay, um, it might make sense for the statue maker man to, like, he could potentially be involved in making gravestone -y type stuff, so I could potentially see him knowing his way around the mausoleum. Sure, that seems to make sense.
Maybe a too much sense for this game, but uh, we'll try. Too much sense. I fear how long he's going to take in replying to us, though. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome back to talking to painfully slow to talk to man. What do you know about the mausoleum? Can you tell me anything about the Salachi mausoleum? Ah. Mm-hmm. The mausoleum. Mm. Yes. The place where the Salachi family bury their dead. The site of, of burial. The center of internment. Mm. The dominant plane clearly indicated form directed towards you. Indeed, that place. Life surging from a center. A, Please, a, just a be helpful. From within <laughs> upwards. Mm. Can you tell me anything about the mausoleum? No. Sorry. <laughs> Curse you. Okay, is telling the troll about the hard to navigate mausoleum going to be enough? Hello again. I know. Eh. I don't know. This and then she's here. Do you know anything about. Hello? Hello? Maybe this is a time. No. No luck there. It's not that one either. Ooh. Okay, who do you have left at that point? Bartender. Bartender and singing troll. Mm -hmm. I'm. I like singing troll more than grumpy bartender, so I'm gonna go with singing troll first. Good to see you again. You wouldn't happen to know your way around the Salachi family mausoleum by any chance? Wouldn't know anything about that. Alas, no. Oh, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. I'm back. This was the extremely unhelpful man, although his claim is that he's generally helpful, just not to us. You wouldn't happen to know your way around the Salachi family mausoleum by any chance? Nope. That's a big no burger. Hmm. I couldn't imagine who would pay attention to the notices in a seedy dive like the parrot, but I guess they were of interest to someone. Then have we actually talked to everyone about it? We asked these two. We can only ask one. And we asked, because the other one's guarding the boxes again. We asked those two. There's no one in our office. We can't talk to the vampire we asked. Our girlfriend. Did we ask the cap the ship's captain? I might have said. No, I don't think we did. It doesn't feel like he'd know about that though. And as much as you want it to be the vampire. Mm -hmm. We're perpetually not allowed to... I did. Yeah. 
You got it to work on Windows 10? Well done. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. No, 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 back up. How do we... Cases. Thermocase. Mausoleum. You wouldn't happen to know your way around the Salachi family mausoleum by any chance? <laughs> no. Then I do feel like I've uh, we've asked everyone about everything then. We asked him, we asked the girl, yeah. we asked, well, we would wish to ask the vampire, but we can't. We asked Nobby, we asked Troll and Bartender, we asked Troll and Artist. We asked ship's first mate and the other ship's other shipman is not available. We may have to progress the other storyline until we get new people. Um. I mean, go back to the map. Yes, um. Like, just to make sure that we haven't just missed a little symbol for something new opening. The Anchor Cafe, the Mausoleum. The Wharf. The Workshop. The Octarine Parrot. This looks like that thing is going to be something eventually. Mm -hmm. The Yard. No, it doesn't look like there's anywhere else. So, we're currently stuck on the Troll one because we need someone who can guide us through the Mausoleum. And for the other one... We had the dwarf threaten us, and then we've asked around about the suspicious person, but no one seems to know anything either. Can we- I wish we could use the crowbar on people until they told us what they wanted. Expected, but he wasn't particularly helpful. Still not for Wait, is the other guy gone so that we can get back on the ship? Maybe. Well, so if the didn't he used to stand there next to... Yeah, he's not at the box at the moment, so he might be able to use crowbar on box again. Oh, I... To get back on the ship. Just... But I what... still find it strange that there would be nothing there. You go to so much trouble to get there. A crate. What more? See, so crate lets us in here. We were told there should be something here. We've looked at the flotsam before. The flotsam just says it looks like it was bits of a crate. Uh, what about the thing floating in the water? I mean, last I... Oh my god, that thing is slightly different. It... I thought I could see a label amongst the wreckage. I pulled the label out of the wreckage. It had writing on it that I couldn't understand. Yay. So I missed that. Grumble, grumble. Um, what else is there? So the flotsam that looks like it was a bit of a crate. Can you go over to the other side there? We can, and it leads to a staircase with a monster slash rat hole. It looked lived in. The question was, by what? There was nothing of value in the debris. And then I didn't see anything else on this screen. Mm. 
There's just the rat hole. Slash monster hole, it's unclear. Okay. And then the other thing is go upstairs, and from upstairs you can jump into the river to get off the boat. There was no other options? I don't think so. Although I missed that little bit of paper, not like I was sure that I was floating over it like here, and it was like flotsam! Uh, the other thing I haven't tried is using... Technically, we could try using... No, please. This. Crowbar. Come on. Use crowbar on crates. I could have used the crowbar to get into the crates, but they weren't going to contain anything interesting. Why would I do that? Fair enough. Can let me let me put it away, please. I don't. I don't want the crowbar out anymore. The, the ladder is for climbing. The ladder was for. And I. Okay. You can't get up there anymore. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Uh, how about down? If you go down there, that's the same way. So that's back here. Is back down into the hold. Okay. Over to the left is jump into the river to go away. I didn't actually try talking to the guy because it seemed like he might like. I have detected you and gotten grumpy. But he doesn't appear to be interactable, nor does he... Like, he doesn't get a label, and if I hover over him and press buttons... Nothing. It really does seem like the only thing was... Hold and here. You happy to leave? No. I think you're moving a bit fast. You think we're going too quickly? Yes. I want to look more around. Okay, I will um, pixel search some more. This, 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 this. River. There's a tiny... There. Yeah. An area of blackness that's different to the other areas of blackness. Bunk. A perfectly ordinary bunk bed. I searched a bunk and found a small scrap of cardboard. It could have been... Solid. Added. There was a number on the back. Either a six or a nine. It was hard to say. Dramatic music. But not a clue or a talk, like a, sorry, I shouldn't say clue. Not a talking point or a place to go. Oh. Oh. I wasn't about to tear the bedpost off the bed. There were some strange scratches on the bedpost, which looked as if they'd been caused by either a wild animal or a man with very bad <laughs> dental hygiene. What they meant was anyone's guess. No, that's back out the room. I feel useful. I found two clues in the place that you already tracked. Yay! I was certain that the, um, the note was flotsam. That I'd hovered over what... With this sphere of 
mousiness over it and it was like flotsam but it mustn't have been close enough to its center Did you check the top bunk? A bunk bed like any other. I searched one of the bunks but found nothing useful and hmm. nothing I wanted to think too closely about. What is the thing? Where's our inventory? Go back. What is this? The scrap no, we already know. I didn't think the scrap had been torn off intentionally, but that was all I could tell from examining it. And what about the other one? I'd pulled the label out of the flotsam in the bilge water of the Milka. Unfortunately, I couldn't read it. One of the figures looked like a number, but I couldn't be sure. Do these combine? Can I use this... On this one? That had nothing to do. No. I was thinking maybe they combine a la two halves of a map sort of thing. The door led back out onto the Our face is a bit cursed in this image. There we go, that looks better. But we asked our ex about it, oh. so she was on but the ship. I knew my luck couldn't last forever because I'd stopped being lucky around age twelve. The first mate looked less than happy, but I don't think he saw who I was as I dived in elegantly. On the ark. Fortunately, the crust of the ark was soft that night, and I escaped both injury and discovery. Although I needed two baths just to feel dirty. Just to only feel dirty. Now that feels like it might have flagged some things that we can... Does it give us a new talking point? Also, why is it returning us to here? I mean, maybe if you didn't go back, you would now have the conversation about don't look into this. Maybe. Yeah, maybe this is meant to be giving us the little dwarf that tries to intimidate us cutscene, and then we kick him out on his backside. So we've got a note, and we've got another note. Presumably we present this to our client, but our client doesn't exist anywhere. Um, next best thing feels like asking the police? The headquarters of I would suggest the X with the label that was found on the ship. It might be hers, yeah. Could be. She was on the ship, so I mean, I felt she was just Hello. most likely. Hello. Hello. What can you tell me about this scrap of paper? Does this mean anything to you? No. <laughs> what about this one? Can you read this? Give me a break, Luton. I don't know everything. Alas, no. Okay, and do we have new talking point? No, 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 I don't care about Madame Lloyd. Wait, did he, he say you know what, what language it was? No, he said, give me a break, I don't know everything. Okay. The mouse, he ended up in such an... It made the we got a new place to visit icon, though. Hmm. Which seems odd. No, it doesn't look like we have anything new. Okay. 
Anything else new talking point wise? The main doors led up. Frankly, I, there was something about the watch out. Yeah, I know. I wanted to use them. I didn't want you to walk up to them and then tell me I'm looking at the door. <laughs> so, the our girlfriend, the eh? Or our ex-girlfriend. We can't talk to him, but can we rub items on him? I decide. Mm -hmm. I could talk to some. No. What about the other one? I could. No. I tried, Maury. You tried. Okay. Rub. Scrap bit of paper. On ex-girlfriend. Ooh, well, it's making a loading screen, so that seems. I'm not staying. Uh, no, it just. Well, let's try again. Inventory. Do you know about this? On the milker. Does it mean anything to you? A piece of cardboard with a number on it. I think it might have something to do with Monday. If you've constructed murder and a giant conspiracy out of that. I'm going to be very impressed. Not yet, but I'm working on it. Okay, what about the other one? Can you read this? Yes. It says Pier 5. What language? Agatean. How do you know an obscure language like that? Actually, two conkers is from the counterweight continent. I learned it from him. I thought that people weren't allowed to leave the Agatean Empire. All things have freed up these days. I'd be careful who you tell about two conquers, Ilsa. Why? People can be funny about foreigners. And there's always been rumors about the Empire. They say they use powerful magic there. The last time one of them arrived here, the city got burned down. Oof. Two conquers isn't going to burn the city down. You know that. And I know that. But the average man on the street doesn't know that. They see the unknown as a threat. Why? Two conquers is hard. We know that, though. No one's that stupid. <laughs> let me let you in on a little-known secret. You know how stupid the average person is? Remember that half of them are more stupid? Well, statistically, half of them are even dumber than that. Hmm. Can you read this? No, 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 I didn't want that again. No, 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 I don't need this. Please let me out. And it looks like it's given us a new place. Um, Is it a new place that we can talk about? And if so, does the captain know anything about Pier 5? Hello again. Hello. No, 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 I said... Come on. Talk to him. I want to know if he knows about Pier 5. Hello. Game, please. Hello. I 
didn't want to show Captain Jenkins anything. Okay, we're not allowed to show him the note because it would give away that we were snooping around his ship. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. And it's not a it's not a talking point on the other case yet. So it looks like no. Time to visit them. I decide. And still no vampire. Gotta wait until he's off the clock. There we go, Pier 5. Play it again, Samael. I take it you're the watchman for this warehouse. Wow, you're sharp. People never work that out. I mean, there are so many reasons that I might want to be out here on a pier in the middle of nowhere, but you went straight to the fact that I'm a watchman. Well done. Thank you. Talent you've got there. It usually takes me much longer to take a dislike for someone. We're going to greet you. We might as well. Let me guess. Not only are you the watchman for this warehouse, but you are so bored that anyone who comes along is a target for abuse. You're good. I'll give you that. Sharp as a pancake. Sharp as a pancake. You hear? <laughs> I'm on an investigation. You with the watch? No. I work alone. So you're a criminal. This is Ankh-Morpork. We're all guilty of something. I'm not. Pure That's the, the point, Salah. Oh, yeah? Well, you've just directly violated the patrician's laws about groundless metaphor. What? Well, can you prove to me that you're as pure as snow? Ah, but that wasn't a metaphor. That was a simile. Because, of course, the patrician is going to be swayed by a pedantic defense like that. I guess you have a point. What do you know about Pier 5? Have you seen any labels like this before? Oh, sure. Where? On crates. I have this inescapable feeling that I could try and get some useful information out of you about this, but that it wouldn't be worth the time and effort I'd have to spend on the way. I'd go... I'd go with that feeling. Does this mean anything to you? Couldn't be more helpful, That's could they? nothing to do with me. Uh, Miriak, the, the bartender who we sort of make grumpy noises at about how unhelpful he is says he's generally very helpful, but just not for us. <laughs> okay, do you know anything about... The mausoleum. You wouldn't happen to know your way around the Salachi. He, he could be working as a as a watchman at the mausoleum as well. That's nothing to do. You never me. know. Alas, no. Do you know anything about Madame Lodestone? Have you heard of a singer named Madame Lodestone? Sorry, I don't get to socialise much with this job. It's uh, the night work, you know. You have anything else you want to ask him about? Hmm, not what I can think of. 
Uh, I, I'm going to ask about the mysterious murders. If he's if he's a watchman at the night. That's nothing to do with me. No. Okay, then I can't think of anything else that we would want to ask him. I couldn't tell what the crates contained, and frankly, I didn't much care. I couldn't carry... Can I open the crates? I was never going to get anywhere if I didn't learn to resist the urge to use the crowbar at every available opportunity. <laughs> Nonsense game. Useful though they are, an exit is just an exit. Can't overuse your crowbar. We wouldn't want to mess up our blade. If it wasn't for the watchman, I could probably get in through the doors. As it was, I needed another plan. Can we smack the watchman with the crowbar? Tempting as it was, I decided not to start attacking people with the crowbar. No. The watch. It was the kind of look that could only be achieved. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to hear that. The watchman had a look of mad dedication about him. It was the kind of look that could only be achieved by someone whose job was so mind numbingly tedious that their only <laughs> pleasure came from being blisteringly unhelpful <laughs> to everyone who came along. Which he was. Harsh, but true. So there's crates we can't use, a door we can't open because the watchman is here, and a watchman that we don't know how to get rid of. And seemingly, mm. that is all. So we have made mm. some progress in that we have a new area, but the new area doesn't really seem to... Ooh, doesn't seem to do anything for us. Did you ask the watchman about um, about our cases? I... Like because we watched him about no, we talked to him about like general things of murders and stuff. We asked like him about the murder. mausoleum. We can ask him about. He said he doesn't get out to the opera to catch. Our office again? We could look at our office again, Vama. Um, we asked him about the mausoleum, he said no. We asked him about the- we could ask about Therma and Malachite. Do you know what- Sorry. No. I mean, we kind of know where that goes. I'm more interested about the Monday case. That's the one that we don't have a lead on. Do you know anything about other boats? Yeah, he might know things about boats if he's a watchman for the piers. Sure. Put it in my coffee, yeah. Uh, ha ha ha. It's a ship. Yeah, I know. Just winding you up. Well, I'm already about as tightly wound as I'm going to get. Unless you were planning to use me as an alarm clock, I'd start thinking about being cooperative. Where's the fun in that? The milker? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All I can tell you is that they unloaded their cargo here. What was their cargo? Oh, I couldn't tell you that. That'd be fine. Watchman cargo confidentiality. confidentiality. There's no such thing. Oh, all right. 
I just don't want to tell you then. <laughs> Satisfied? Ecstatic. Hmm, and the other one? When I gave Mundy's description to the watchman, he became animated. Well, not that animated, but more animated than he had been. That's the one. He tried to break into the warehouse the other night. Ooh! You're sure? Or maybe I just like stringing you along oh, for fun. What happened? I scared him off. No, I totally believe he's just stringing us on. It doesn't look good to have people get away with breaking into a place like this. Bad for our reputation. Oh, I'm sure. Because everyone respects you, and this would just put a total stop to all those dinner party invitations. Boy, watch it. Okay. Now, chat has helpfully suggested we recheck our office. The wharf was on the. I can't imagine why there was there was coffee thing, door, desk, filing cabinet. Can I file the s silly note? I only bought the filing cap. Get out of the way. Use. The label had mentioned. Because he did say he wanted to use this to keep notes. Mm -hmm. I only bought no. the cabinet because it looked good. Not because I want to use it. I think we a lot of strange things that happened to me since becoming Yeah yeah yeah, you want the door with your name printed on it, we know. Well, I don't see anything new here. Can I file the other thing? The scrap I only bought No. I had the Can we use it on our desk? I thought it best. Can we use the other thing on our desk? The There was not rumor. Sapient pear wood. Unfor it's a I thought it best to hmm. These are the only notes well, things that are like notes that we have had. It's not like we haven't gotten any items and then they've left our inventory. We got the crowbar from the right of the cafe where they were loading the wine. We got this from inside the like bunkhouse of the boat. And we got this from the water in the bottom of the boat. We could see if they match the notes on the side wall of the Octarine Parrot. Mm -hmm. Like maybe it's a pull off tab from that sort of notice board. No, no, I don't want this. Put this down. I want the scrap. And I want to try and use scrap on notice board.
I was pretty sure well, that's the problem with uh, with hinting sure rumor. Sometimes it doesn't work out. <laughs> you think you were presumptive and took us away from the beer? Could have. The bartender would. Put... Can we use note on you? Have you ever seen this? Does. Have too many. No. Does this mean anything to you, Mr. Extremely Unhelpful? No, don't stress, Velma. You're trying to help. It's appreciated. Does this mean anything mm -hmm. to you? A tiny piece of cardboard? It means you've got far too much time, time on your hands. <laughs> okay. Let me out. Back to the pier we go. Well, I was actually inclined to ask the the other couple of people about the things as well, but we can go back to the pier. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, pier that five, thing. pier five. Okay. We haven't tried... I mean, we tried rubbing these on him, and his answer was... It's like the things on crates. Have you seen... Yes. Oh. On... on crates, and then where, I'll and then... With that feeling if we I'm... say we don't think he's going to tell us anymore, and he says yes. No, nope. I just want to snoop more. I too, but we have to get rid of the guy, it seems, at least to me, before we're allowed to snoop more. Does that nothing to do with me? Let's just uh Useful. have a look around. The door Use So this will go to the same issue I raised with What was the bunny rabbit one? Night of the Wabbit. And this gets more of a pass because it's from because it's from an earlier time. If you, if you. But you should have a button that says "Here are the interactables," unless you're specifically trying to be a hidden <laughs> object game. If you use the hand on the left side, is that when you go back to the map? Yeah, that's leave leave here, I think. Oh, there, well, that one's leave here. So there's a separate leave here? Mm, we can see if this is okay. somewhere else. Okay, so there's a screen to the side. Starlight. The skylight set on the roof, an inviting alternative entrance. Oh, I thought it meant light from the sky, not a roof window. Um, well then, we need a ladder. Anything else around here? There's the river. The River Ankh. Probably the only river in the universe on which you could chalk the outline of a corpse. It's mighty dirty. How do we get up there indeed? We do some pixel searching. But so far, it really looks like it's skylight, okay. exit, unless... Uh, is that back around the corner? Yeah, I think that's just back around the corner. Yeah, it 
is back around the corner. I mean, we haven't... What, what if we try and use River? I'd already had to dive onto the Ankh once. I wasn't about to do it again. We're not willing to have two more baths. Only one bath a month. It's a very, very dirty river, Salah. Hmm. Okay, but at least we have discovered that there is a sky window now, so can we now we know that we need to throw, find a ladder or something. Can we throw the crowbar up and make the guy walk away because he's investigating the noise? The crowbar would undoubtedly be useful in opening the skylight. But I had to get up there first. So close and yet. That feels like we have to find a rope somewhere to me. Yeah, either that or something to throw up there. We need a, a bat grapple. I want a rope. Could we use some kind of rope? We haven't got a rope? And we haven't seen a rope, as far as I'm aware. You wonder if there's new inter- Ah, uh, it's not a talking point, I don't think, Salah, but we can check. I don't think it gave us a, um... A talking point. No. No. No, nothing new in terms of... In terms of talking points. Um, if I was a rope, I would probably be on a ship. So maybe we try and invade the ship again and steal a rope. Would potentially do that. What we also can do is uh, take advantage of the hint rumor did give and see if uh, thinking changed. If sorry? No, uh, rumor said go back to the office and we went and then they changed it to that they might have taken us away from the pair too early. Oh, you think that now that we've visited the side area, there's some sort of flag that there's a person here now? I have no idea. Ah. There is now... There is now this. The note had been pushed under my door by Carlotta. Luton. I am anxious to see you again and to find out how the case is going. Come to the Von Uberwald mansion on Moon Pond Lane. Carlotta Von Uberwald. So, Carlotta was a member of the Von Uberwalds, one of the richest and most reclusive families in Ankh-Morpork. That explained why she could afford to offer to pay me so much. <laughs> it didn't I like the distinction. To paying me yet, but I could wait. At least until the rent was due. Note. Location. The 
The invitation read as follows. Luton, I am anxious to see you again and to find okay, out... Okay, so that's just the same. Call and presumably we need to use this to get entrance to the place. I will say that it's a bit not great that it, um, like... Why would you return to your office normally? Yeah, that's the case. Like, oh yes, I've walked down the side alley. It makes obvious sense that I should return to my office now in order to progress the story. It doesn't flow well, sadly, that bit. A lot of it has flowed well. I already had a bad feeling about the Monday case. But learning that my employer was a Von Uberwald didn't fill me with confidence. I didn't know the facts about the Von Uberwalds, but the rumors were bad enough. May I help you, sir? You could let me in for a start. Very good, sir. And don't call me sir. As you wish, sir. <laughs> May I take your coat and hat, sir? Uh, thanks, but no. I feel naked without them. Yep. That must make it difficult to clean them. Was that a joke? I never joke, sir. It's not my job. I may lie, and dissemble or deceive, but I never joke. Look, I don't want you to take my coat, okay? <laughs> but of course, sir. A sir is welcome to drip all over the immaculate hardwood floor that I spent several hours polishing this morning because sir is a guest, and sir is entitled to do whatever sir wishes. I get the feeling he'd like us to take off our coat and hat. <laughs> Do you know anything about the recent murders in Ankh Morpork? I don't know anything about any murders, sir. What do you know about Carlotta? So what do you make of Carlotta then? Sir? Carlotta. Carlotta von Uberwald. She does live here, doesn't she? Indeed, sir. Sir is as dogged in his pursuit of the truth as he is determined to warp the incalculably valuable hardwood floor by his You're not going to give up on this hardwood floor, What about Carlotta? She is also quite astute and most definitely stubborn. What do you think about her, then? I am not paid to form opinion, sir. Merely to perform menial actions such as guarding the hardwood floor. <laughs> a task I am, alas, failing in at the current time. Will you shut up about the hardwood floor? <laughs> as so will I will no longer mention <laughs> the irrevocably damaging timber felled by the hand of the 77th Earl of Ankh. Boards that have lain here for longer than Sir has been alive, and that were first laid before Sir's father was even a glint in the eye of his grandfather, whomsoever that may have been. I think we have to do almost every single dialogue option that's available with this guy, don't you? Has there been a I... dwarf around asking questions? Why, Sarah, insist on believing that I know everything? Sure, goes on sure, we can, we can take the time to do that. He has such good dialogue. I know about a dwarf named Al Carly. Regrettably, sir, I know nothing about that person. You just want to learn more about these hardwood floors. Do you know a troll by the name of Malachite? <laughs> Regrettably, sir, I know nothing about that person. Do you know anyone named Therma? Regrettably, sir. Mm. Do you know a woman named Ilsa or a man named Two Conquers? I'm sorry. I cannot assist, sir, in that matter. Not that he doesn't. He cannot assist. No, he didn't know about the murders. He didn't know about any of these people. What do you know of the milker? Do you know anything about the milker? I'm sorry. I cannot assist, sir. Okay, and Mundy? Do you know anything? Regrettably, sir. No. And what about the troll lady? You wouldn't happen to know your way around the Salachi family mausoleum by any chance. 
Uh, sir has many questions, but alas, I have few answers. Have you heard of a singer named Madame Lodestone? Regrettably, sir, I know nothing about that person. Do you know anyone named Therma? Reg no. Do you know? Reg no. Sad. Sad. We can ask him about any stuff we have. About our invitation, invitation, perhaps, so he will Obama. leave. Ah, Sarah's as quick to reach the point of Sarah's visit as a tortoise <laughs> with a war wound is in crossing a very large <laughs> desert. I will thank Mistress Carlotta for Sir, provided Sarah would be so kind as to wait here and not to touch the valuable and irreplaceable furniture that adorns the room Sarah is currently dressing <laughs> on. I'll see what I can do. Then he very clunkily animates his way off screen. Are we allowed to wander around and steal things while this is going on? It looks like maybe there's a painting. The painting bore a striking resemblance to Carlotta. The Duchess Charlotte von Überwald, nee Neapoldine. My predecessor in a sense. For well, those of you unaccustomed, nay means oh, name before assuming husband's name no, for marriage. But the resemblance is impressive, isn't it? My husband was struck by it from the moment I met him. Where is your husband? Dear Ulrich passed away during a civil uprising in Überwald several years ago. Quite a terrible business, actually. Peasants, pitchforks, burning torches, the usual sort of thing. Usual? For Überwald, certainly. Their ways may seem barbaric, but it's just the way things have always been done. If there wasn't a civil uprising every few years, I do believe the nobility would be most disappointed. Dying at the hands of a mob in a burning castle is practically traditional. Tradition important to you, is it? Ever the investigator, eh, Luton? Even your employer isn't beyond suspicion. My old boss used to say that everyone was guilty of something. And what are you guilty of? Too many things, sweetie, but nothing you need to know about. Okay. Just a sec. Let's make sure to make another save, because it's been a quite some time. Okay. Introduction again. You wanted to know how the case was going. A girl's got to have hobbies. I think I'm getting somewhere. We're all getting somewhere, Luton. The question is, am I going to like where you're going? I guess we'll just have to find that out the old-fashioned way. That's me, an old-fashioned girl. Like the girl in the picture. The Duchess? She was quite a trendsetter in her era. She wore her dress so high, you could almost see her ankle. <gasps> My heart is pounding at the thought. Scandalous. So what's the story with you and Ulrich? Do you believe in love at first sight, Luton? Aww. It saves a lot of time, certainly. Ulrich fell for me the moment we met. I guess seeing that painting every day probably helped. Don't sell yourself short. You have a few assets of your own. I'm sure it was an equitable transaction. You think I married him for his money? Did you? Let me tell you something, Luton. I've been rich, and I've been poor. Rich is better. Did you love him? <laughs> Does it matter? It matters to me. Maybe I did. I guess it depends on what love is. Love is a moment of weakness that allows someone to hurt oh. you more than you ever thought possible. Men were given the strength to be brutes to women, and women were given love to wreak their revenge. Who was she, Luton? Who? The one who left you with such a high opinion of women. She must have been quite a gal. I don't have much to tell you about the case, I'm afraid. Aww. You still haven't found Mundi? Not yet. I might do a better job if I had more <laughs> money at my disposal. Ah, yes, of course. You haven't been paid yet. Well, it had crossed my mind. I'm sure I could sort something out. 
I didn't doubt that she could. The question was, would she? Would she? And more to the point, when would she? What can you tell me about the Duchess? The Duchess Charlotte von Uberwald. Born Charlotte Ameliorati Victoire Tangerine Leopoldine. She married the Duke when she was 13, which was the style at the time. She was considered a risque dilettante by most of the nobility of Uberwald, and rumors abounded that she caused the heart attack that Ooh. killed the Marquis of Grand Mal when she showed him her naked knees. Her corset was said to be so tight that her first pregnancy went into extra time, and her first and only son had learned his first word by the time he was born. You're pretty good on this family history business, then. I dabble. Okay. Do we show her the label? Can you read this? Let's try it more think that we ask her about the mausoleum. And this? Does this mean anything to you? Let's try not. I mean, aren't they a different family? She just mentioned a bunch of things about ancient families and said she had an interest in it. Come on. I need your help. I'm not hard to get, Luton. All you have to do is ask. I need your knowledge. I need to find a particular tomb in the Salachi Mausoleum, but I don't know enough about genealogy. You do. The Salachi Mausoleum? That could be trouble. Don't worry. I'm not going to mess with the tombs. I know better than to offend a family whose ties with the Assassin's Guild go back to its very foundation. I just want to see if someone's buried there. Who's the stiff? A troll named Therma. A dead troll? You don't get much stiffer than that, I suppose. Will you help me or not? Of course, although I'm not really properly dressed for a mausoleum. You don't mind waiting while I get changed? No. It's not like Therma's going anywhere. <laughs> if Sarah is not too busy, the master of the house wishes a word oh, with you. Not just the lady. The master of the house still wishes a word. It's had some really good dialogue recall. Big. That sounds like it could be fun. Sometimes the actual big, sir. Gameplay bits are a bit resort to violence. Not so sensible, but the dialogue is fantastic. So very often. Was this originally um, a dictator for an engine with two hours? Yes. And then I had asked if he was happy for us to play it like this instead, and he had no issue. I mean, it gets a full game instead of two hours, so. I take it you will be a frequent visitor to my house. It seems likely. Do you know who I am? I know that they call you the Count. Do you know why they call me the Count? Because he really loves to count. Count. Count Henning von Überwald. One of the Blinz von Überwalds, I ought to add. Because, frankly, Überwald had an uncountable number of counts. <laughs> uncountable number of counts? I have more pork at the moment because my current infirmity prohibits me from leaving this room. That doesn't explain why you wanted to see me. I wish to know what my daughter-in-law has you investigating. That's between me and her. Uh, no, Mr. Luton. I rather suspect it isn't. You see, Carlotta's hands are not on the von Uberwald purse strings, but mine are. Uh, at least he knows how to get our attention. I get paid unless I tell you what I'm doing. No, I'm implying that. Whether or not you actually get paid is a different issue. What's it to you? I get very bored. 
I'm interested as to what goes on around me. All right. I'm tracking someone for her. Someone who is missing? That's right. A man named Mundy. Oh, I see. Very well. If you keep me informed on the progress of the case periodically, I will ensure that you receive payment. You said you have to stay in the conservatory. Why? Uh, I'm not a well man, Mr. Luton. It is hard to say how long I have for this world, or indeed if the next world will take me. What's so special about the conservatory? Hank Moorpork is too hot and humid for my tastes. I had the conservatory built especially. Mm. It's colder than the rest of the house. I keep it at the temperature I feel most comfortable with. Why so cold? You ask too many questions. I'm an investigator. It's my job. Well, be thankful that I find your impertinence <laughs> charming, or else I might be forced to teach you a lesson. In your condition? You would be surprised at just what I can do in my condition, Mr. Luton. He's actually a monster? We haven't said hello. So if I keep you informed on how the Monday case is... As much as it is in my power to do so, yes. And what if I mention this to Carlotta? Maybe she's got the money from other sources and doesn't need the family money. Hmm, a possibility. Very well. I'll offer to pay you irrespective of whether Carlotta pays you herself. That seems a little unethical. I'd be betraying the trust of a client. I'll pay you twice your usual fees. Well, what do you know? Suddenly I've resolved all my <laughs> ethical dilemmas. <laughs> Ethics are a salve for the poor, Luton. I am the poor. You sound as if you are proud of the fact. The poor are often prouder than the rich. They know that what they have can't be taken away. Why would anyone want to take their poverty <laughs> away? I didn't say the poor were smart, I said they were proud. <laughs> So the Von Uberwalds are wealthy, then? <laughs> not compared That's to who some, it was. I had to look it up who was the voice actor of him, because I know the voice from somewhere. Your own. Uh, when she married into us, she became a part of us. You sound like you don't approve. My opinions of Carlotta are not the issue. I mean, she was marrying down if this guy's a count and the head of the household and she's a duchess. But there is no tie of blood between you and Carlotta. She married into the clan. Mr. Luton, there are ties of blood between all the von Überwalds. In Überwald, blood is very important. He's implying that he's a, a vampire. So who who is it, Maury? Who is the actor that you recognize? Mm -hmm. Rob. Pardon? Rob Bryden. So you're it's uh he, he has several voices in this game, but he is mostly with Levton. Yes. And what do you know him from? It's fine. Although one does get the uh, different British panel shows, mostly, uh, would I lie to you? Questions. Do I have to draw you a picture? Now, we were asked, yes, we can, but I... Like, I don't like this, because it doesn't... It's not immediately clear which one follows which... No! Which one, whereas if I use the... Go to the top of the menu... Now, Get this straight. It, We're looking for a troll no. named Therma. As far as I know, yes, but she may be in here under the name Madame Lodestone. Okay, then we can rule out the Fornix Sanguis Ceruleus. What? The Blue Blood Vault. We can probably eliminate the heroic Decapit Ceruleus. What? Vault. 
and the thoroughbred pet vault. Do you know what relation this troll had to the Selachi family? Does there have to be one? She wouldn't be buried here if she wasn't. Well, your guess is as good as mine. It took Carlotta a while to work it out, but we eventually found a Madame Lodestone in the Fornix Famulus, the servitor's vault. Guess she used to keep the floors real clean or something. Her face is... Here we are. Madame Lodestone. There's an inscription. Madame Lodestone, singer and retainer of Lord Robert Salachi, taken from us when her house... <laughs> Turned to the rubble from whence she rubble. came. Not much of a... <clears throat> Still, it's more than I expect mine will say. I'll probably end up with whatever's written on the cement bag round my feet. Ooh... Gritty! Carlotta? Carlotta? Ah, she disappeared without even a word. I couldn't work that woman out. Still, she'd found me the tomb, which left me trying to decide whether or not to tell Malachite. What do you think? I think we tell Malachite. Yeah, we should. Do we crowbar it open first? The slab covered the tomb of Madame Lodestone, and presumably Therma's body was inside. What do you think? Do we open it now, or try to? I don't think we have the strength. That wasn't going to help me move the slab. Hmm. Okay, so we need the troll's strength to open that. Fair enough. Do some pixel hunting to try and make sure that nothing else is obviously interactable. The hallway led back into the corridors of the mausoleum. Ooh. The sky is now called, wasn't it called Starlight or something before? I like the sky as much as the mm -hmm. next man, but it wasn't exactly something I could pick up and put in my pocket. We pick it up and put it in our purse. The central atrium of the Mossel. I guess on... No, it's just changed name. It hasn't actually changed. So this screen must be an entirely different screen to the other one. Right? They've reused the assets, but it's technically a different screen, and they've given this accidentally a slightly different name. Could be. Could be. Oh, it's because we're up there now. I mean, we were always up there, weren't we? It was just a case Are of we? that now we can come down here into where the grave is. I thought we were downstairs. Oh well, it doesn't matter much. How do we get out, please? It used to be like here. Okay, it is still there, but we just have to not click on ourselves. So we go to the workshop, we go get the troll, and he has to accept that his girlfriend is dead? It's not clear what their relationship is, or at least it's not clear to me. Hello. Could be family. No, I know how blah 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 blah, here. Well, I think I found Therma's body. It's in the Salachi Mausoleum. Need to see body. <laughs> and take me there. Okay. Nice to see someone dealing with the grieving process at high speed. <coughs> Cut straight to the acceptance. It saves a lot of time, doesn't it? I don't know why I bother sometimes. Not as if he's listening to me. Maybe it'd help if I hit him with something, like 
Maybe a really heavy building. Need to see body? <sighs> of course you do. Here's the tomb. Need to see body? Hey, it's going to be pretty ugly in there. I mean, she was crushed under a house. That'd mess up even a troll. Need to see body. Malachite pushed the slab off the tomb like he was opening a jam jar. Inside was some rubble that I assumed was Therma's body. Frankly, there wasn't much to go on. Trolls are rocks, and that's the whole story. Not Therma. Keep looking. Are you crazy? How could you tell? Not Therma. Keep looking. I was beginning to wonder if Malachite was mad. If he was, I could at least make use of it. Okay, I've got no soul. I must be a heel. All right, I'll keep looking. It's a shoe joke. Mind. There's this building I need to get into, but I can't do it. I need a grappling iron. A grappling iron, like the one you have. Look, I need to borrow your grappling iron. Do you understand? Give you a hook. I didn't even realize he had a hook. That's the deal. And so this will let us progress the other storyline. Yes, because now we can access the skylight. Sapphire lied to me. I wouldn't be surprised. Frankly, I was more surprised by people telling me the truth than telling lies. Lies flow like water, but the truth burns. Hm, that's not a bad line. I better write that down. Malachite gave me the grapple and left the mausoleum without another word. Grapple hook got. Note made. We can look at the dead body, or what's supposed to be a body. The rubble was definitely the body of a troll. But according to Malachite, it wasn't Therma's body. I examined the body closely, but all I could see of interest were the troll's diamond teeth glinting at me. And those sound valuable. Can we crowbar them? Yes! Bit rude. Take it or leave it. That was all there was to the tooth. Could Luton resist taking the tooth? The big diamond tooth? The beautiful shiny tooth? The jolly candy-like tooth? Could I resist taking it? Could anyone resist taking it? Do you think we take it? It's giving us a chance to not take it. Totally. I mean, I would say not, but uh, you think if you want to be morally dark, then sure. And in fairness, the troll hasn't been paying us for this job. We got a grappling hook. Grappling hooks don't pay the bills. <laughs> okay. Item. Following the other case should give us a higher amount of money regardless. I, it looked as if it was welded out of metal strips. It hadn't been easy getting the grappling iron from Malachite. Of course, even getting a meaningful sentence from Malachite was a challenge. I examined it looked Come on, pick up. Exit menu. Use on roof. And we Batman our way up. That was kind of an underwhelming throw, but okay.
Oh, I thought this was still cutscene and I was wondering why nothing was happening. Uh... That's us. I really... In the shadow. I really don't see that, I'm sorry. The skylight set. Uh, now I was meant to use crowbar on roof. We had the hint. Oh. The skylight was locked. Oh, there was a whole animation about, like, we're not good enough to open the skylight. Okay. The sky can you can you stop trying to open the skylight again? I want to use my inventory, please. Thank you. Smack skylight with smack skylight with crowbar. That seems the opposite of what we want. I wasn't the disc mm, that did not work. Climber and the I was Do we have to use the this again? I, it looked Oh, it's going to play the animation every time. Of course it is. So what did I Oh. Well, I guess we'll see. So, try again. Use there we crowbar. Come on, use. There was an inscription on the cr crowbar on skylight. There we go. Hooray! Damaged skylight. God, that scene is so dark. Breaking into the warehouse was easier than I thought, but then I was a natural pessimist. Living in Ankh-Morpork did that to a man. What little light there was in the warehouse was coming through the skylight, and shadows played on the walls as I searched for something to help the case. I didn't know what I was looking for, but I was desperate enough that anything would do. The skylight had provided me an easy way into the warehouse. The warehouse was full of crates. I wasn't surprised. That's what the warehouse was for, after all. <laughs> None of the crates seemed to be of much interest, though. How will you know if we don't open them? I wasn't about to try carrying... I was reasonably certain that the crates were nothing of interest. Okay. Fair enough. And yet they appear as if they may be the only thing in the scene. Hmm. There's nothing else? Not that I see. Skylight. Crates. 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 Crates, ourself, crates. Oh, matchbook? I thought something said matchbook. Oh, that would be good. Where? Where? Was I dreaming? 
No, no, that was there. For the, for the life of me, I don't what see. Was it again? Hey. Okay, go down. It's somewhere on the floor between him and the window, about that height. In that little square there. A little bit higher? I felt like I saw Matchbook. I mean, my screen clearly showed Matchbook. Oh, so what do you mean it went again, Nemeblob? I'm sure I saw it. Oh. It was lower than that. It it popped up. Yeah, there. How were you meant to see anything there? No joke. If any of you can legitimately see a matchbook there. Screen brightness level 5,000 and it's easy. <laughs> okay. What is this thing? It's clearly a matchbook. The torn matchbook had been found in the Pier 5 warehouse. There was something written on the back of the matchbook. But a corner of the matchbook had become ripped off. Okay, so what do we torch? I could make out the words Whalebone Lane, but it was clear that something was missing. I was more thinking that the fact that there's a bit missing from the matchbook means that we smush this thing into the matchbook. I was thinking we'd just light something on fire so we can see. I mean, that's... From my perspective, that's the wrong order. We found the matchbook now, why would we need- HA! I have correct. We have now assembled a whole matchbook. The reconstructed matchbook clearly read Nine Whalebone Lane. But it didn't give us a- Maybe it will do it once we exit this menu. No. Can we set the crates on fire? That would be. I was reasonably certain. No. Good morning, Worm. Good morning, Worm. I am okay with. I am okay with chat telling us if there's another hidden item, if it's the same as this stupid matchbook on here. Mori, what about you? No. I don't want to pixel hunt the whole stupid screen. Grr. Grr. Oh, excuse me. I, the way I didn't want to deal with certain puzzles in Da Vinci. Grr. This isn't you were pretty much done with the screen anyway. We're doing okay, Poem. The, the writing in this is absolutely top rank. Like the dialogue writing. Some of the actual gameplay, like this having to do pixel hunting for everything, is... That matchbook. Not the best. See, Nemeplob is said appreciating pixel of pixel hunting. hunting. It's exquisite too. <laughs> Oh, 
couldn't have been more handy. I will reiterate, unless you want to make a pixel hunt game, a hidden object game, please just put a button that highlights the objects of interest in your room, in your space. I don't think of this as like intellectually stimulating or story stimulating. Scrubbing the scrubbing the screen well, no, back and forth. The entire thing now. So I I strongly prefer the indicate the objects and then let you get on with puzzling out how you use the objects to forward potentially moon logic land things. You just have to sense where things are. <laughs> With our clue radar, eh, Nemi? No, it doesn't look like there's anything else. Okay, can I? Can we? Can we get out? We can leave. It was a lot easier on PC. <laughs> it is. This is very clunky to move our little dot around. It would be a lot easier in a like. Pixel hunty way. I, I'm, I'll happily concede that. I mean, that's the same thing with me yesterday complaining that uh, Crime O'Clock would be so much easier to play on uh, on Steam with the uh, mouse and keyboard. Oh, well, maybe I'm I'm the the wise one for not grabbing the Switch one. <sighs> Probably because the controls are infuriating on the Switch. <gasps> Out. So now we have this, and what was the actual... I've forgotten. You, you got a new location. We got a new location? Okay, I was going to read it again just for the... I suppose I... I suppose I could tear the reconstructed nine whalebone lane. That thing, that thing. No, that thing. That's the cafe. Hmm. Uh. Did you not get um, get the location? You have just got something that you have to ask to get the location further. I'm not seeing it because it's a play state. Look at the look at the thing, Marvin. Look at the thing. It's a PlayStation game. Yes, but that sounded like eight million times more difficult to get running, Marvin. And acquire. Both of the above. No, I don't see a whalebone line. We might have to ask people about it. So who will we ask about it? Um... I'll go with... Could be at the bar. You reckon the bar? I was going to say the policeman. Oh, okay. I mean, surely the police know all the streets. Hello. I... Wait, what? Sapphire lied? Oh, about the dead body being there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'm trying to find out why a troll named Sapphire would lie to me. Any thoughts? Can't help you with that, Squire. Okay. But back to the other case. No, it's not listed on the case. What about this case? Also no. Hmm. Hmm. It's nothing to do with the murders. It's none of these. No? Uh, I'm sorry? Like, what? Didn't we get something from this? You're strong in the matchbook. Oh, you want me to actually manually show him the matchbook as well? Yeah, we can do that. I was hoping it would re-trigger the, um, the on-screen in the top left indications. Mm -hmm. Sure. Any thoughts on this matchbook or what's written on it? I don't know. <laughs> nope. Okay, so you wanted the extremely unhelpful barman. Yep. I believe in him. And if nothing else, we can then check the singing. Ooh, the singing troll is gone. So I can see. Do you know what this is? It's a matchbook. For some reason it might have the address of the parrot written on the back. None that has anything to do with me. I knew he was hiding something. The question was how could I get it out of him? I'm against unnecessary violence. Besides, these skinny types can be tougher than they look. You're lying! So you don't know, Mundy? I've already told you that I don't. And this matchbook means nothing to you. Yeah, I was thinking that myself, Marvin. Well, I'm confused. You see, this is Mundy's handwriting on the matchbook, and this is your address he wrote. Shall I tell you what I think? I don't think I have that much choice. I think Mundy is here. But he told you not to tell anyone that he's here. You're just making it up as you go along. Well, I could always go and fetch the watch. I heard they were looking for Mundy too, and if he's not here, you wouldn't have to worry about being charged with hiding a known fugitive. They can get so impatient. Mundy's not a fugitive. How would you know? You don't know him. You hit Yeah. All right, you win. He's upstairs, but don't tell him I told <clears throat> you. I wouldn't dream of ruining your reputation in high society. So there's now a new... Location, maybe? Yes, there's now a left hand of... Or a right hand of screen rather than just a left. I'd gone to a lot of trouble to find money, and now the goal was in reach, it seemed like an anti-climax. And now we can get paid! I didn't quite see what Mundy was doing when I entered his room, and seconds later I couldn't see what he The last thing I saw as I passed out of consciousness was the floor rushing up to meet me. We've been framed for Moida. By the time I came around, the watch had arrived. I must have been unconscious for hours. Maybe days. I thought no one could feel as bad as I did. Until I saw Mundy. His feet were bound and his eyes had been out. Either he died of massive blood loss or he'd spilt an awful lot of red wine. It wasn't going to be a good day, I decided. Going somewhere, Luton? 
You don't leave until we've finished with you. You know where my office is. If you want an interview, you can find me there. I consider you to be the prime suspect in this investigation. You've got to be kidding. I've never been more serious. It's a bit weird that they're talking to us laying never. down. What do you want with me? I was unconscious throughout the whole incident. We only have your word for that. You could have killed Mundy and then knocked yourself unconscious. <laughs> with what? Your wedding. You're pretty serious then. What? Yes, Nobby. Now shut up. Will you explain what you think I did? You came in, mutilated Monday, and then knocked yourself unconscious. Is that all? There's your, uh, your promotion, too. You were really serious then. Nobby, you've made your point, thank you. Shut up. How did I knock myself unconscious? I don't know yet. But you're not a complete fool, Luton. You'd have found a way. Do you have any evidence against me, or is this just part of your ongoing campaign of victimization? Just, you're always kind of serious. You were present at the time of the murder. Your rope was used in the murder. My rope? The murderer steals from me, and suddenly I'm guilty of murder? It's not a bad thing. <laughs> I mean, you're the commander of the watch, and that's a serious job. Then there's the victim's message. Azeel? How does that incriminate me? I don't know. I think it's 3712V upside down myself. Trying to write Luton. He could have died before he could finish. He could have been trying to write <laughs> Lemon. And what is Azi supposed to mean? I was only trying to help. For all we know, Azi might mean it was in Mundy's own language. For all we know, Azil might mean, help, someone has gouged my eyes out. <laughs> You're just guessing. There must be other suspects. Can you write that down, Maury? No one went upstairs after you. Yep. 3712V. Mankin, he's not the type. Anyway, he Three, reported this to us. Seven, two, three. Listen, yep. you've got nothing on me, and unless you're going to arrest me, I'm going to leave. I'm keeping an eye on you, Luton. Consider yourself a suspect for all the counterweight killings. If you're in any way involved, I'll find you. <coughs> Don't leave town, Luton. He's really got it in for me, hasn't he? He's not a bad person, Luton. He's just a bit... Um... Psychotic? Obsessed? Judgmental? I was going to say overworked, but I've changed my mind. What's this about counterweight killings? Well, and this is in the strictest confidence. I won't tell anyone who doesn't talk to me. The murders have all been a bit, well, odd. Redualistic. What? They are involved with a revival of philosophical <laughs> principles concerning the division of reality into two independent forces, mind and matter? Uh, no. Redualistic. Like what cults do. Reduals. Ritualistic. I see. Like someone was trying to make a point. Yeah. One of the patricians' clerks was killed the other day. Very suspicious. Why the counterweight killings? Eh. Uh, oh, I'd better not discuss that. Gotta go. See you later, Luton. A lot later will do. Grappling hook, something, presumably no longer in our inventory. <clears throat> we can look at the message in blood. If I had an iconograph, I could have taken a picture of the message. But I didn't have one. And even if I did, there didn't seem much point. I didn't want to become too reliant on technology. There's the corpse. There was nothing on Monday's body worth taking. There's a bed. It hardly seemed worth searching the bed. The watch had already searched it, and frankly, it was a pretty nasty bed. Mm. Hmm. 
Mm. Oh, the painting is something. Yeah. I couldn't think of a good reason to steal the painting, even though it would have looked great on my office wall. Oh. I didn't want to tamper with the evidence. Besides, there wasn't enough rope there to do me any good. Hail Caesar. Thank you, thank you. I hope you had a lovely time with EU. Those of you just joining, we are playing Discworld Noir. Myself and Miss Morgan Nightshade. A PlayStation 1 point and click adventure set in the Terry Pratchett Discworld universe. We have just reached Act 2. I don't think there's anything else here we've pixel hunted. Mm. Mm. I want to see if our okay. dialogue options have changed. How does it feel to be a suspect, Mankin? What? You're an obvious choice of suspect because you called the watch. You were the first on the scene. Around here, that means it's practically a closed case. I don't see why. You were there when I got there. I was unconscious. Well, I heard a commotion. That's what made me check it out in the first place. Maybe Mundy managed to knock you out before he died. While he was tied and blind. Perhaps he said a particularly offensive <coughs> word and I fainted. Well, I happen to know that the watch consider you a suspect. Well, don't forget that I know something that they don't. That you're a liar and you can't be trusted. Just because you can't trust me doesn't mean no one can trust me. Like his helpfulness. So how do you think having a murder in one of your rooms is going to affect business? Pull in the goth crowd, do you think? Shut up, Luton. I don't feel like engaging in small talk. Not with you, anyway. Have you heard of the counterweight killings? You mean, have I heard that there's what an did we do to offend this guy so much? <laughs> we were a bit racist to him. If you like. Haven't heard a I mean, yes, we were. So why did you kill Mundy? What? I didn't lay a finger on him. You gotta be crazy. Do you have any idea how bad all this is for business? Why would I cause all this? I'd have to be crazy. Vimes told me that you're a suspect. Yeah. Of course I'm a suspect. I'm half elf. We're always a suspect. No one trusts us. More murders, murders, more murders, contacts, more contacts. All oh. oh, the ah. murders. Do you know anything about Count von Uberwald? I know a lot of people. He's half elvish, Tarpa. That doesn't mean I want to talk about them with you. I don't think there's anything else new. Don't think so. To talk about. We can try using the grappling iron on him. I suppose I could have asked for some rope. Yes, let's prove our innocence by uh by crushing his skull. Much, but it was all I had. I suppose I could. Hmm. 
And we are allowed back into the room. Probably so that we can look at the message and struggle to realise that it's written upside down. Mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine. No, that's the same. Okay, so where then? Um. We found Mundy. Can we go talk to the Duchess and say, yo, where's my reward? Pay me. Case closed. Ignore the fact that we're the primary suspect in killing him. She didn't say she wanted to talk to you. She wanted to find him, and we did find him. No, she's not home. Tell her. Why my loins stir at the very thought of serving you in this way, sir. What about the Count? Is the Count receiving guests? No. But he will see you. Ah. He wanted to be kept up to date. I was mm -hmm. hoping you would drop by. You don't sound so good, Count. I am not the man I used to be, that is certain. Past my prime, you might say. Yes, past my prime. I could come back later if you want. No. No, there is no guarantee that I will be getting any better. If anything, I might be worse. Your health? Hmm. We are both men of the world, Mr. Luton. I will not mince words with you. I am dying. I might last another year or so, or I might not last the week. And to think I thought Ankh more pork would be good for my health. Not too many people would believe you, certainly. <laughs> Let us dispense with the pleasantries and get straight to business. Yes? Yes, straight to business. Hmm. I was kind of just hoping we would have like I found him as a as an option in that main menu. So No. No. There we go. That thing. Do you know anything about the murder of a man named Mundy? Mr. Luton, I couldn't be less interested... Hmm. I thought this would be us saying, I found out about it and you asked me to tell you about such things. Okay, nope. Something might be triggered by us returning to our office like it was before? I mean, it's not impossible. The game has done it twice now. Mm, there's no convenient notes on the floor. Is this going to give us a hint about what we should do again? I had purchased a large index a month. No. Hmm. Monday was dead. Could I just have a look at our notes? Sure. See hey, what's there. How can I see that when I'm not in a conversation with people? Can I even see it when I'm not in a conversation with people? I mean, ah. 
be a bit strange, but... Make an actual save save. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to show it other than when we're in the, um... Conversation with someone, so... Let's see if we can talk to your favourite person. I see if done working finally. Nope, I still playing. Not to disturb Samael while he was working. Hmm. Is our ex still here? No. And neither is Mr. Sailor. Hmm. Well, at least it's fewer people to talk to. We don't have to rub so many things on so many people when there are fewer people. The only person that I feel guaranteed to exist will be a policeman then. There was something about the way the other members of the watch looked at me that let me know that no matter how innocent I was, I was still stained with suspicion. Still, I'll take the stains of suspicion over the tarnish of guilt. Suspicion was easier to wash out. Sometimes I think I'd just give up and crawl inside a whiskey bottle. Except that you can only do that if you are less than one inch high. Doesn't look like... Of course, I haven't been welcome here since I got kicked off the force, but at least then they just thought I was corrupt. Now they think I'm a murderer. Nah, Luton, you've, you've got it all wrong. They don't think you're a murderer, they think... Um... That my personal hygiene is appalling? Uh... No. That I have the Clutchian Plague? No. Uh... Face it, they think I'm a murderer. You know, g give me a minute, I'll think of something. Nobby, you've never thought of something printable in your entire life. Why should you start now? Okay. So, the things that we have are... Top to bottom. Cases. Mundy case. Mundy's murder. Everything else is crossed out. Therma case. Sapphire lied and malachite. Everything else has been resolved. The von Überwalds. Count von Überwald. Everything else does not yet exist. And the Sapphire case, Sapphire lied. In terms of contacts... Carlotta, the dwarf that was threatening us, presumably. The troll that knows that the other troll isn't truly in the... Coffin? Uh, I don't know. Big... Big stone grave. Ilsa and two conkers. And Count von Überwald. For murders, we've sold the mysterious murders, seemingly, and they've become the counterweight killings instead. And Mundy's murder is unresolved. Okay, if... If we click on Mundy's murder, we don't get anything underneath that, right? It takes us to the Mundy case and says, uh -huh. we've found Mundy, we found the boat, please just do. Someone had and if you Mundy click Mundy's murder. His eyes out. Whoever they were, I doubted they were anyone I wanted to be friends with. Yeah, g'day, g'day, Dutchie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If I click the murder button, it takes us back up to the all cases. Okay, in that case, I would like to go back to the murder scene. Sure.
the headquarters of the one. Because I feel like then there's something we haven't found there. Because I feel like all the things we clicked on there should give us things to talk about. And maybe it's like we have to find everything before it actually goes into the notebook. Okay, the pixel Quickly. hunt begins again. So if we look at look at the um, this things written on the wall. Sure. Someone, either the killer or Mundy, had written Azeal on the wall in blood. Which we think is up, or at least I think is upside down 3712V. And it says, like, like we just did that, and it says it made a note about it. And now it, now it makes a note about it. ...had written Azeal on the wall in blood. Monday's blood, presumably. I had no idea what it meant. Um... And then it didn't do it again. Okay, so do you want us to leave and talk to someone and see if it's there? Just uh, let's try getting some more of them. Do the rope as well. Okay. Looking closely at the frayed rope hanging from the rafters, I knew that Mundy had been tied up by the legs and then hung from the ceiling. I because this is new. Why. Frankly, I wondered if I really wanted to know why. Something very strange was going on. And then we say we can't grab it. I didn't want to tamper with the evidence. Besides, there wasn't enough rope there to do me any good. The painting is... It seemed to be a cheap copy of Spinner's Rain, Cream and Speed. I could tell it was art, because I couldn't think <laughs> out what it was supposed to be. I couldn't think of a good reason to steal the painting. Even though it would have looked great on my office wall. Can you click the body? Yes, we've... Mundy's corpse wasn't very attractive. I wasn't looking forward to telling Carlotta how Mundy died. There was nothing on Mundy's body worth taking. There we go. And the other thing was bed. The bed looked neither comfortable nor inviting. It hardly seemed worth searching the bed. The watch had already searched it, and frankly, it was a pretty okay. nasty bed. Um. And then if we just double pixel hunt in all the yep. little dark corners on the floor. I'll do the whole screen again. It's fine. No, I just want to make sure nothing is on the floor. We think that the rope is the only thing that you find on the ceiling. And there's not that many dark spots there. I could be wrong. Uh -uh. Stay on the same horizontal level. Uh, can we move? Yes, we can. Just so weird that we don't block something as well. Yes. It can be an issue. It was an issue in, uh... What was the robot one? Primordia. Mm. There was that room that I entered. And if you enter from the ceiling... Ooh. Down the ladder, you that block... There. Hmm? You walk past it. There was Muddy's boot. Next to his corpse. Was the boots. Other side. Mundy's killer had tied his legs together with my rope. It was bad enough that he stole my rope without implicating. You got too distracted by your story. <laughs> that it gets in the way of grabbing the shiny crystal thing. Nothing. There should have been something in the boots, only there wasn't. I was pretty sure that the watch didn't search them, 
and that didn't leave many options. There. Monday's killer. The boots exist, but they don't have anything. Nothing. There should have. No, we already did the rope. Mm -hmm. Well, I think then we've cleared the room. Okay, let's see if that actually added it to the book. Can do. I'm at Hello, unfriendly bartender. We can ask about the supposed Does the code. Mean anything to you? Leave okay. me alone, Luton. I found some frayed rope in the rafters of the room where Mundy was killed. Congratulations. <laughs> What's that got to do with me? I was hoping you could tell me. You're optimistic. Not at all. I figure you'd like me to stop asking you questions. It wouldn't be my first wish. But it would be in my top ten. Tell me about the rope. Why don't you tell me about the rope? You found it, not me. Mankin wasn't going to risk incriminating himself under any circumstances. Once again, I'd have to worm it out of him. Okay. The bartender was a ha Did you ask what where Sapphire be? was, by the way? Come yeah, we can do that. We can ask about Sapphire again. Oh, if we already did it and I just forgot, then that's fine. No. I might be misremembering. Come on. It's just since she's moved, he might know where she went. There we go. I need to speak with Sapphire. Try and imagine how much I care. Look, is she here or not? She's in her dressing room. Has that given us a new space? That does. That might be her dressing room? It could be. It's really impolite to walk into a room without knocking. But who knows what you miss out on when you take the time to knock. <laughs> Sapphire had a pile of money in her room, and I was glad I hadn't given her an opportunity to hide it. Luton. You startled me. Didn't Mother tell you not to walk into rooms unannounced? Mother told me to walk into rooms with a crossbow. She was a sensible woman. What you want? That's quite a lot of money you've got. What? Oh. Yeah. Money. Yeah. Where'd you get it, Sapphire? Oh, that. Well... See... Uh, won it. Won it? Yes. At Casino. Which one? Saturnalia. Sapphire go there often. Really? Is it a good casino? Oh, yeah. Good as casino get. You should go, Luton. Maybe I will. Ooh, new location. New note. What can we ask her about? 
Well, presumably she... Why did you lie? Either Malachite was wrong, and that rubble was all that was left of Therma, or Sapphire had lied to me. Why did you lie? Uh, game please. You lied to me, Sapphire. Strung me along with that <laughs> Madame Lodestone story. What? No. Sapphire told truth. The troll in Madame Lodestone's grave wasn't Therma. How you tell? Malachite told me. You trust him? He's too stupid to lie. And you're too smart not to. Sapphire not smart. <coughs> Big dumb troll, like all the other trolls. Don't play games, Sapphire. I know you're smarter than the average troll. Although I could say the same about some mushrooms. Look, Sapphire don't know why someone would switch bodies. Sapphire just trying to help. She was lying to me. I could feel it. She was obviously hiding something, but it was apparent I needed to know more if I was going to worm it out of her. Okay. She doesn't give us the answer to Sapphire Lie. So we need something more. Do we do we really ask? Yeah, well, I suppose we can. So you won this money at the race. We could I ask about where she was during the murder. No, not at races, at casino. Oh, yeah, that's right. At the casino. Hmm. Nope, she doesn't say anything more about that. And I don't think asking her about... Well, we can also ask her about these things as well. I, I mean, the Monday case, he was killed in the same body. building, yeah. Any she idea is. what it means? Wouldn't know anything about that. Okay, doesn't know the rope. Does the word zeal mean anything to you? You ask too many questions. Doesn't know about the code. How does it feel to be working underneath where Mundy was horrifically murdered? People die, honey. It happens. Do you know anything about Mundy's death? Sapphire know that he's <laughs> a prime suspect. Uh, word travels fast, doesn't it? Small town, Luton. It's not so small. Anyway, gossip spreads faster the more people there are to hear it. It's funny that way. Okay, I think that's everything that we'd want to... Unless we mm -hmm. have boot or something, and we don't. I don't think we confront her with, Tell me about grappling hooks! I suppose I could have asked for... Not much. Since... Uh, we should probably go look at the new thing, eh? Yeah. New location. New possibilities. That thing? Yes. Saturnalia was almost legendary. The upmarket casino was situated on the King's Way and was frequented by the rich members of Ankh's High Society and hopeful social climbers from Morpork. It was a temple to pride, greed, and avarice. And like any temple, anyone with money was welcome. <laughs> okay, we can jump in the river. Or we end up being tossed into the river if we go into the casino and uh, ruffle some feathers. So 
So there's casino entrance, presumably. But otherwise, it doesn't look like there's anything else, uh -huh, else here. Yeah, no. You still think the river just looks disgusting? The River Unk. Probably the Yes. The last person I wanted to see was Death himself, waiting to take me to whatever hell awaits a failure like me. But after death, Ilsa was a close second. My eyes were drawn to her the moment I entered the room, and I decided then and there that I wasn't going to talk to her. The next, the next thing I remember I was talking to her, talking to her. I was going to say out of character between us, do we go talk to her? Still mad at me? As soon as I learn how to offer forgiveness, you'll be the first one to receive it. She didn't actually say her line. Two conquers. Pleased to be meeting you. You are Remora Salachi. Not the last time I checked. This is Luton. Oh, he is an old friend of the me. accent. Why did he think I was Remora Salachi? We're supposed to be meeting him here. What do you want with an assassin like Remora? What are you talking about? I looked around to see Remora drawing a weapon. Assassins are damn good at what they do, but they're not allowed to kill innocent bystanders. I didn't know if it was brave of you to do that, but I decided to stand between Remora and his target. Interrupting an assassin while he was working was a risky business. So I decided to ambush Remora with the old only answer questions with questions routine. Why did you try to kill that woman? Why does any assassin try to kill someone? Who put a contract out on Ilsa? Don't you know better than to interfere in official guild business? Why would anyone want to kill Ilsa? Do you expect me to discuss a confidential case with you? What do you want from me, Ramora? A swift death and a cheap funeral. Ha! You lose! That wasn't a question, that was a statement. You're getting sloppy. You're lucky we're only allowed to kill for money, because I'd take you out for free. Luton. I'd managed to embarrass Remora in front of a crowd of social notables, and that was bad news. It was bad enough that I had the watch breathing down my neck without the Assassin's Guild baying for my blood. Ooh. Fortunately, there was nothing they could do to me unless someone paid for a contract on me. Actually, that wasn't strictly true. They could tie me up and torture me for days if they wanted to. As long as I didn't die. It wasn't a comforting thought. Who was the woman? Carlotta. What are you doing here? Sometimes. I like to take risks. Well, then the torturers guild would, you know, have to have some beef with them. last a lifetime. You didn't answer my question, you know. Who was the woman? Ilsa. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to know? Jealous? Afraid you might have a rival? All women are rivals, Luton. My. She's not important. I see. 
If you decide to be honest with me, I'll be around. It was the most unsettled I'd seen Carlotta get. I guess there was a heart in that cold chest after all. Of course she will believe you when you tell her that uh, no, the other woman wasn't important after you just stepped in front of an assassin for her. Okay, Carlotta, the roulette table. A roulette table <clears throat> in one corner of the casino, but it didn't keep my attention. Hmm. Well? And a... Carrick deck? The game Whirl was croupier for used a Carrick deck. The distilled wisdom of the ancients painted onto cards. Not Tarot. Carrick. The croupier at the truncheon table was a man named Whirl. Whirl didn't give anything away for free. I didn't need any of the cards, although I would have liked a few to decorate my office. Maybe the Ace of Octograms, the Inquisitor, the Exquisitor, and the irritating habit of finishing off other people's sentences. <laughs> we can talk to the croupier. What's the game? Truncheon. Interested, stranger? The name's Luton. What are the stakes? Minimum stake is a dollar a hand. House limit is 10,000 per hand. I'm in. Here's my dollar. Hey, big spender. World told me how to play the game. Something to do with the major arcana and the private arcana. The major arcana had strange names like the fool, the pyrophant, and the unbelievable expense of a slice of cheese. <laughs> the unbelievable <laughs> expense of a slice of cheese. Under 21 and get as high as I could. It all seems pretty whimsical to me. Mr. Whimsical World, what happens in a tie? I win. That doesn't seem fair. I'll note that down in the complaints book, shall I? Player thinks the odds might be stacked in favour of the house. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I expected to lose my dollar anyway, so I didn't worry about it. But someone else at the table seemed pretty worked up about what I was doing. That isn't the way to play it. Why not? Because it isn't the way to win. Is there a way to win? Well, there's a way to lose more oh, slowly. What's it to you? I've seen enough losing. I don't want to see any more. I only bet a dollar. No, no, it's the principle of the thing. What do you think? I'm just a croupier. I'm not paid to think. I lost my dollar, but I reckon I got value for money. And hey, the cards were pretty. Welcome. Do you own this place? Saturnalia? No. You gotta be kidding. Who owns it? I don't really know. Probably a whole group of people. For all I know, no one owns it, and it just keeps ticking over all on its own. Is that likely? Frankly, I don't really care. As long as I get paid, it's all the same to me. Don't you have an inquisitive mind? No. I find people with inquisitive minds... Don't don't live long. long. I don't think the inventory is going to be useful. I mean, honestly, I don't think any of these are going to be useful, but... They're Not here. at the current time, no. some frayed rope near Mundy's body. Any idea what it means? That means nothing to me. Hmm. Mm. We can, but however, ask about Sapphire. You? I'm just a true PA. I don't know everything. So that's how we got here. Sure. Do you know a troll named Sapphire? Oh, I'm just a simple croupier. I wouldn't know anything important. And if I did, I certainly wouldn't give it away for nothing. I guess you don't like to give away anything for free. When you've worked in a casino as long as I have, you learn that you don't get anything for nothing. So we have to bribe him? Use... Did we you know ask the other guest? He looks like a purse. I think I have something of yours in it. 
Really? Oh, yes, so you do. And what do you know, my memory is suddenly much improved. Oh, yeah. I thought it might be. So, about Sapphire. We were broke. You know a troll named Sapphire. I mean, it's not like it indicated we'd lost uh, yeah, some amount. Sapphire, she's a good customer. Always plays with cash. Never wins anything. Some trolls aren't born lucky, I guess. Mm -hmm. She never wins. She wins a little, but she always loses it again. She can't hold on to money. Few people can in this place. By the time she walks out the door, she's always a loser. Is there any chance she could have won big and you wouldn't know about it? If she won it here, I'd know about it. Hmm. Contradiction. Anything more you can tell me about Sapphire's losing streak? What's to tell? That troll holds on to money like a drunken dwarf holds on to his temper. So apparently she's pretty profligate with her money. Mm -hmm. You seem to get worked up over my gambling. I'm not as easy going as I used to be. You're a wizard? Wow, you're sharp. What tipped you off? The gown? The arcane symbols? Look, I just thought you might want to talk. You tried to help me at the table, and I thought I'd make amends for being so rude to you. Sorry I tried. No, wait. I'm, um, I'm, I'm like, sorry. Just, I'm on the edge. The name's Luton. I'm sorry. We haven't been properly introduced. My name is Warb. B-L-L. Wobble? B-L-L. Um, well, Bachelor of Eldritch Lace Making. Eldritch Lace Making? Don't ask. Wobble! Let's introduce ourselves. You are regular in here, then? I guess so. I'm not very lucky. I thought all wizards were lucky. Mm, whatever gave you that impression. Do you know how many bizarre and unpleasant ways there are for a wizard to die <laughs> inside the walls of Unseen University alone? One false invocation as you're summoning a demon, and bang! You're lunch for some pit fiend with more tentacles than legs and fewer arms than heads. Or spend too long in the wrong area of the library, and poof, you disappear. All that you leave behind is a statistic. Don't you like being a wizard? It always seemed like a glamorous profession to me. There's nothing glamorous about wizardry. Well, except for glamours. Glamours? It's an elvish thing. Well, thank you very much. An elvis thing? Uh. If you're so unlucky, why do you come here? Uh, I haven't lived a lucky life, but... Well... I don't know... I guess I feel that in here, I at least have a chance. But the odds are always stacked against you. The house always has the advantage. Let me tell you something, Luton. The house always has the advantage. Here. Out there. Everywhere. It doesn't make any difference. At least in here, you know who the house is. That's a pretty stark outlook. Ever made a decision that affected your whole life? Ever done something that throws everything into question? No, I don't feel in that much control of my life. None of us are. So you what about the uni? Unseen university. I was trained there. Once I got my degree, I moved on. But you're still a wizard. I thought all you guys were under the jurisdiction of the university. Yeah. I work for Unseen Securities now. Unseen Securities? Yeah, we make magical security systems. Very exclusive. Are they expensive? Oh, yeah. Hardly anyone can afford our services. 
Is that a talking point? It might be. Doesn't look it. No. Doesn't look it. I think these are all old. Yeah. Now, could you ask him about the losing streak? What? Just to get a confirmation that it's Hello. not just a croupier lying? Sure. He seems like a regular. <laughs> No! I finally navigate to the right one and... Is your bad luck common knowledge? Well, pretty much everyone knows I've got a losing streak. Anyone else famous for their losing streak? Uh, uh, the Sapphire. She's not very lucky. Other than that, no one springs to mind. Okay, he confirms it. Mm-hmm. Not contradiction. Okay, good, good, because then we have two against one. But the troll has two mighty, mighty arms, and we have zero. Yeah, McCoy. Sorry, real decoy. Things are going pretty well. Sometimes the gameplay's a bit... A bit iffy, but the dialogue is fantastic. Played on the cobbles of Ankhmore Pork for decades. I guess that's where the name came from. I can always go back and confront you, or do you want to talk to our Carlotta first? What do you want to do, Sapphire? No. Confront. I just want to follow up on that lead. So, to the rich people's place? The rich people's place? Wasn't she at the pub? Okay, you want you do want to visit the troll. Yeah, because I mean Carlotta was at the casino, so That's strange. We just left there. You're lying. I've got some more Sapphire busy. Yeah. Losing streak. Confront. I know about your problems. Problems? The debts. The huge losses. You're struggling just to keep your head above water. We grasp at straws a lot. I bet you've had to make all kinds of nasty compromises just to keep yourself going. What you talking about? Who been saying such things about me? Does it matter? It mattered to Sapphire. All right. I heard it from Whirl. And he should know. Huh. Whirl. He don't know everything goes on at Saturnalia. No, she says, Uh-uh, I don't say so. Pretty much. Hmm. We had another person, but he doesn't mention that. Mm. 
Yes, corroborating evidence doesn't matter. Uh, I had one more thing I wanted to try. In a dive yeah? like the Octor At the bar. Yeah, once well, uh, so we're here. Go back to the murder scene. Yes. It is quite nice that the game lets you skip, like, having to walk from side to side. That's something that I wouldn't have expected of a game this old. True, true. I've just been thinking, because I've been looking at the little, little notes here, and with... Like, your belief is that it's 3-1-2... Three, three, one, two, no, 3-7. Three, 3-7. Seven. Three, seven. Yeah. Yeah. It really uh, looks like that's upside down, down to me. It, it really, really does. I'm just trying to think how the game will allow us to use that. Because so he, he was you... also, we were told he was hanging upside down. Yes, we were. But in our notes, it doesn't say that. It says that it's uh, the letter. Yeah, it says it's a sile. Mm -hmm. Or as aisle, sorry. Like um... whenever we go to talk to anyone about it. Mm -hmm. So what, you want us to look at it again? Someone. That's just, uh, is there really no way to get the notebook up unless we... Not that I know. My... Start doesn't do it. Select doesn't do it. You can look at game controls. Because, like, that's... Mm. No. Oh god, no. 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 Triangle to escape. Triangle is... that one. Because what I want to do is... use some of the clues the we have in the notebook on objects, but if I can't do that... It's, uh, hmm... I don't think it's that kind of thing. Okay. There's certainly been no way to, um, grab text and, like, drag it off of the... We can... We can do this in our inventory. You can use the stuff on notebooks on other clues. We've got grappling iron, crowbar, and purse. I know how to do that. We know how to use these. What? Ooh. This shoulder button does something. And you know what? You reckon we can use these on things? The thing is, I want to use the frayed ropes on the boots. Okay, so let's try going into the other room. Because I want, the I'm trying to get to the point where we can prove that he's hanging upside down, thereby turning the letters into numbers. So, right shoulder brings this up. But nothing seems to actually, like these don't. They don't do anything. Okay, if you now go to the murder... Uh, uh... That interacts like it's in our notebook. Like we're talking to someone, so it's like a, you know, great big hyperlink. A list mm -hmm. of hyperlinks. With square. With triangle, triangle just closes it. Mm -hmm. Circle appears the to be deadly. <laughs> Okay. And square... Oh, no, not square. Cross. Cross also appears to do nothing. Uh, if you go to this case, we didn't get the boots in there at any point, did we? It just... It, the only thing we got is the frayed rope. Go back. Cases. The... Monday one? Frayed rope... Mundy's murderer and thingy. 
And we did look at the boots, and it just said, I'm sure there's yeah. something there, but it's not here. Okay. Like, I'm sure there was something. Oh. This killer had tied his legs together with my rope. It was bad enough that he stole my rope without implicating me in a gruesome murder at the same time. What had Mundy meant by Azil? Now he was dead, there was no way of knowing. But it was his hmm. last message to the Discworld, so it was probably okay. something important. I just had to figure out what it meant. I feel like that's different. I feel like it said last time that I was certain there was what something in there. Now, but... but it was his I... Uh, could you... If you go back to the book now... What had Mundy been trying to write? If you try using Frayed Rob with a seal, what does that give you? I don't think there's a way to pick things up. Is there? Oh. There is. Okay, so can you then use that on the boots? Which was what I wanted in the first place, was the rope with the boots. The frayed rope in the rafters was the same as the rope around Mundy's legs. The rope that used to be tied to the grapple. That had to mean that Mundy was hung upside down and then killed. And that meant someone cut him down after he was killed. Curiouser and curiouser. And that gives us a new thing. Why did not they tutorialize that at any stage? I don't know, but... And did we complete a whole act of the game without using a mechanic? <laughs> like... Okay, but I'm glad I'm I'm glad I'm getting somewhere. Okay, now use he's hung upside down on the letters. One of them hit on the letters. Moment, because I suddenly realized something that should have been obvious. If Mundy was hung upside down, and if Mundy wrote the message, then the message. Yeah, but I already upside down. I don't need to do this Turning thing. I realized that head. instantly. I could see that yes, but we need the clue to ask people about it, one, and that's why I've been two, thinking about it. The... It wasn't a meaningless word, after all. It was a meaningless combination of letters and numbers. We're trying to figure out how do we get it as a clue Somehow so that we can use much, it in-game instead of Blobber knows this, let us do. Uh, yeah, we've got it now. It's a thing. I'd realized Great. that Mundy had been hung upside down before he was I'm killed. just amazed that we did a whole section of the game without I using it. Read 3712V. Yeah. I didn't know what it meant. Well, as a reminder, people, make sure you tutorialize. In its fairness, this is back from almost, well... These games actually often did have tutorials on the PlayStation, so it doesn't get a free pass for being like you are expected 100% to read the manual. No, but the, my main concern with this is that, okay, so we got here because I kept focusing on one though. thing. It really should have been in Act 1. It really should have been in Act 1. Well, who do you want us to ask about the number, everyone? Yeah, let's start with the bartender and work our way out. That's somewhat true, Tartha, but this is, like, on the edge of where you expect things to not be doing that anymore. Like, where you actually expect in-game, here's how you do stuff. So, uh... Right? Grim Fandango, one year earlier, actually tutorializes how you... how you do those things. Same genre, one year earlier. The bartender was a ha- Fortunately, I didn't care what he appreciated. Come to 
So what you want us to do now, ask about... Our new stuff. This. Because if someone cut him down, surely he should have seen them. Leave me alone, Luton. This is species harassment. Yep, he thinks we're racist. I didn't, I didn't hear it. He said we're being he racist. He said. I've been thinking hard. Damn about it! Death, and there's something that doesn't add up. Oh, enthrall mm. me with your erudite wisdom, great one. When Mundy was killed, he was hanging from the ceiling. But when the watch turned Luton up, he was said on the ground. That someone had cut him down, but he didn't know that down as a thing we could ask about in a notebook. I don't think so. I think that message was written by Mundy, and I don't think the killer saw him write it. Which means someone must have cut him down. After? Predict him himself! And now we have new talking options. Somebody who was in that room cut Mundy down. I don't think it was the killer, and I know it wasn't me. What are you getting at? Well, it makes sense for it to be you. You cut him down, didn't you? Why should I tell you? I've already told you, I don't think the killer would have cut him down. Which means if you cut him down, you're in the clear. All right, yeah, so I cut him down. <laughs> Happy now? <laughs> Why? Not everything has a reason, Luton. <laughs> but people can usually find reasons for what they do. Well, draw your own conclusions. I was missing something, but I couldn't see what. We've still got another question. You cut down Mundy so you could search him, didn't you? What are you suggesting? Nothing worse than the truth. You're a liar and a thief. All right, Luton. What is it? Yeah, see, want? that goes back to what I said about how what he was certain there was something in the boots that's not there mm -hmm. now. Just mm -hmm. give me what you found in Mundy's boot, and I'll leave you alone. Here. You want it? Have it. It's worthless anyway. What is it? How the hell should I know? Now, I kept my end of the bargain. You keep yours. Leave me alone. We'll see, Mankin. I figure I owe you at least one lie. Get out, Luton. In my own time, Mankin had given me a small coin, but it wasn't any type of coin I recognized. I'm definitely noticing I how short the music loop here is in this. For keeping the clue away from the watch. But frankly, I just didn't like the little weasel. We got five yen coin. Okay, who can we ask about the coin, though? No, 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 I don't want to go to the stage. I want to bring up this and then look at it. The only time I saw Mundy, he was playing with this the coin. stage where performers a go up in front of a drunken <laughs> crowd and sell their the dignity center. to earn enough <laughs> money to bear me on one side. I couldn't it made me think that all the discs was from, from any nation I'd ever saw. <laughs> Unfortunately, I felt like I'd been cast as an extra in my own life story. Okay, let's hear that again, please. The only time I saw Mundy, he was playing with this coin. A metallic flat disc with a square hole in the center. The coin had markings on one side that I couldn't read. It wasn't from any nation I'd ever heard of. Okay. Can we ask Troll Lady about the coin? The door to Sapphire. I've got some more questions. I want to know if you know the secret code. Does 3712V mean anything to you? You is No. And what about... the coin? I had a feeling that Mundy's coin was important. And I wasn't about to show it to just anyone. My plot armor has activated. <laughs> okay, what if we ask the wizard about the coin? 
I could. Or are we also going to be told that story says no to wizard to coin interaction? Oh, we could also do the police. The police, and there's also Colada. I thought she's disappeared from here. No, she is still here. Fine, we can do Colada. She's the nearest. She gets to go first. The woman's name. She and I used to. It's over. Why not? I thought you might want to know. How is. Badly. Badly. Mundy's dead. Dead? Yeah. Dead. Murdered. And not a pretty sight. I'm sorry. Don't be. I'll survive. You could have chosen a nicer way to tell me. I thought you might appreciate me getting straight to the point. Do you want me to stay on the case? Is there still a case? I thought perhaps you might like to know who killed Mundy and why. Yes. I owe him that. You can continue with the case, Luton. And now? Hmm. Beg pardon. And now we'll be able to tell the Count about it? Anyway, let's ask if you know about the coin. Does this coin mean anything to you? Nothing springs to mind. No. It was Mundy's. It still doesn't mean anything to me. And what about... Oh, well. There didn't seem much point... And what about the code? Let's try not to get too no, sidetracked. she doesn't know anything. What about the normal... But, well, no, we should leave that alone. Because we know that's a red herring now. Mm-hmm. No, I wanted the wizard. Good. The croup... Can I please... Enter the scene that has wizard. Can we talk business? Waking. I don't actually want to talk to you. I want to talk to Hello, this guy. Luke. What do you know? No, come on. What do you know? Hello. About this magic number. Does three? I'm afraid I can't really like help you with that. No. What about the coin? So I feel like I had a feeling that Mundy's coin. You feel like wizard know the coins? Yeah. He's a learned man, but apparently not. Croupier. The. Cr Do you know anything about the coin? Business. Wait. I had a feeling. No. I had a the only person that hasn't said that is Colotta, and she and said she to... doesn't know it. It's it's um. interesting that she gets a different response to it. I'll ask about the code, the I guess. Come on. Wait. Come on. Let well, me ask about in that case, code. Does... My Aren't next the guess would be that we need to talk to the ex, and she would know. If it's a foreign currency. Yeah, she is from another place at the moment. She's traveling well, at least, from another at least place. least her boyfriend is. But they were here and they're now gone. They might have gone back to the cafe. They could have. It's the place where they... Well, she used to be, if not him. It was very weird having the exit being a small section of the center of the screen. Not an edge. Uh, cafe. Should we check the side oh, alley to no! see if something's changed? Hmm? Your vampire is gone. Good! That means we can probably talk to him, if we find him. Ooh! 
I'd always respected Samael, and he'd always put up with me. I don't know why. I guess it didn't really matter. Looks like your dreams are coming Taking true. Break, Samael? Oh, yeah. Hooray! It's not easy working the piano all night. Well, I'm sure you deserve it. Thank you, Mr. Luton. You don't have to call me Mr. Samael. We're old friends. Sure thing, Mr. Luton. Old friends. I reckon I've earned a right to call you Mr. As long as that's what you want. What do you know? You're ancient beyond belief. You probably know all kinds of coins. I had a feeling that mm -hmm. monkeys... No. I had a... F what do you know about secret codes? Does 3712V mean anything to you? Sorry, mm. Mr. Luden. I know. Would he know something about... You know anything about hanging anything upside about down, anything, being a vampire? might have been hung upside down before he was killed. Sorry, Mr. Lud. No. Let's do introductions. Do you know anything Sorry, about the other singer? It's pretty good, Mr. Luden. How are things with you? Not so good. I think I'm so deep in trouble that I haven't even realized it yet. You haven't had much luck, have you, Mr. Luden? Not since the Hotel Pseudopolis. That was when... Oh, I see. That's okay, Samael. I don't mind talking to you about it. You're like family. So what do you want me to ask about? Sapphire? Um, no, not Sapphire. Uh, the dead one, just to see if we'd heard about it or if it's still a possibility. The dead... That singer, the troll singer. Ah. Uh... I'm not sure how fa close the music environment is. Therma, yes. No, 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 we can't ask. Okay. Good, good. Good to know. Oh, that. No. That. No. Unless it's about her losing streak or lying, maybe. I'm trying to find out why a troll named Sapphire would lie to me. Any thoughts? Sorry, Mr. Luden. Nope. You don't happen to know how a troll singer might end up with a lot of money by any chance. Sorry, Mr. Lute. No. Do you know anything about... Sorry, Mr. No. Hmm. Would you know anything about her ex and her new bow? So, contacts and suspects... These two. Have you seen Ilsa recently? You weren't expecting her to be here, were you? I was. No, no I wasn't. <laughs> I've not seen her for a while. Last time she was here, she was with a foreign gentleman. I think he might have been from the Agatean Empire. Yeah, that would be two conquers, I guess. How come you know about the Agatean Empire? That's not common knowledge, is it? Worked the piano for enough years, and you hear just about everything. Any idea where they might be now? I don't know, Mr. Luton. But I think they might be in trouble. You could be right. He, he has hints that things aren't good for them, but not really... What do you think about Carlotta? Mm. What do you know about a woman named Carlotta? Sorry, Mr. Luton. Doesn't know them. You hear a lot of talk around here, Samael. Have you heard anything about the counterweight killings? Oh, yeah. I've heard the talk. It's making the customers nervous. What do they say? Just rumors. You know how rumors spread. Well, let me know if you hear anything that has the ring of truth to it. Anything else? Nothing that I can think of right now. So our girlfriend wasn't here. 
and I can't escape. You wanted to go and talk to the the count, didn't you? I did. I wanted to report our progress because he said report infrequently, and I don't know how frequently he mm -hmm. he wants. So I'd rather be paranoid and do it all the time. Fair, fair. I see Sir has returned. Sir has. Who would Sir like to see? I want to speak to Count von Count. Is the Count receiving guests? I've got... Okay. Do you know the coin? I had a... F no. I... Go back. Do you know about the code? Uh, I don't want to ask about other people. Game. There we go. Does. I'm sorry, but... No. Okay. That's all I really wanted from him. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything else we could be used for? We could also speak to the Countess. Potentially. Could we speak to the butler? Does he have anything new for us? Um, we can try and speak to him. Yoink. Does this... I'm... He, so he'll let us show it to him, but he says no. To the coin, and... Do you know secret codes? Does 371... Sir has many. No. Mm. And what about the... Is lady? there any... Is Carlotta... No. <laughs> if we go to, um... No, I didn't actually want to be here. No, go away. <laughs> On a list of people. Yeah. On a list of people. Could I see that for a second? What's this new space? Oh, fancy new space. How think the butler's gonna let you the go the there? Worlds. They had class. There weren't many homes in Ankh-Morpork Park with a window that could take your breath away. Well, maybe an unseen university, but I'd heard that they had windows there that could literally take your breath away. Stained glass doggo window. The painting, the butler. Oh, no, there was something there. The book was an old edition of Twerp's Peerage. Probably a collector's item. Why do rich families feel the need to leave old, valuable books lying around in their reception halls? It's bad enough that they have so much more money than you without <laughs> rubbing it in. Can we take it? The book was about the lineage and heraldry of the nobility of the city of Ankh. I didn't understand much of it, but I noticed that there were handwritten corrections in it. No, we can't take it, and we can't seemingly use it for anything. The only other thing I see is staircase and exit there. Mm -hmm. There was something about the wooden staircase that was really impressive. I think it might have been the thought that it probably cost more to make than everything I owned. I confess, I was consumed with avarice, but I wasn't about <laughs> to steal an entire staircase. <laughs> 
No. So <laughs> it's nice the to know. The door led. Oh. We can go deeper into huh? the mansion. Okay, so it's just a different way of getting to him. Maybe oh. the butler goes away later and we need to, like, walk ourselves across. Hmm, that could be. But how is... Then how but did we could get you out? talk to the butler again? I can. I'm just wondering, like, how was I supposed to know that... It didn't do this before. So they must have changed the mapping, right? Because before, if I mm -hmm. pressed exit on the bottom of this space, it took us outside the the mansion. Mm-hmm. Okay, you want us to talk to Butler? Can do. Back towards the main doors. Please. Please. And what do you want to ask him? Uh, it's the the list of people. Who would ask about people list part one? Colotta, three crossed out names. The the pun Let's on alkali, see. the troll, and our ex girlfriend. Uh, is that everything, or is there another page? There is another page. If we go back up, there is also the count. And then that is everything. Okay, um... I mean, I don't think he's gonna say anything on the count, but feel free to try it. He didn't want to talk about, uh, gossip about Kalada, but you never know. What can you tell me about the Count? I regret to inform, sir, that the Count's health has been in gradual decline and that he will probably not live to see the new year. That's five months away. Sir's grasp of mathematics dazzles me, sir. What's the problem? Merely that unlike Sir, I have not been blessed with a truly dizzying intellect. With the Count, I mean. The Count's health has been failing for some years now. But I believe he has never been so bad as since the loss of his one companion. His companion? Who's that? I fear that my idle tongue has already revealed too much of the Count's private affairs, and I would ask that Sir respect the Count's privacy, lest I be forced to provide Sir with a thick ear. New... missing companion. Okay, the okay. The told me that the Count's failing health might have something to do with his missing companion. I was anxious to learn more. This has actually turned into a very much of a, like, a mystery mystery game rather than a point and click. Like, now we have clues that we use on people and we rub against other people for more clues and... Uh-huh. So. Nothing. He's uh, so do we then ask the Count, we, we ask or do you think he's just gonna... Yeah, why not? I mean, we're in a private investigator. If his, if his... The person that helps him stay well has gone missing, who would you ask if not a private investigator? True, true, true. Maybe we can get some more money solving another case. It's all about the Nelly Melbas. I've got a few... Okay, what do you have to say about your missing companion? Your interest in the Mundy case wouldn't have something to do with your missing companion, would it? Why, Mr. Newton, I'm impressed. You actually do have some detective skills. What's the deal? He was my friend. Perhaps my last friend. Okay. He was a dwarf of simple tastes, and when I was younger, he drove my carriage for me. These days, given that I am confined to the conservatory, I have no need for a driver, but I kept raking on the payroll so that I should have someone to talk to. When did he go missing? Three days ago. 
He took the carriage out that night and has not been seen since. And you thought Carlotta might have employed me to look for him? I was hoping, yes. You could always employ me to find him. Here we go. Wouldn't that be a conflict of interests? I don't see why. Anyway, there isn't a conflict of interest that I know about that couldn't be solved with a generous <laughs> cash settlement. Be assured that if you can find Reagan, I can offer you substantial recompense. Then I'll see what I can do. The Count gave me an iconograph of Reagan to help my investigations. It's a picture. My mind was already racing. Three days ago, the Milka arrives. Three days ago, Reagan disappears. Now, I believe in coincidences. Coincidences happen every day. And the murders started. But I don't trust coincidences. Mm -hmm. Something deeper was going on here, and I was going to find out what. Because I can't stand a secret, and because I have a burning need to find the truth. And pay rent. But mostly, yeah. <laughs> because there was a wad of money in it for me if I found out. With exhausted missing companion okay but do we then have an own case on it no unless mm. it's an uberworlds case and it if i go there it says it's finished okay unless it's a uh, more cases no, there's no more cases. Cases is never... Hmm. The large wood... I wasn't... Okay, so we don't exit this way anymore. We now exit this way. And then bottom right. Or bottom left, I should say. No, that's towards you. How do I get out, please? Let me out, 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 let me out. <laughs> okay, main doors isn't... It doesn't give you, like, a hover hand exit thing. Oh... Um, has our vampire friend seen, seen this companion? Well, we, we've supposedly solved the companion thing, even though... Yeah. That's weird. You wanted us to see if this side alley was still getting stocked with wine, though. I wanted to see if it, anything had changed there, because new scene, things could change. Someone who wasn't there before could suddenly show up. Okay, darn it. We use the door. No, the door isn't even a thing. Oh, the trap door, sorry. I knew full well. I knew full. No. There was no use trying to. T what? Golem is in the corner of the screen. The golem was loading wine barrels onto the cart. Car I would have... It was... Okay, whatever. No, I, I was expecting to escape, game. Hmm. Yes, to here. Where would we... Okay, I want to see if the artist guy is still in here, and the other guy, the troll. Mm. I also want to see if the boat or the the pier has changed. Yep, this guy isn't here. And the troll does look like he's still here, though. Do you know anything about secret codes? Well, and magical coins. I had a fee. No, do you know this dwarf? Do you reckon? 
Malachite was as talkative as a corpse and only slightly more attractive. <laughs> Do you No, 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 I don't want this again. I want to exit and then I want to ask if you know the secret code thing. The game has eaten my control. Where's my cursor gone? Game? Thank you, I want my cursor back. Give. Talk to you again. Then I... This. Cases. This one. Secret code. Find. No. We got the same answer we always get from him. Okay, um... Let's see. Can we give him his stuff back, or is that not an option? His grappling hook? Mm-hmm. Sure. Then he's like, where's my rope? <laughs> well? Oh, your rope was used to kill someone. Yeah. Grappling hook. I wasn't about to hand the grapple back to Malachite without a reason. No. Um, we can go around asking everyone okay. about the dwarf picture, though. In addition to exploring those two areas to see if they've changed. That's what I get for trying to be nice for no reason. Yes. Uh, we also have a pick. Don't we? No, crowbar. I was going to say we could try and do art, but no. Exit, 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 exit. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Come on, quickly. So it was first going to be you. Yes? Do you know the dwarf? Is this the dwarf that was on your boat, even though presumably they should be different people? Not for much. And do you know coins? Because you travel the world, you might know what coins are. I had a fee No, he's not allowed to do the coin. Uh, and then the dwarf. I showed Reagan's picture to the first. He recognizes, he recognizes it. it. Yes, I think that was the dwarf who pulled up in a carriage shortly after we docked. I think he collected some of the cargo too. Do you remember which way he went? He drove away upwards at high speed. I wouldn't be surprised if he caused an accident somewhere down the line. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Okay. No, 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 no. He already, he already told me that. I want to know about if you know the magic code. You already told me about the carriage, and that's a new thing in the Uber world. Okay, so this is the... We had finished stage this without finding out about the next stage. Mm -hmm. Which is presumably why it didn't get removed as a case. Maybe? Mm. Could very well be. Maybe. We don't know if it works that way yet. No! I still wanted to ask you about the code. Come back. Come back, su stereotypical pretending pirate still man. Not from Yeah. No! Not from This. Yes. This. Up. That one. Magic code. Does 3712V mean anything to you? Sorry, I... No. Okay. That's all I was expecting. Still. Well, actually, it's more than I was expecting. I didn't think he'd know about the dwarf. Hmm. I don't think we'll be able to talk to this person. This person's usually not talkable. No. He's been very quiet the entire game so far. Something to Yeah, no, not allowed. And then the pier with the grumpy night watchman. You. Do you know? 
God damn it. Do you know... This. Do you reckon... Um... It's faintly familiar. But no. I can't place it. What about the coin? Hi. We're not allowed to. Fair enough. And what about the code? No. What about the code? I think I've... No, not upside down. R Some... That... You... What? What? You just made... I think... And I'll... You, I don't care about that. You were... Of course. What? That was the... I now that the crisis... Holy moly, been... that's a lot of text no. for something that's... Okay. Like it. Unexpected interaction. This is what I wanted. Does 3712V mean anything to you? That's nothing to do with me. Do you know who it is to do with? No. Okay, out. Um, we're done here. We hadn't done the police station. Is this dwarf known to the police? I need you. Listen. Do you know him? I'm looking for a dwarf named Reagan. He's been missing. Missing? What kind of missing? Missing for a few hours, missing person, missing in the shades. Help me out here, will you? Missing person, I guess. How long's he been missing? Three, Three days. days. Three days. You've got to be kidding. That barely counts as a hangover in Ankh-Morpork, Pork, let alone a missing person case. How long would he have to be missing then? A month? I'd say at least three weeks. Mm. Three weeks? Of course, it'd depend on who he was. If the patrician went missing for three hours, <laughs> that'd warrant an investigation. Justice for some, eh? And the coin? I had a. F no, we're not allowed to still. And then the secret code. Does 3712V mean anything to you? No. At least he's nice and honest about it. Just straight up, no. Okay, I think that's all the things that I have intended and thought of doing, other than maybe returning to our office for the sake of seeing if there's some magical items appearing. Somehow, and there I is a person. To find Al Kali waiting for me in my office. In my head was a list of suspects for killing Monday, and Al Kali had gone straight in at number one. Mr. Luton, I am so pleased to see you. The feeling's not mutual, Alkali. What do you want? All in good time, Mr. Luton. Why do I get a feeling that Alkali isn't your real name? It's not very... dwarfish. My name is of little consequence, Mr. Luton. And the story of how I acquired it will have to wait for another time. Now, if you'll excuse me... I thought you wanted to now, talk to me. why would you want to carry an axe? To hack at people, Mr. Luton. An axe is the weapon of choice for a dwarf, you should know that. Why kill me now? What's the point? I'm not planning to kill you, Mr. Luton. I merely need the axe as a deterrent should you wish to try something foolish. I don't try foolish things. Sometimes they just happen. Then I suggest you don't let them happen now. When you've finished searching me, I know a nice restaurant we can go to. 
So, you have been a busy man, Mr. Newton. I think you'd better come with me. Is there an alternative? Getting hacked to that bits? That would depend on how attached you are to your arms and legs. And how much you want them to remain attached to you. Okay, we're getting sequestered away somewhere. I didn't know where Al Kali was. Maybe that will bring something good. But I was now sure he wasn't going to kill me. He could have done that in my office, and it would have been days before anyone found the body. No, he wanted me for something. I just didn't know what. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting to be taken to see a troll. I've seen some unusual things in my life, but a troll and a dwarf working together? That was something else. Ank Morpork wasn't hot at that time of year, but the big troll was sitting back in a wicker chair being fanned. Smart. Out of the cold of the mountains, overheating of their silicon brains was the reason for the trademark stupidity of the trolls. I'd have to watch my step with this one. Al Kali had a brief whispered conversation with the troll, but I couldn't make out what was said. At one point, I thought I heard Al Kali mention a coin from Sorta, but the rest was a mystery. So we have a hint at where our coin might be from. Mr. Luton, so glad you could come and join us. And so punctually, too. Yes, I know you were escorted by Mr. Al Kali here. But the fact that you arrived on time shows that you didn't put up any show of resistance, mm -hmm. which means you're intelligent enough to realize that we are not your enemies. And since we are not enemies, there is always the possibility that we might be friends. You are a quiet man? No. I like to talk. But I like to dance, too. And the trick in both is knowing when to lead and when to follow. Excellent, sir. Excellent. I distrust a quiet man. He generally picks the wrong time to talk and says the wrong things. A talking is something you cannot do judiciously unless you keep in practice. I'll tell you right out. I'm a troll who likes talking to people who like to talk. What shall we talk about? What indeed do friends talk about? Most friendships don't start out with one of the friends being <laughs> led around by an axe-wielding dwarf. While we're at it, most people know the names of their friends. Of course, how impolite of me. Mr. Al Kali, I believe you already know that my name is Jasper Horst. Perhaps you've heard of me. I have a bad memory for names. It gets me into a lot of trouble. You have a bad attitude as well. That also gets you into trouble. Now, now, Mr. Al Kali. It doesn't do to slander a guest, especially one whom you hope to count among your friends. Greetings. So, if we're friends, I guess Al Kali's warning about staying off the Monday case was just a friendly warning. Ah, straight to the point. I do admire a man who avoids skirting the issues. Such a man makes an excellent politician, but is almost impossible to trust. Well, sir, it seems you are now in the possession of something that we would like. And what might that be? Uh, come now, sir. There's no need to play coy. We know you were the last person Monday saw, and we know you have the coin from Sorter. Uh, frankly, sir, we know you have the golden sword, and we wish to make an offer for it. What if I told you it wasn't for sale? Uh, don't be tedious, Mr. Newton. We obviously know that you are in the employ of Carlotta. Hence, we know that you have a price. Whatever she is offering you. Now I'll be right back. And unlike Carlotta, I am a troll on my word. What if she's offering me something that you can't match? You don't strike me as a man who would fall for Carlotta's moves, sir. You strike me as a man with better judgment than that. Are you loyal to Carlotta? I am loyal to one person and one person alone. Me. That's wonderful. I do like a man who isn't afraid to tell you that he is looking after himself. We're all looking after ourselves. Indeed, sir. Indeed. And I don't trust a man who says he's not. About this golden sword, 
Tell me about the golden sword, Horst. Carlotta didn't tell you what it was? Horst seemed to think I knew things that I didn't, and that could give me the advantage. I decided it was time for a good bluff. She told me, but I took it for granted she was lying. A not injudicious thing to do. Let's cut to the chase. How much are you willing How much to pay, you pay for this for thing that I don't have? Suffice it to say, I will pay you its value. That doesn't give me much to go on. You will appreciate, sir, that a golden sword like that is a difficult artifact to sell. Indeed, you would draw a lot of attention were you to attempt to do so. And I'm back. I will offer Welcome you what is worth, and that, I can assure you, is more than Carlotta is offering you. I could use a figure. I don't like to commit We tried to extract to information me. about the sword from him, and Those he didn't really give us anything. Price tags leave themselves no room to negotiate when the circumstances change. <laughs> Rest assured that it will exceed ten thousand dollars at the least. You're surprised about that. Ten thousand, eh? I'll think about it. Trust. Trust seems very important to you, Horst. Indeed. Without trust, we are no better than barbarians. It is the capacity for trust that sets the humans, trolls, dwarfs, and such above the lesser animals. That and our capacity for cruelty. What a dark outlook you have, sir. Are you a pessimist? Pessimism is a term used by optimists to attempt to discredit those who see the world as it really is. You are a man of the world, sir. I like that about you. Okay. He also thinks something about the coin. Do you know this door? Do you recognize the dwarf in this iconograph? I cannot say I have made their acquaintance. And... You let me keep the coin from Sorta. Why? As a token of faith, nothing more. After all, the coin has little value of its own. But for those that know its origin, it immediately links you to the greater reward. The sword is from Sorta too. But let us not play these games, sir. Games of the pastimes of the tedious and of the bored. We are citizens of the world. Are far above such petty concerns. I dislike a man who plays games in his conversations. I prefer my associates to be direct and to the point. You cannot trust a man who takes forever to get to the point. Alas, we can't wheedle. You no, 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 no. We can't wheedle more information out of him. Do you know the secret code? Does 3712V mean anything to you? The columns are... let us not... No, he only cares about the sword. It's sword, 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 sword. Well, it's been nice talking to you, Horst. But I have other things to do. I trust you will keep in touch, sir. I look forward to hearing your decision. How do we get back to him? You're letting him go? Uh, come now, Mr. Alcali. He is free to come and go as he pleases. I'll let you know what I decide, Horst. Uh, but, uh, goodbye, Mr. Ritten. I was starting to piece together what was going on. Whatever this sword was, it was clear that Mundy brought it into town with him on the Milka. I guess he was the courier. For who wasn't clear. He must have hidden it in one of the crates on the milker, and then broken into the warehouse to recover it. Only the watchman stopped him before he could retrieve it. None of which told me where the sword was, or even what the sword was. One thing was clear. I needed to talk to Carlotta. New position, which is presumably here, so that we can return to talk to him. Yes, Horst's Quarters. Well, we were told we should immediately talk to Carlotta.
still here? Here's as good as anywhere. Now you wanted us to ask her about what? Oh, let's go with the golden sword. because we. Just... I want to talk to you about something important. Really? I can't wait. Not here. It's too public. Your place or mine? Yours is probably safer. Let's go. We barely spoke Ooh. at all on the way over, and there was a certain tension between us. Gods help me, I, I liked, liked it. it. So we've gotten her to go back to the rich place? Yes. Yep. Well, we're alone. Which explains why we can now walk over to the base of this You've stairs. You've got a lot of smooth moves, Carlotta. It does. You've managed to string me along like a kitten. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you lying to me, sister. I'm talking about the way you used me to track down Mundy, and how you are planning so I guess that opened up when we asked her to come back to the mausoleum. You're paranoid, Luton. Oh, I know I'm paranoid. But just because I'm paranoid doesn't mean you're not a lying, thieving lowlife. Tell me about the Golden Sword. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. And so does Jasper Horst. You spoke to Horst? Yes, I spoke to Horst. And he seemed to think that I had possession of the sword. Apparently, Mundy had it. Only he died before he could deliver it. Horst thinks I killed him and took the sword. I didn't want you to get involved, Luton. It was too dangerous. Ah, don't pull the hysterical woman act on me, Carlotta. It won't work. All right. You got me. I used you. Everybody uses everyone, Luton. It's the way of things. That was the hysterical woman act, really? Someone for so long, it becomes habitual. You're a bitter little lady. It's a bitter little world. What now? You tell me everything. Why? Because you need me. I don't need anyone. You'd like to think so, wouldn't you? But even you aren't totally independent, Carlotta. You need the Count's money, for one. One word from me and I could get you cut off. He wouldn't dare. He's too bound by tradition. Perhaps. But can you really afford to take that chance? What's the deal, Luton? Straight cut. I'll help you recover the sword. We split the profit. You think you can trust me enough for that to work? No. But this isn't about trust. It's about, it's money. about money. You don't trust me any more than you trust Horst. But I figure you'd work with him if it got you the money. You're smart, Luton. But you've got one thing wrong. What's that? I trust you more than I trust Horst. Oh, I'm touched. But I reckon you'd trust a rattlesnake before you'd trust Horst. You're a good judge of character. Hang around with scum long enough and you learn to tell the different Ooh. types of scum apart. Horst is the treacherous kind. What about me? You're just a woman, Carlotta. And that's not a compliment. Why do you hate women so much? I hate everyone and everything. No one gets special treatment. Now tell me the real story between you and Mundy. Mundy wasn't my lover. He was my contact. He was supposed to be bringing the artifact in from Sota, but something went wrong on the way. I don't know what it was, but Mundy never made his rendezvous. I went with Reagan to the wharf to meet him, but he wasn't there. Do you know where Reagan is now? No. He dropped me at the Temple of Small Gods. And that's the last I saw of him. Did he know what was going on? Reagan? Ha! Huh. No, I never told him anything. Everything I told him would have gone straight to the Count. Anything else you haven't told me? I'm sure there's plenty of things I haven't told you. The girl's got to have some secrets. You're trouble, Carlotta. Admit it, Luton. You like trouble. What if I do? I know what's going on inside of you, Luton. You're just like any other very man, long only a little dialogue. more so. 
When she kissed me, fire burned in my veins and I felt alive. Have you ever kissed someone who you didn't know whether to love or to hate? Well, other than your parents. <laughs> Not that I'm prying into your private life, just trying to get my point across. Something changed in me at that point, and I knew I'd never be the same again. I guess we have a deal then. With my brains and your looks, we could go places. What about with my brains and your looks? We could still go places. <laughs> it just they wouldn't just be as nice. Be as nice. All right. What if we show her the coin? Now that there are no secrets between us, do you know what this is? I've no idea. Some sort of coin? And the... So, you went with Reagan to the wharf, but Mundy wasn't there. Then Reagan ran you to the temple, and that was the last you saw of him. That's about the size of it. Okay. So... No, 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 no. Anything else you want to ask her? Mm, you can't must think have of anything about the milker's cargo. Yes, I had a crate amongst the cargo. She seems to have told us something to work on. It was just for Mundi to hide the sword in if it became necessary. But the sword wasn't in the crate. No, the last I saw of the crate, Reagan had it. I don't know where it is now. Do you have anything that might help me find it? I have a shipping order. You can have it if it's useful to you. It could be. Could be. Any lead is a good one at the moment. Can you tell me anything? I've told... Okay. She can't tell us anything more about the sword. The sword is now its own case. So it was... Good. Find dead guy. Work out what's happening with the dead... Dead troll. Find the Count's... The butler friend guy who is actually the same person that was dropping off this lady at the temple. Why is other troll lying about first troll really being in the grave and this new mm, artifact of extreme money i'll see you around i hope so that's a lot of cases it is a lot of cases we've accumulated a lot of different directions that we need to go What do you want to do next, if any? Mm. Um, I mean, we could try the um, could try the warp again, I guess. Yeah, we can go to the warp. Um, the question is also, how long do we want to keep going for today? <gasps> Do we want to try to do all of this in one go, or do no, we want to do the two-timer? It's got at least four chapters, apparently, or acts. Okay. And we're part way through two, so we're definitely not okay. doing the whole thing. So if we if we finish two, we should be good. You want to push for the end of two? I, I, I kind of want to push for the end of two and then stop there. Then we have act three and act four. Alrighty. If that's okay with you. Yeah, can do. As long as it doesn't take too, too much longer. It is getting dinner time-ish here. Yeah. Okay, so this guy, and you wanted to what? Use the new, the new cargo order we just got given? Yeah. See if we can get that cargo out. <laughs> Bless. Mm. Oh dear. Ugh, wrong thing. This. Car.
Tage oder Oh yeah. Of course. Yeah, I'm gonna swallow <coughs> that, aren't I? I mean, you <sighs> come up asking questions about cargo and I won't tell you about the cargo. Then miraculously you're here to collect some <laughs> cargo. You must think I was born yesterday. Well, I can always take this shipping order to your boss and say that you wouldn't let me collect my cargo. Uh, okay. Well, let's not be too hasty, <laughs> eh? I mean, <laughs> I have to be skeptical, right? I mean, fair to be he to watch him. Watch. He's smarter than most characters Where in these games. <laughs> people like me weren't just a little bit cynical. Yes. All right, all right. You win. I eventually persuaded the watchman to show me the ledger for the recent deliveries. Usually they don't ask any question like, oh, you're suddenly a completely new person because you're wearing a mustache. That were and a new sweater. The Ankh, and some crates under the name Varberg. According to the watchman, they were collected by the Guild of Archaeologists, Antiquarians, and Tomb Evacuators. I guess somewhere was the von Uberwald crate that went with the shipping order, but the watchman didn't know about it, and there was no sign of it in the warehouse. His mouth is a bit frightening in this. Like his mouth is huge. Mm -hmm. And we have a new location over here. Mm -hmm. the uh, but did it say that it was supposed to be delivered to the, um, the cafe? One, so some of, there were several things. There was wine to the cafe and there was something to the Guild of Archaeologists. Okay. The Temple of Small... Where do you want to go first? Uh, I want to progress around trying to find the guy, the dwarf stage mm -hmm. coachman man. And we last knew that he was here, and this is also a new space. Oh, that statue is a little bit two-dimensional in the way that it pans around. The Temple of Small Gods was Ankh Morpork's unique concession to all the thousands, perhaps millions, of small gods that the Discworld was home to. Most of the gods were so small they never got worshipped. The spirits of lonely trees, or the places where two ant trails crossed, and they stayed that way because they lacked belief. Give a god belief, one follower or ten or ten thousand, and it grows up from the void into whatever fanciful deity its followers devise. Everyone knows that people need gods to blame for everything that is wrong or praise for everything that is right. But they forget that every god needs people, too. Inside the temple, a bazaar of fanatics, lunatics, and cultists of all descriptions were trying to sell their fate <laughs> to prospective followers. Two salvations for the price of one. <laughs> Extra <laughs> indulgences if you get a friend to join. That sort of thing. The lost and the lonely came here seeking direction. I found it hard to picture Carlotta amongst their number. Oh, we can visit that stall. Mm hmm And some of the other stalls. In fact, a great many of the stalls, seemingly. And there's also a further across. Oh god, this looks... ooh, totems. Religious emblems were scattered throughout the place. The sacred lace of Hyperopia, the goddess of shoes. The holy trolley of Mr. Safeway. The blessed chamber pot of the whinging martyrs of Constipata. Anything could become a sacred relic if you weren't careful enough. Can we take it? I didn't need a totem, and I wouldn't steal one from here even if I did. Hello, Double Danger Dad. Mm, there's even more around. Also, a small pool. 
The only non-denominational feature in the temple <clears throat> was a small pool of water in the central atrium. Hmm. What was I going to do? Go for a swim? We cannot use the pool. Mm hmm. This is a surprisingly big space. Gotta be someone we can talk to. How about the guy over in the corner? I was drawn to Mooncalf by his religious fervor. He was the kind of man who wouldn't miss a single event in the temple, no matter how trivial. He also struck me as the kind of fanatic who knew a hundred words for infidel, and not one for compromise. compromise. You. You with the hat. Have you accepted Anu Anu into your heart? The name isn't you with the hat, it's Luton. And no, I haven't accepted Anu Anu into my heart. Why should I? For it is written in the book of Kelpie, He who has not the spirit of Anu Anu in his heart shall have his heart eaten by the Divine One on the Day of Judgment. I'll take that chance. I'll risk it. <laughs> Oh, you may mock, infidel, but the day of judgment is coming, mark my words. The signs are clear, the omens are unquestionable, the stars are right, and the auguries are undeniable. What about the auspices? The auspices are fair to light with a small chance of judgment day later in the year. <laughs> I think you're taking the auspice. Sorry, Double Danger Dad, I don't understand the question. So, here I am, a fresh punter. Why should I choose your religion over anyone else's? Because I know I think he means the um, more mighty and the strong, book the and book also together. movie movies so with Sean Connery monastery the solving the murders the there. But I know I know reveals himself through his uh. divine miracles, such as. Ever looked at your thumb? The movie. Ever really thought? Looks about also it? good. Ever considered what you couldn't do if you didn't have a thumb? But no, this is this world. Is of thumbs? No, but Anu Anu bites away the thumbs of the non-believer. I'm not convinced. Anything else? Join the cult of Anu Anu now to receive a free faux pearl statuette of the great god Anu Anu, a $90 value, absolutely free. Be the envy of your friends as they roast in the fires of Sogorov. Thanks, but I'll pass. But it's a free statue. That's ninety dollars for it. It's a good deal. So what is Anu Anu the god of? Anu Anu is above being bound to one single concept or idea. He is power incarnate. Come on, level with me. What is he the god of? It's not to be discussed with non-believers. So this is less of a religion and more of a lucky dip. Oh, I feel sorry for you on Judgment Day. You keep mentioning Judgment Day. What do you mean? Mark my words, it's coming. Darkness and evil shall descend on this city and fetid corruption shall consume the very souls of the unbelievers. Only the followers of Anu Anu shall be saved. Darkness and evil? How exactly are we going to tell Judgment Day from any <laughs> other day in Ankh-Morpork? By the time you realize what's going on, it shall be too late. It generally is. Okay, we could ask if he knew the dwarf. Do you recognize the dwarf in this iconograph? Mm -hmm. I do not. And the coin? I had a feeling... No, we're not allowed to. We can ask him about any crates. Do you know anything the crates, about the wine... The so these, the things we were told about are now Nova. talk items. I yeah. prefer to involve myself with more spiritual matters. Do you know anything about the crate belonging to the von Uberwald that was on the Milka? I prefer. No. Well, if you want to concern yourself with more spiritual do matters, do you know anything about murders? Was carrying. I prefer to. And the sword. What can you tell me about a golden sword? Ha 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 ha! You should talk to Malaclips, the mad priest over on the other side of the temple. I'm sure he'd be delighted to talk to you about golden swords.
So you want to ask him about the code? Does oh, just about murder in general. To you? I prefer to involve. Uh. So we've got that he was hung upside down and killed is a murder. Sure, maybe it is. Where he was when Monday was murdered. He seemed to take it in his stride. Perhaps religious fanatics are used to being suspects in murder investigations. I was holding a service at that time. Where? Here, in the sanctum of the Temple of Small Gods. So you have witnesses. But of course, my entire congregation saw me give a glorious sermon in honor of Anu Anu. So you can give me the names of some of your congregation to There's back up your There's not going to be anyone, alibi. is there? Betray the confidence of my flock? You must think me shallow of faith, Luton, to propose such a barbaric plan of action. Shall I take that as a no, then? I'm honestly surprised he wasn't just like, I have no followers. Probably wouldn't admit that. Okay, but should we go talk to the other guy that he mentioned? On the other side of the building? Yeah. I was just looking at the other things Behind here. Who supposedly would be more than happy to talk to us about a golden sword. The Angel of Dreams, passing the recipe for the Discworld's first pizza to a mortal. <laughs> a pizza is literally from the heavens? If I strained, I thought I could just about see a bay leaf on the pizza. Someone is very fond of pizza. Okay, so what, you think there's a... No, I don't see another person. He said there would be. I mean, he said there would be, but... No, unless that guy is it. Okay, that wiggling thing was it. And this guy looks even more insane. Who do you worship then? Why do you want to know? Who sent you? What do you want? My name's Luton. I'm a private investigator. You've been sent by the elucidated brethren of the Ebon Knight to silence me, haven't you? Their plots are so transparent. It won't work. I have protection. There isn't an elucidated brethren of the Ebon Knight anymore. They were forcibly disbanded. Disbanded? By a dragon, as it happens. <laughs> That's what they want That's you to what think. They want you to think. That was all faked. So oh that they could God, he's a conspiracy the theorist. The Even as we speak, they are plotting to control the patrician by putting mind-altering drugs in the palace's water supply. Then it's hey, true. Olivia. I'd heard that you were the welcome, only welcome. other person who really knew what was Indian. going on. What do you want? I just want to learn from you. The verdict so far, Only Ninjin, would be the dialogue is absolutely really going on top class, Norfolk. but sometimes the mechanics you are a bit don't eh, clunky. Me. I don't. You just want to steal all my knowledge and then use it to further your plans of glory. Ah, but I know that you know that, and you know that I know that. Which means we're at a stalemate. And since you know more than me, you have the advantage in a stalemate, which means that ultimately you'll beat me. Yes! And they, they yes! needed to tutorialize some stuff, Ninja. I see. You plan to try and use me, don't you? Well... Many have tried to use Malaclips, and I have beaten them all! <laughs> no, I can't hide anything from you, can I? Very well. I will let you. For as long as it serves my purposes to do so. What did you wish to know? 
Good lord, and we haven't even asked for his, like, hello, I'm welcome, happy to see you speech. Which deity do you serve? You have to let us say, okay? Ah, that's a big question. There's a lot on his mind. Which deity do you serve? Anu Anu. I don't serve any deity. Then I don't serve any deity either. I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. Right. You first. I serve... I serve... You didn't finish. I am forbidden by an oath of loyalty never to speak aloud the name of the person of the high. Ah, <laughs> the ancient mystic order of... Yes, I know all about you. I know every conspiracy, Turdwise of the Wormberg, and all but one conspiracy, Hubwoods of the Great Neck. Your turn. I am the proud servitor of Irata, the goddess of misunderstandings, the mistress of mayhem, the countess of confusion, and the duchess of discord. You know, sometimes I think I'm her servitor, too. You get a free gold-plated apple if you join this week. Did we ask about the Irata? I guess Tell so. Me about the goddess Irata. There is no. I really want to just ask about the golden sword, but we can go be polite and talk about the other stuff. Look at the world and see all the confusion and misunderstanding. Well, who do you think put it there? Hmm? It didn't happen by chance. Nothing ever happens by chance. So, every misunderstanding that has ever happened, Errata was behind them all. Yes! She has started wars, and she has ended wars. Millions have died for the glory of Errata! And presumably most of them believe they were dying for, for something, something else. else. Oh yes, the goddess is shrewd in her ways. She must be very powerful. There is no goddess more powerful than Erata. Then why doesn't she just make everyone into her follower? Let me tell you something, Luton. Everyone he is, is a, a follower. follower of Erata. They just don't know it. How come you know that you're a follower of Erata? I only think I'm a follower of Erata. I might be ah, makes sense, someone makes sense. Else, and I wouldn't even know it. Irata thinks of everything, doesn't she? You said you knew all but one conspiracy, Hubwoods of the Great Neff. What's the one conspiracy you don't know? If I knew that, I would know all the conspiracies, wouldn't I? You don't know anything about that one conspiracy? Nothing. Then how do you know that there is another conspiracy? Because when I put all the other conspiracies together, I can see the pieces missing. In other words, you can tell there's a conspiracy because you can't see it. Everything casts a shadow, Newton. At least of some kind. What if the missing pieces are a ruse by one of the conspiracies you do know about to try and distract you from paying attention to what they're doing? No. That's too far-fetched. <laughs> too far-fetched. I did not expect him to utter such words. So is there a formal church of Irata? I am the formal church of Irata. I hold her sacred emblem. And what would that be? The scarlet totem that I wear around my neck. And how do you go about joining the church? I told you! Everyone is part of the Church of Irata. They just don't know it. Okay, you wanted to... One. Well, I want to ask him about the dwarf, because we know the dwarf has visited here. Mm -hmm. Do you know a dwarf named Reagan? 
Oh, yes. He's a member of the Shin Kicker Triad. The minor player, though. And the coin? Do you know what this is? Uh, it's, it's a Hersheban groat. What's a Hersheban groat? I want to ask about the sword. Nothing. Unless you want to hire a member of the Hashi Shin, the first assassin. The Hashishim? The original assassins. A band of mad killers who are feared throughout Hopwood Clash. They derive their name from the huge quantities of hashish they consume. They are unique among killers in being both deadly and at the same time Point to, to giggle and wear beads. The ones with the flared trousers are the most deadly of all. And you'd pay one with a Hershey quote. No, but if you give it to one, he'll stare at it for hours and leave you mm, alone. Gotta fear the fair flared trousers. They kill you with their fashion sense. The bad fashion. <laughs> Do you know the secret code? <laughs> what does 3712B mean? You know he does. <laughs> It's the Probably the only one in game with the capsicum. <laughs> Even the loziest neophyte of Errata knows that. Oh, oh. He's the only lead we have on this thing. Oh. Okay, uh You wanted the sword. Does I, know, know, I, know, I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, yeah. I know the sword. We'll get there, we'll get there, get there. There are puzzles, Double Danger Dad, in a way. Uh, cases. But not like classical puzzles. They're not like Nancy Drew puzzles. There are definitely rub object on object point and click puzzles. What do you know about a golden sword? And there's also some golden more, which I will explain sword? if we ever get to the end of the dialogue you with this guy. Are not worthy to talk Never. <laughs> Be silent, lest I smite you. Never speak of the sword again until you have proved yourself worthy in the eyes of Errata. The salt caused you to cry. Are you going to be playing through the um the new Pikmin? Getting ready for the Pikmin 4 in, a, in less than a week now, Ninja. Good to hear. So he didn't actually know anything about the golden sword, sadly. Anything else you want to ask him mm -hmm. about? Uh, Carlotta? Okay. Hey, you played... you played New Luigi. I can imagine you playing New Pikmin. Uh... Carlotta. No, please. <laughs> there we go. Do you know a woman by the name of Carlotta von Uberwald? Have you seen her around the temple? Oh, yes. I know her. She's part of one of the darkest conspiracies. Oh, and they're plotting to take over the world by stealing the lost treasures of Irata and turning them towards a dark purpose. <laughs> Don't trust Don't her, trust, her. trust no one. You know about Mundy's murder? Of course. Voice actor was must have had a blast. Killed. Yes. Yes, she was. <laughs> okay. Do you know our girlfriend? Do you know a woman named Ilsa and a man named Two Conquerors? Oh, dear. No. No? No. I thought you knew everything. Not everyone is important in the grand scheme. I'm shocked. Okay. Now, um, in, answer to murder. Double, in answer to Double Danger Dad's thing, um, in addition to the normal puzzles, you can also grab these things and rub them on each other. So there are inventory rub item on each other puzzles. There are rub inventory on outside world puzzles. So grab crowbar. Oh, come on. Grab crowbar and use it on the outside world to do things. 
and there are combined clues to generate even more clues or come to conclusion type puzzles. Which we hadn't realised until this second chapter of the game, because you never used it in the first one and they never tutorialised it. Which is... Ugh. Okay, you were saying, Maury. I want to ask him about the hung upside down. Of course you do. <laughs> I... Okay. Oh, come on, you know oh. it's got to be a good story for it. Oh. It's got to be a good story. Why was he hung upside down? Surely that is in the manual? Um, we've actually had that discussion as well, Ninjin. Um, oof, namely that Grim Fandango came out a year earlier than this, and it actually tutorializes its interactions with other things. So, no pass. No free pass. Hung upside down. Why? Why was Mundy hung upside down when he was murdered? And why were his eyes poked out? His body was offered up as a sacrifice to the creatures of the dungeon dimensions, the fetid obscenities from beyond time and space. Except Irata caused them to get their rituals confused, otherwise the city would be crawling with Elmsborn right now. That was a lot actually briefer than I thought his response would be. Good. <laughs> What about the fake answer? Does the word Azeel mean anything to you? Azeel? Yes. He was an Ascarian and great Neff a couple of centuries ago involved in the Great Light Dam Conspiracy, which culminated in the theft of 12 barrels of light from the sacred distilleries of E, the Lost City. He's just gone off the deep end there. <laughs> Okay. Were there more... Did you... Huh? Sorry? Did, did you show him the coin, by the way? We tried to, and it did the usual I okay. can't show the coin to anyone thing. We'll do it again. Doesn't take two seconds. Uh. Eh. Eh. Do you know what this... <laughs> the... But assassins, you give it to the assassins, and then the assassins won't kill you. They'll just stare at the coin for a while and go away. <clears throat> Which, unless we take as the canonical true thing for the coin, is effectively nothing. <laughs> now, there were other, or at least there seemed to be other things we could visit here. Although this might all be actually indicating that you can look at his scene, now that I think about it. Probably. Wasn't there one down here? No. Okay, so this is all just saying go look at this crazy man. Yeah, if you want to go and get your dinner. Most of the statues were a mystery to me, but I recognized the odd face. There was Zephyrus, the god of slight breezes. The god of slight breezes. And Lamentatio, the goddess of interminable opera. <laughs> I thought I could see Fedex, messenger of the gods, in one corner. Fedex. Ha ha ha. It would have been satisfying to smash up one of the statues, but it would probably have caused a lot of trouble. I think we should get one more meaningful bit of progress. Okay. I don't know how we're going to do that. Uh, well, I wanted to go to the, um, the cafe and ask about the vine caskets there, because that was the other place that oh. they were delivering to. Sure thing. like this game, but I do think I preferred the 1 and 2 this world more than this. It does a really good job with the noir setting. Like It does. It does.
and the dialogue is amazing. Um, the dialogue the is ones, absolutely amazing. The other amazing. ones are much more sensible in terms of being like point and click, rub object on object games. Mm. They're, they're gamier rather than this, which is basically a little bit of a choose your own adventure kind of in a way, in that you're just walking around hearing all these these dialogues. Mm -hmm. You're sort of choosing the order that you get to hear the dialogues. Mm -hmm. There's just so I do much miss of it. Terry's voice. Some ale. Mr. Luton. Okay, so you wanted to ask about the wine. Yes. Oh, no, they're not new in Formless Mechanics. Not this. Oh, wait, is it Eric? I thought it was Terry. Okay, in that case, I'm mistaken. I am mixing them up. There we go. Do you know anything about the Varberg crates that were on the Milka? Sorry, Mr. Luden, I... No, and what about the wine barrel crates? Apparently, some of the cargo on the Milka was delivered here. That's right. The Milka always brings us a supply of Ephibian wine. Where is it now? Most of it is still in the wine cellar. We sell some of it on. Who to? Lots of different people. I have a box of receipts in the cellar if you're interested. Oh, God, no. Sure. I'll give you the key. Oh. But why did it give us a load? Oh, presumably because now we're allowed in the wine cellar? Mm-hmm. Uh, let me out of the scene, please, game. But how do we get there? Is it is it just now that we can use the um the trap door on the outside? Probably. It did say that we would need a key or an allowance to go in there. So, here. No, wrong one, that one. Use key to wine cellar. On wine cellar. Success. Hooray. Years ago, it would have been my dream to stand in the Café Ankh's wine cellar. So many barrels oh, of fine wine. X Even and the guy Chateau here. Even Hector, year of the weevil. My favorite vintage. I used to dream of Ilsa, too, from time to time. So when I walked in to find Ilsa there, I had to check I wasn't wearing my pajamas. Wasn't dreaming. All right, and with that bit of progress and an ever-increasingly hungry tummy, the blobber is going to say it's time to cut here. We look like we're maybe a third of the way through the game, that this is going to need, like, maybe three, three episodes. I've certainly liked it, aside from the little bit of the janky, not tutorializing things. The dialogue's fantastic. Um, it has you didn't particularly like the dark pixel hunting. I don't like the pixel hunting, no. It should have... I mean, I, I want it to have the fine thing, but that's a more recent thing. Um, yes, it should make things visible. That matchbox, that matchbox in that dark space was ridiculous to find. I can imagine people getting completely stuck on that for, like, weeks. Um, fantastic dialogue, decent enough music, nice mechanics for, like, like, I don't think I remember seeing, like, this is somewhat similar to the mixing things that we see in the Wajudai games later. Use clue on clue to generate more clue. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember seeing that in a game earlier than the Wajudai ones before in this space. Mm -hmm. I think. I've seen it earlier. I can't pinpoint a game though, but I seem to remember I seen that earlier. So let's do our in-game save as well. Uh, please. Save. That one. Please. Save. 
save. Overwrite tick. All right. So yeah, cheers all. Thank you for watching. I hope you've had a lovely time. And that you will join us for more of this when we get the time. Have a great start to your weekends. Who can we throw you guys along to? Um, Who's up and about and doing something that I can get behind? Do you have anyone, Maury? Um, no, not that I know of. I'll go with Zaxos then. Zarxos is presumably doing some Victoria 2 speedrunning from the look of it. Or maybe he's just doing a for fun game and it's not for a speedrun. We will see soon, once I have dinner in my hand to eat, because gosh, I'm hungry. Peace all.